incredible. Hope you had a good Krimbus. Hello. Tom, I would never. I would It's not in my nature. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. Well, thank you. Hope you had a good Krimbus. Hope you're having a good Boxing Day. Hope you're going to your local dojo and fighting the leader to assume their role as top boxer. Um, we're going to check out in stars in time. Sorry for late, boys. Might have had a different plan for today that fell through and I had to pivot, but it's fine. That's what we do it live. That's what streaming's all about. Uh, I started workout today raw. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Hello. The boxing dojo. That's where you go to do that. Um, but yeah, uh, hope, hope everyone's doing good. Uh, a, couple, a couple of y'all need to play this game. I thought we'd check it out. It looks neat. Um, up at the start, though. This game does have a number of content warning descriptors at their website in starsandtime.com slash content warnings. Make sure you check that to make sure that you don't have a bad time. Uh, but it includes things like uh, trauma, mental illness, death, violence, self-harm, unreality, children in peril, which to me is a selling point personally, but make sure you stay safe. I don't know what's in this game, but there you go. But shit, it's like an RPG maker game. Yeah. Yeah. It can love stars in our time. What is this? Sea of nice. stars? Damn. Anyway, I can have a bad time if I choose to. That's true. But you can't blame me for that. Uh, but anyway, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Unreality is apparently in there. Um, but -da -ba -da -ba -ba. what the fuck, Turgid name? Hey, dude. It's not secretly dark if they tell you up front it's dark, is it? That's many. That's many. That's several. That's a lot. More like generous name. Been following stars for forever. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if I know who made this. <laughs> I just uh, people yelled at me. I have a recommend form, and people like to be go in there and be like, "Play this. It seems up your alley." And I'm like, "I don't know about that." And I check the Steam page, and I'm like, "This might be up my alley. We'll see." I'm excited to check it out. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Stars plus time plus fantasy plus crisis equals most RPGs. Yes, and charming art, <laughs> and and then. Occasionally the best jam you've ever heard in your life. Just broadside across the face. Um yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh but 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 uh uh yeah, uh I was gonna Oh, I, I this is completely un unrelated to anything else. Um I mostly spent yesterday just being an absolute loaf on the couch. Um and uh I was on my 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 PlayStation and um trying to figure out what I wanted to play. Um and I ended up Returning to Subnautica, which is a game I've tried a couple times to get into, and I just kind of ba would bounce off each time, like two to three hours in. I got I got much further into it this time, and I I did screen record a, a, a brief interaction I happened, uh, because why not? It's my stream. I can show you clips of me playing a video game. Uh, they, over here. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna provide any commentary. It should speak for itself. That's that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, that was my first interaction with uh, with with one of those leviathans. Um, is that? A, I mean, I was like, is that? I, I'm assuming he's supposed to grab my little sub. I don't know if he's supposed to fly into space and explode with it. But it felt rude. <laughs> That, yeah, that was, that was the first... I mean, I knew they were in the game. It's like one of the things I know people have been yelling about for years. Um, but yeah, that was the first time I actually saw one in-game. And it happened... It snuck up behind me while I was looking at some rocks. And then said, fuck you. So, um... 
it was rude. It was very rude. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm having more fun with it this time because I'm looking up a bunch of shit. On my first playthroughs, I was like, I'm just playing the game, right? I don't really uh, uh, look up stuff too often in games unless I'm stuck or like looking for something particular. But this time around, I'm just like, what should I be doing right now? And I've actually been having a much better time. I mean, because I, I don't know, it's 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 the kind of game where it's I think meant to just be like you just kind of explore and you stumble upon a stuff and then like over time you sort of learn where the game's trying to get you to go because it's it's an open world well it's a big map uh, survival crafting kind of a game but it also has like a plot and like a narrative and a drive and like there's an end point you're working towards uh, it's not just like survive till you get bored. Um, so in that context, I was like, well, I want to make sure I'm, like, making progress and doing what I'm supposed to do. Agree with that, Yando. Google. The way to play video games is the way that brings you the most joy. Yeah. And having tried it a couple times and being like, okay, like, I made a little underwater base, and I'm just kind of stabbing fish, and now what do I do? Every time I go into deeper water, I get murdered. Or just don't know what I'm looking for. So, you know, I'm having fun. But anyway, it was fun other than... <laughs> I, 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 I n literally, after I, I recorded that off of the, the PlayStation, I quit and reloaded uh, because I, I worked really hard to make that little submarine and I put a bunch of shit in it. And he blew it all up. <laughs> I was like, I want it back. Uh, so anyway, uh, anyway, enough about me and more about me playing this other video game. Um, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I don't think about this game. I saw the dev on, on Tumblr months ago. I mean, make its art style. Ooh. So that's two votes for Game Got Good Art. I mean, from what I saw on the Steam page, the art seems very good. Uh, anyway, uh, I do want to get into it. The unreality. I like unreality. Thank you. I just think, you know, content warnings are also good. Um, this video game was recommended that I stream by Smash Matt 202, Afterglow, Amphoros, Captain Cream Cheese, and Last Isis. And also in between streams, there were subs and resubs from Phoenix9018, Akko620, and Frisky Dingus. For their 40th month while I was busy being late, boys. Thank you. Uh, Drake of the Cupcake, thanks for 61 months. Welcome back. Thanks for the Prime. Did you know? Smash Bros. Thanks for the Happy Boxing Day. Put them up. Uh, it's kind of a yearly Christmas tradition for watching you and Ross play Santa's Xmas Caper on Steam Slay. Unpopular video of an obscure game makes me laugh every time. Thank you. That's, I mean, that's the goal. It, with everything that I have done and will do is is unpopular and obscure, but it makes someone go neat That's kind of the goal uh, Leonard powers. Thanks for 45 months. Wow uh, uh, Bow bow and arrow. Thanks for three months. Holy schmoly quirky indie RPG about time travel I know it does check a lot of boxes for me too. enjoy your silver key. Thank you very much uh, Exploding crayon art. Thanks for 100 bits. Hi Barry and hi. Hi Barry and chat. Bye Barry and chat. Have a good one. Telex, thanks for 63 months. This sub sub baby has quickly become a sub child. Your child sports way past due. Uh, it's in the mail. It's just a busy time of year, you know. Oh god. Thank you for the hype train. That's quite a quite a hype train emote. Hmm. That's pretty good. Uh and Smash Fan thanks for 83 bits. I did see the fan art. Uh uh the the Born of Bread fan art. Let me let me let me let me pull it up. Ba, 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 ba. Thank you for the bits. Um, somewhere in here. Somewhere in Twitter.com. Pepito is live streaming on Twitter.com. This isn't a drill. Um, ba, 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 ba. Where the fuck? There it is. Yes. Yes. It's very good. It's very, very good. Hanging out with the best boy. Dub. Getting them dubs. That game is adorable. Uh, yo. Um, ba, 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 ba. Zeno Penumbra, thanks for 40 months. Loop. And Smash, thanks for 10 bits. Uh, we didn't celebrate Christmas till today. That's, listen. Christmas is what you make of it. Uh, Turgeon Nave, thanks for 70 months. I was torn about resubbing anymore after doing 69 months. I know. Twitch should have an option where once you hit 69 months, you can be like, just display 69. I don't need more than that. Thank you. For the uh, sev seven zero as many. Yandoku, thank you for sixteen bits. Got a subscription gifted last time I wasn't here. Clearly, it's divine sign to practice for New Year and wrestle my new one meter loom into submission. Loom. Tell tell me about loom. You got any? You know anything about loom? Gurg the gamer. Thanks for thirty one months. I'm gonna reach a year soon. You're close. Turgid Dave. 
20 gifted subs to Draconic Leafeon, Jovial Jovian, Sar Unic, Tani Yao, Tani Owl, Maybe Roots, Cowboy Lizard, Seasonal Songstress, The Lonely Wheel, Nova Does Crimes, Pirate King 72, Grady Tree, Shrouds, Reg Mike, Dark Side 24, Pirate Ninja Dino, Scruffy Bear, Old Hat Gaming, Ash Houston, Shroomish, and Jijina Jean. Thank you, Sergeant Dave. Hope you're having a good Christmas, Boxing Day, etc. time of year. Warfie, thanks for 56 months. Merry Boxing Day for all who celebrate. Hope you and chat are all doing well. Same to you. Sefiel, thanks for 13. Hello. Agrajag42, thanks for four months. Agrajag, he's ready for Boxing Day. He's ready to fight. Perf, thanks for 51 months. Nuclear Sense, thanks for soup. I'm watching you. Hi. Where? When? Jayla the Dead, thanks for 57. And Smash, thanks for 10 bits. Hey, everyone catch the real Game Awards hosted by Gam. Any scandalous wins you wish to discuss? I can only tune it for a little bit, but yeah. I, I, I really recommend uh, Gam did post about... Uh, uh, he did He did streamed the real Game Awards. Lego sets, Animal Crossing sets? Uh, I, that doesn't sound relevant to stream. Um, perhaps better share it on the Discord or something. I want to pull loops, time loops, fruit loops. You, 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 you. How the puppy present from prison? Uh, puppy Berry had uh, um, a, a live satellite connection. Um, time loops, fruit loops. What kind of loops? Loops? Brother, poll's already active. What the? Who the? Shiv, did you do that? You beat me. God, thank you, Shiv. Uh, told them. Loop. Uh, where, I, I, uh, uh, where was, um, what I said, what I, what I, what I, oh yeah, I did, I went, I went to my Twitter.com and I, and I did, I did retweet this, the, the best and only Christmas post you really need. Merry Christmas, Layton. Um, but in addition to, uh, do, 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 I updated the command. Thank you, sh yeah, 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 he's dead. Dead from Jolly. Uh, there it is. Um, nah. The only award show, because so Gam posted his, uh, 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 the, the VOD. Well, that's just gonna link to the t fucking, I hate, I hate URLs. Um, there you go. That's a real URL. Um, but these, in case you missed Gam's better game awards, these are some of the categories, including best squat animation, Frog of the Year, the Bang Bang Award for Earworm of the Year, and the Blown Off Toe Award for Corporate Synergy. Uh, this is what all award shows should strive to be like. And, uh, I'm bummed I was only able to tune it for a little bit, but it was very good. Definitely recommend watching that VOD. Uh, anyway, let's play a video game called Stars in Time. Uh, the Live Service Death Spin Award, which had to be updated. <laughs> The nominees had to be tweaked because, uh, uh, what was it? What the, what the fuck is the name of the game? It, the days before? Nicole steals the show, really did. The day before. Came in hot at the end of the year. <laughs> Acing that award. Uh, this is a 20 hour RPG with lots of dialogue and no voice, which I didn't put in the rec doc. Hope you have a good time regardless. Thank you. We're probably not gonna finish it, but I'm down to take a peek and see what it's, what it's like. Game pulled the green screen out for this, so you better watch the VOD. Went all out on the production values. He had to add the day before, after voting open, and it still won. Yeah, it deserves the win. <laughs> it was a stiff year for competition, but, uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good time. Uh, I came in the day before... Mm. Mm. It did, mm. Yeah, it did. Anyway, uh, 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 let, let's, let's play a video game. Um, don't need that open, don't need that open. And close that. Shut it down. Shut it down. Um, this is... The story of a... Whale. Um, it says in Stars and Time. Let's go. New. It really did deserve it. Hello, game. Happy day. Oh. Oh, I turn up a smidge. Hmm. So the stars. They explode a bit. Don't eat the stars. How many times I gotta say it? Oh, I'm sorry you're sick, Isaac. Hope you feel better soon. Mm -hmm. 
Mirabel says, Friend! Binge those Super Mario VODs. Oh. Sifrin? Sifrin. Is that like saffron? But the vowels isn't. Sifrin? How does it feel to live in Hollywood Land of Stars? I can't go to the grocery store without tripping over a pile of celebrities. Good morning. Well, more like good afternoon, I guess. More like suffering. Oh. Were you taking a nap? Hey, we. How you doing? There's trash everywhere. <laughs> Were you taking a nap? That's just like you. Only you could sleep peacefully at a time like this. Hee <laughs> hee. I guess that's smart. We better get some rest while we can. We have to get ready for tomorrow. So we can finally face against the king. Down with the king. You're too sleepy to talk. Real. Sleep sweet embrace calls for you. You close your eyes again. You're still half asleep, aren't you? You make a grumbling sound. Hmm. Okay, then. You can sleep for a little longer, but not too long. Come to the village when you're ready, okay? You yawn so hard, your jaw cracks. You were having such a nice rest, too. I dreamed I was eating the stars. Hmm. You can't spend the rest of the day sleeping. That would be a waste. You force yourself to get up. Wake up, Sifrin. You have a country to save. You can use the left stick to move around. Oh, I got a little hat. We are very much locked to a grid. It seems. And it's a different grid than the background, kind of. All right. Where are we going? Oh, but what row? I have a... Hmm. Bird! Bird. Good morning, bird. The bird chirps. Oh! In Vogar, they, they say birds go... Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. So true. Definitely agree. Sifrin. Hey, Jake. Hey, here we go. Six months. It's a lot. Sifrin, you're up. You sure are. Hey, Mira. Hey, Sifrin. Hee <laughs> hee. How was your nap? On a scale of one to ten. Let's see. A certain someone woke me up. Completely average. Solid nine. Is it not a ten because the finish could have used some work? We'll do better next time. Next time, I promise to let you sleep in so we can get the elusive 10 out of 10 score. Oh, wait. That's something I wanted to ask you. I have an idea for tonight. This will be the night before we go fight the king. I felt like we could make it special somehow. I was thinking, how about a sleepover? Let's all eat good food together. Sleep in the same room. Maybe tell stories. Me talking to Snorlax. <laughs> oh, come on, sleep. It's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 out of 10. It would be nice, wouldn't it? How's it different from what you usually do? Well, okay. Ah, you think it's silly, don't you? I'm sorry, I was trying to find something fun to do tonight, but that's all I could think of. It was a stupid idea, wasn't it? Maybe we should forget about it. Oh no. Your lack of enthusiasm made Mirabelle upset! Come on, fix it! No, I think it's fun, let's do it. Are you sure? All right then, um, what if, if we're doing it, can you let everyone know? I don't think I could convince everyone. You kind of have to now. Of course, Mira. Okay. Let me think. Madam Odile should be in the shop buying items. Bonnie should be near the fields to the east. And Isabeau is at the favor tree to the west. We're staying in the clockwork, the clock tower at the east of town, right past the broken bridge. You can just tell everyone to meet up there later. That was a lot of names of places. Will you remember? Uh, I already forgot everything. I always remember things. Probably not. I'm just being honest. Well, unrelated to your memory, here's a note with everyone's location. Just in case. You! Forget! Yes, yeah, Mark. You got the reminder note! Put the note in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Chase souvenirs are going into your pockets. Xbox is on the menu for pressing Y! The menu contains your pockets, your equipment, and many other things. You can interact with most items in your pockets by pressing A. Okay, see you at the clockwork later, the clock the clock tower. Clock ta I'll be near the library if you need me. Come talk to me whenever. Don't forget to check the Change God statue, too. The what? For good luck. Oh, it's like the God of Change. That makes sense. You wave goodbye. Thank you. Oh, also, I took one step! There's a lot of people to talk to in drawers to snoop inside of around here. You can interact with people and objects pressing A when staying in front of them. If you need to, you can always configure your buttons. Things and options menu. Thank you. Someone's fishing. Hello. Fishing one. Hee hee. Statue where you change God. Attack and dethrone. I am fishing. 
You look like someone who likes fishing. Would you like to fish for a little bit? Why not? Yes. Hee hee. Fishing, huh? You don't really know how to do this. You take the fishing pole they're offering you. Choose a lure that's the same shade as the water. Check the fishing pole. Throw it in the water and sit down and wait. Yeah, this feels right. Fishing time. You didn't catch anything. That's too bad. Son of... Pew, pew. Pew, pew. It's pretty good. Some flowers. They smell like flowers. Hmm. Small desk with some flowers on it. Oh, don't look in that drawer, stranger. It's my awful necklaces I made need to throw away drawer. Show me. Kitchen station. Lots of spicy stuff there. Closet filled with... Hey. You leave the closet alone. You're not sure what it is. That's something to do with the change belief. Mirabelle has a similar brooch design. Some crafted paintings of the jeweler and her wife. They both look happy. Kitchen station. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. This door must lead to the rest of the house. We can't go there. You've been told going farther than the first room in other people's houses is very rude. Vow guardian customs are so customs are so weird. That's a barrel! Yo! A book on crafting jewelry. Hello. Welcome to my home, complete stranger. Oh, you're you're one of the people traveling with that Mirabelle, aren't you? One of the saviors. Yeah, I like going into strangers' homes. Don't we all? Since you're here, can you help me? I'm trying to figure out which necklace to give my lovely, wonderful, beautiful wife. She stops where she's crafting and shows you two necklaces. One with round beads and one with teardrop-shaped ones. Next to her, her wife is not moving an inch. I'm gonna fuck this up. Uh, 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 chat, help, help, chat, chat. Round of teardrop. I like the menu noises. There's no time for a poll. You like teardrop? Uh, uh, teardrop for our sadness. Hmm. You're right. Yes. I think she'd be happy about this one. She gently attaches the necklace around her wife's neck and looks at her for a while. Hey, make sure to defeat the king tomorrow, okay? I'd like... I'd like to ask my wife which one she actually prefers. Oh. 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 Oh, and now I... Oh, now I... The woman sits here frozen in time. Oh. Oh, no. I didn't... Oh. Um. Oh, what the... Sifrin, Mirabelle, Isabeau, Odile, and Bonnie! Uh-huh. What's in my pockets? Oh, I got sour tonic. Heals 50% of HP, tastes sour. Crafted water, revives KO friend, restoring 60%. Ginger juice, boosts defense. Ginger helps you not be sick. Super sour tonic, heals 40%, makes you do a kissy face when you drink it. Pepper juice, boosts everyone's attack spice to make you strong. Time juice. But like, like thyme time. Makes everyone faster. Apparently this is a fun wordplay in some languages. Mm-hmm. Equipment. We got a knife. Bunch of, bunch of stuff. Memories. A memory of self. Memory of you. You have theoretically so many to choose from. Plus five dollars stats. Finds more likely to attack. Huh. Rosemary. Souvenir. Silver coin. Some change you got from buying a croissant. Reminder note. A note Mirabelle wrote for you and your sieve-like brain. You look at the note. Sifrin, don't forget to get everyone. Odell's probably in the shop getting supplies. The shop is that building with a bunch of barrels around it. I saw Bonnie go east. They're probably near the veggie fields. Just go east and south. Isabel must be at the fa favorite tree of the west. Give him some time. I think he has a lot to ask for. Before you talk to me, you can walk around Dormont. I'm sure people will be happy to talk. Zoe will go with pigtails slightly north, and she likes to talk about battles. Don't be afraid to talk to anyone in the village. And, well, also you should see the Change God statue and pray for victory. If you want, you really should. Let's meet the clock tower to the east after. Just jump over the broken bridge and you'll find it. Yours, Mirabel. On the bottom of the paper, a crafted drawing animates back and forth. It's some kind of thick, flowy line. What is it? You should ask her. Oh. Oh, hey, traveler. You're not from Vogard, are you? That's the rumor, at least. I'm from Pateria myself. 
I came to Velgar to further my studies a few months ago. Pateria, huh? How you liking Velgar? It's nice, right? Lots of scholars, good food, welcoming people, especially their houses of change. They let everyone in, aren't shy about sharing their knowledge, even if you don't follow their belief. It's strange, right? I've tra traveled a lot, but I've never been to a country with such welcoming people. I could move here, to be honest. Well, it's a little awkward right now with the king. I might actually be forced to move here. Permanently. I should pick a good spot to be frozen in. And not that I think you won't win tomorrow, of course. I have faith you'll win, of course. Vogard is very welcoming. People always notice you're not from here, and they're more likely to ask if you'd like to stay at their home for a bit than anything else. Wow. Wait. Stop. Stop. I'm trying to stop you so I can talk to you. Fine. Eh, uh, yeah. Oh, look at you! So scrawny. Scrawny one. Did you know you can press X to run? Please win. I'm doing my best. You should give it a try sometime. Oh, and did you know you can turn on always run and your options? You can run all the time. Did you know? Did you know about this? Did you know pressing X makes you run? Did you know you can run all the time by going into the options menu? Do you run? Do you like running? More of a lazy, take it easy type. Disgusting. I mean, understandable. You look like you've never ran a day in your life. Thank you. So you need to build up those muscles. Get fast, get swole, and press X to run. Rude. You may look scrawny, but you're definitely the fastest one of your group. Hmm. A high speed stat does not actually mean you're fast. Oh, I already have always run on. Holding X makes me slow. Statues, big and small, all with different faces. Some have sad eyes, others a bright smile. A few are animated by craft. One jumps around and bumps gently into your foot. The ones on the bottom are doing a little shimmy. A little back and forth. The change god, deity worshipped by all of the country of Vogard, stands before you. You have trouble believing you're finally here, almost at the end of your journey. It was only a few months ago you met Mirabelle. So much has happened since then. Do you run? Will you run? When will you run? This is... I don't know if you're intentionally quoting. It reminds me of the... The, the Lord of the Rings press tour when Elijah Wood was pranked by... Uh, it, <laughs> do you wear wigs? <laughs> uh, but what's his name? Dominic Monaghan? Is this the Ice King? Yeah. When will you wear wigs? <laughs> So fucking good. Uh, it was almost a year ago now. The king appeared, seemingly out of nowhere. Possessing immense craft power, he spread his curse across the country of Vogard, freezing in time everything in its path. I'm glad everyone was like, yes, we know what you're t It's perfect. Me. With Dormont's house of change in his control, he patiently waits. No, oh, they're all sad. For he knows his curse can only be reversed if he is defeated. Thanks, Numenatus. Sub Babus. Babus. His victory would be all but determined if not for Mirabelle. Elijah's laugh gives me life. It's like a scream. It's like, it's like, it sounds like he was surprised by his own laugh in that clip. Your friend Mirabelle is the only survivor of the House of Dormont after the king froze everyone inside in time and locked the gates. I don't know if it's Dormont or Dormont or Dormant. Everyone says he was blessed by the change god themselves with the power to fight back the king's curse, making her the only one able to save Vogard. Oh! When you met her, she was already traveling with Isabeau and Odile, trying to get the orbs necessary to open the house's gates and defeat the king. He helped them defeat a particularly strong sadness, and seeing your strength, they asked for your help. Look how fucking strong we are! We stabbed that guy right in the side! Yeah! Just walk up and stab him! You had nothing better to do, so you decided to accompany them. A few weeks later, you met Bonnie, completing your little team. I, what the hell is Bonnie's deal? You saw a lot of Vogardian cities during your travels, some frozen, some not, and did your best to sidestep the slowly encroaching curse. But still, you all kept going. Mirabelle kept going to honor the change god's blessing, save her beloved house, and save Vogard. Isabeau came with her after Vogard's defenders themselves refused to help. 
Odal came to satisfy her curiosity about Vogard, and because she said leaving the fate of a country to a bunch of young ones would give me an ulcer. Bonnie came to save their sister, frozen by the curse. You're here because there's nothing else for you to do. Yeah. What else are you supposed to do except travel with them? Once, Mirabel asked you if you were okay, it asked if you were okay following them on a journey to save the country. She felt guilty, felt like she was forcing everyone to follow her on a hopeless quest. You wanted to put her at ease, so you said easily and truthfully that traveling with everyone was the happiest you could remember being. She looked upset. You cringe just thinking about it, truth be told. Maybe not the most considerate thing you could have said to someone with her problems at that moment. Ah, uh, I mean, it's understandable. But tomorrow, one way or another, your journey will end. Or won't it? You should believe something very strongly at the Change God. That's how those work, right? Mirabel and Isabeau taught you before. You can just ask for- can't just ask for things because the Change Belief considers this lazy. It's the Change God only pure belief and confidence in yourself will do, with the Change God only providing a little nudge. If anyone's lazier, it must be the change god, you think. Oh well. You believe strongly, or whatever. That your hits will super hurt. That attacks against you will be super weak. That you'll be super fast! Uh... I want their moves to be weak. Best offense is a good defense. You win if you and your friends are the only ones standing. No one in chat liked that. <laughs> All roads lead to Kingdom Hearts. You repeat under your breath, super strong, super strong, super strong. <laughs> ah, yes, the coward's way out. Listen, less time healing means more time punching. You actually feel a little stronger. You pinch yourself. Ouch. Okay, then. Not that much more powerful. You and your friend's defense got a tiny bit better? Going to the Change God statue will boost one stat of your choice. You can always save your progress by praying at the Change God statue. Close your eyes. Save. These are good, crunchy, beefy sound effects. They're good. Wow! Okay, that's enough for today. You thank the change god for its blessing and quickly run away, crossing it off from the reminder note. Wee! Pew pew! Hmm. Mm hmm hmm. The woman's daydreaming, singing softly under her breath. Oh, hi! You're one of the saviors, aren't you? I recognize you. You traveled with a few people, right? You traveled with, um,. Bonnie? Bonnie! Oh, what a cutie. Definitely the younger sibling of your group, there's no doubt about it. You laugh awkwardly. Well, can't ask her about anyone else. Hello. A pile of notes explain the themes and hidden Easter eggs in the series The Cursing of Chateau Castle. A torch. It burns brightly. Bookcase is filled with a series of novels called The Cursing of Chateau Castle. You've seen Mirabeau read one issue, so you assume the series is about romance, and also about terrible things happening to good people. Ah, good writing, then. The bookcase is filled with a series- okay. I can't- oh no! Is there- is there a- a- a, a text speed up? It's probably fine. Message speed! It's already max- instant! Z zero? Does that mean text never shows up? Hold on. Oh, ho, ho. Whoa. I regret. I mean, a text speed is zero to me. I think it should just play this sound and no text appears. That'd be pretty good. Control tends to be skip in RPG Maker games. I'm playing with a controller. And controlling the keyboard doesn't do. This is some dope art. The art is very charming so far. Your Warhammer game has a bug on launch where a text size is randomly set to zero. <laughs> no more text. Oh no. Well, what's better? Text size being set to zero or text size being set to they didn't sanitize their inputs and gammas in the call? Pick your poison. This group of people will try with Ring for whatever reason. I mean, yeah. I like options. Uh, let me see how instant feels. Mm, instant. Instant shit. It loops around. Yeah. I think that probably works for me in case I accidentally master something again. What if you like unsanitized inputs? I mean, not gonna judge. You can see more books peeking from under the bed. 
This door must lead to the rest of the house. Bet you can't go there. Only the first room is appropriate. You know, the end of the world is fine and all, but I only have one regret. I, I won't be able to know what happens to Lord Joseph Vandra in the final issue of the Cursing of Chateau Castle. Did he manage to protect his castle to the very end? Did he finally find his friend, Pierre Jacques Ernest? Did he finally find more about himself? Oh, I'll never know. Is that really what they're worrying about today? A book series? Not their imminent death or anything? Weird. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. They're a French Abu. A little figure of the change god. It's been crafted to dance. Slightly. This one looks very stylish. Hello? Big hat. Impossibly warm looking cloak. You must be one of the people traveling with Mirabelle. She's pretty well known around here. The chosen one, you know. Blessed by the change god with the power to save Vogard. Plus, before all this, she was a housemaid at the house to change nearby. How much? How much? She took classes, helped out with chores, helped the other housemaidens with their studies and craft. A little perfect Mirabelle. Hmm. As for me, I think she's the most wonderful being on earth. No wonder the change god blessed her when she's this wonderful. I used to go to the house a lot with, for my classes, and she was always there taking the classes with me. Never had, a cha never had a class I didn't share with her. She's so cool, so helpful, so driven. Honestly, we're kind of best friends. Even though I've never had a single conversation with her. Talking to people is hard, you get it. You hope she'll get to talk to Mirabelle before tomorrow. I believe. It's a closet, filled with many beautiful dresses. A dresser, do not touch. My unmentionables are inside. Oh, you leave the dresser alone. There are fan fictions in there. A desk. There's a half-written letter on it along with a pile of blank paper. Those are my drafts from Mirabelle's letter. Don't look, please. You look away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Books about a variety of subjects from woodworking to psychology. Some are written in mood, moodu. You wonder if it's the stylish, if the stylish lady is from there. Mm -hmm. Stylish one is stylish, but socially awkward. Yes. It's good. The sign says Dormont Mignon Boulangerie. I don't know what any of that. Is that where bread happens? Some croissants. You refuse to even look at them. Why? A torch. It burns brightly. Various baking ingredients. Um. Welcome. Croissant. I'm helping Papa today. Hey. Wanna buy something? You'd like to, but you can't buy much with only a silver coin. You show your silver coin anyway. With one of those, you can get a third of a pastry. But aren't you one of the saviors? Traveling with a little Mirabelle? Don't worry about a thing, then. Can I get you anything on the house? A croissant, maybe? Incredible. Incredible. I've never seen anyone give such a look of disdain when offered a croissant. A pan au chocolat, then. Only monsters don't like pan au chocolat. You like those. You nod. Ha! Only one pan au chocolat coming up. You got a pan of chocolate! You're thinking about putting it in your pocket for later, but it smells so wonderful. Still warm. It smells like butter and chocolate. You try to control yourself and take only a small, dainty bite. But it's too yummy! In two bites, you've already swallowed the pastry hole. Not gonna lie. Seeing a tiny one like you eat this like a rabid beast, that was disturbing, but also weirdly satisfying. Good luck tomorrow. The figure of the change god. He's dancing. This one has a clumsily drawn eyes and a drawn baguette for a mouth. I made it! I made it myself! Baguettes. It smells heavenly. So all I know about our character is that they're lazy and they fucking despise croissants. The door seems to be locked. Interesting. You didn't think a welcoming village like Dormont knew how to lock doors. The lock keeping it closed has an interesting shape. It doesn't have a hole for a key. Interesting. Flowers. Smell like flowers. What about the back of the house? Nope. Hey! You! Oh no, it's tutorial kit! Croissants with almond shavings? Aw, oh, shit. Hey you, the strange adult with a hat! My name is tutorial kid. As the name Agathy sewn into her clothes. My mom says you're very strong and you're gonna help save us all. My mom says, uh, but I need to challenge you to know your strength. So... Let's play rock, paper, scissors. I accept your challenge. Yeah! Battle start. 
Rock, paper, scissors. The only fight there is. You know how to play rock, paper, scissors, right? Who doesn't know how to play? I have never played. You don't know how to play rock, paper, scissors? Is it because of the hat? Uh... Yes. I knew it. I'll teach you then. It's a simple game. We're gonna yell rock, paper, scissors. And at scissors, we throw our hands like this. This one's with your fist closed, that's rock. And that one's paper. And this one is scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, paper, scissors, paper, scissors, paper, scissors, paper, scissors, paper, scissors. Just because. Nod thoughtfully. Yeah, okay, you know the rules now. Let's play rock, paper. Hmm. Oh, we have like a ATB meter? Craft. Um, rock, good old trusty rock. You throw rock. Paper, what the fuck? You can do that? Yeah, I threw paper. Paper wins against rock, which means foo foo foo. I win this round. Okay, let's do it again. Rock, paper. She's not gonna expect me to throw rock two times in a row. Rock! Shit! Damn it! Oh, we both threw rock. When we both throw the same thing, that's a draw. Ho ho ho. You're a truly powerful opponent. Okay, last round. Rock, paper. You're not gonna, she's not gonna, there's, she's, she's thinking right now, there's no way they throw rock three times. Rock! Yeah, get fucking destroyed! Let's go, you threw scissors like a scrub, you threw rock? No, I threw scissors. Why this? No, this can't be a draw. Oh, I guess we did kind of draw. You're quite powerful, hat adult. I'll give you that. Now you know the basics of rock, paper, scissors, so you're invincible. Our training has come to an end. Farewell. You guys, the tutorial kid said I'm invincible. That's a barrel. That's a barrel. That's a barrel. Ah, you heard the villagers talk about this. A very dangerous fruit, which if approached will spell your doom. This is just the banana peel. Do bananas even grow here? You'd rather not die today. So you leave the banana peel alone. But I want to step to that tile right over there. Is this a barrel? That is a barrel. Flowers smell like flowers. The sign says shop. The figure of change god dances slightly, has a wide smile. Odal's here looking at what the shop has to offer. Odal! Oh, Sifrin. You look rested. Glad to see you this laid back on the day before the end of the world. Anyway, how can I help you? Questions. Clock tower sleepover. Fighting the king. What will you do after? We're fighting the king tomorrow. We are. I hope you're prepared. The king and the sadnesses his destruction creates. They possess crafts capable of slowing us down or even freezing us in time completely. So as always, we're counting on you and your speed to keep us out of trouble. Aww. So you want me in the front again? Leading everyone, if possible. You've already proven good at preventing traps and keeping us alive, so I don't see why that has to change. As always, you can count on me to provide everyone with intel on any enemies we encounter. Everyone except Bonnie Face will be on battle duty, but I might, might ask Bonnie Face to do something as well. It might be good for everyone to give the kids something to do. Boring tactics talk, I know. I'll shut up and buy items for our journey to the top of the house. Oh, have you found it? Is your field of research tactics? Oh, gems. Are you still trying to figure out what I'm researching? No, my field of research isn't tactics. Isabeau actually proposed that one last week, late one. No, no. Give it up already. None of you will ever figure out what I'm studying. It will stay a secret forever. Well, I have a time loop to figure it out, apparently. What will you do after? She's the chair guy. What does that mean? You drop this, King, shows rock. <laughs> after tomorrow, if we survive, I wish I had your confidence. Maybe I'll just go home to Kabooey. Kabooey? I haven't seen my country in many years. Before I met Mirabelle and Isabeau, my main goal is to travel to Vogard and see its many different places, sites, cultures. I've already accomplished this by traveling with Mirabelle, so... Was it all for your research? The guy in the chair, he calls in and is like, there's bad guys. Oh! <laughs> Except they're in battle. With us. They're more like the... I don't know. I, I'm thinking of like the Goombario like character where it's like, I bring you out to tell me about the enemy and then I put you back in my pocket. Yes. Your research into travelology, sightology, culturesology. Culturesology isn't a field of research, Sifrin. 
but it is the field of research you spent your life trying to create. Stop inventing a backstory for me. What about you? What will you do? If we beat the king, that is. Will you go back to your own country, maybe? What will you do? Come up with my own field of research. Boom! Ugh. Clock tower sleepover. A sleepover? Ugh. You guys really are kids. We can forget about our problems. I suppose so. Nonetheless, I'll be there. Poor Boniface probably needs it. Maybe we all do. But the room only has three beds, right? I better get a whole bed to myself. Mira and Bonnie will probably be sharing. Mirabelle and Bonnie? So we'll sleep on the ground. You or Isabel? I think me and Issa will share. Issa, of course! Poor man. Anyway, I'll be there. You know. Since we already decided earlier we meet at the clock tower and all. Yeah, you already all planned to meet up at the clock tower. So was there a need for you to let everyone know? You could have just met everyone at the clock tower. Oh well. Not like you have anything better to do. Anything else? Mm. Nothing. Okay. See you at the clock tower later then. You crossed Odell from the reminder note. Papers. Some sort of sale happening, it seems. <gasps> I'm sitting! Some sort of a steam winter sale? Old moldy books. Can't even read their titles. Ahoy, traveling one! Ow! You're with Mirabelle and the lady with the glasses. I recognize you. Can you believe Mirabelle's been blessed by the change god to save us all? The change god almost never gives blessings of any kind. It's truly amazing Mirabelle has been chosen. May the change god protect her in her journey. You nod. Change god, huh? May the change god protect you. And also you. Lorem ipsum dolorsit. Amet. Ooh, some kind of instars in time. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Whoa, whoa. Okay. All right. Um. Pew, pew, pew. Hello, young lad. Sit down next to me. You can sit on benches and stools by walking into them. Yes, I know. Just walk into them. Very intuitive. Well, ain't that just the Delta Room? It might be a little bit... Horrifying, isn't it? Our beautiful house of change warped into such a terrible shape. The king waits inside, waits for the entire country to finally be frozen in time. I shall pray for your victory tomorrow. Thanks. Yeah, no one else to... Alright, bye. Can't for the king to have a weird mouth stomach. Oh my god, I hope so. Sign says, favor tree. Isabel's probably at the tree. Shouldn't bother him. Darn it. Let's go over here. Hello. Mirabelle's here sitting on a bench looking at papers. Hi, Sifrin. You anything? Uh, how you feeling? Oh, being in Dormont, you mean. It's nostalgic. This is where I lived before and all. I mean, when I wasn't studying or working at the house. Dormont itself hasn't changed much, but the house. We can see it from the village, you know. How distorted it's become. I was the only one who managed to escape the house when the king attacked. So many people must be hurt. Or maybe they're all... Mira. We'll save them all tomorrow. Yes, you're right. I should stay positive. Sorry. What will you do after? After? Won't it jinx us to talk about this? Well, I'll need to make sure everyone in the house is okay. Being and the king should make their time flow again and they won't be frozen anymore. And I need to talk to the head housemaid and apologize for taking so long. She was the one supposed to beat the king. Uh, 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 she would have done a better job than I did if only the king didn't freeze her in time. But after I apologize... I was thinking of traveling again? You know, you know, as a housemaid of the House of Change, I'm supposed to keep striving for change. Even more than a normal believer. And part of it means I have to go on a pilgrimage. Which I haven't done yet. Didn't this whole journey count as a pilgrimage? No? I mean, I don't think so. The pilgrimage is all about learning new things, and seeing new places, and changing yourself with other people you meet. This journey could have been that, but... I haven't changed at all. I'm still the same old Mirabelle. You feel like she's changed a lot since you met her, but who are you to judge? What about you, Sifrin? What will you do? What will you do? Go on a pilgrimage too, maybe. Oh! That's great! But I thought... Oh, change! Are you thinking of converting to the House of Change? The house will be delighted. I have some pamphlets. Pass. I'm fine staying the same person forever. You're fine with it? Oh, okay. Uh, what's the thing you drew? She drew a thick flowing line on the reminder note. What's that about? What I drew on the note? It's a flowing ribbon, silly. Like the one in my hair, see? Oh. 
Oh, where's everyone? Did you forget already? I wrote a note for you. You go in your pockets to find it. Just put it in your hand. Put your hand right in there. Now I think you've even forgotten how to put your hand in your pocket. Oh no, I sound so condescending. I don't mean to, sorry. Your pride's a little hurt. Have you forgotten how to open your menu? Wow. To open the menu, press Y. I know, I didn't forget. Uh, nope. Okay, see you later. Board librarian, welcome to the library. Well, our selection's kind of lacking. All the good books are in the house, but the house is, well, closed until further notice, since the king took residence there and froze everyone in time. Are you looking for a book in particular? Are you? Nope. I didn't forgo what, uh, forgo I forgot what I forgot about. No problem, let me know if I can help with anything. Filled with novels, Run Child Run, The Unrestrained, the Cursing of Chateau Castle, issues 6, 12, and 24. None of these catch your eye. Travels of the World of the House, Monasteries of the Change God, Kabuan Expressions. Oh! There's an old book stuck between the shelf and the wall. Take it out? Yeah. Run by Run by Woodkid. Pushing some books around, you manage to get a hold of the old book. Book between your hands, you try to read the title. Try as you might, your mind can't seem to get a hold of the letters. You put it back. That's for the best. The paper seems to list people who aren't allowed in this library for crimes against the books. Always from the books about craft. What is craft? Crafting for dummies. Creative craft, how to paper type, how to use paper type effectively. Scissors type and me. Just because your rock type doesn't mean you can destroy walls and many more. You should gift that last one to Bonnie. Pick up what is craft crafting for dummies? Yes. Open it to a random page. Protection craft, creative craft, piercing craft, common nose, rock, paper, and scissors craft are three branches of common craft. Wait, the, the, the game's combat is literally rock, paper, scissors? I thought the tutorial was just... Okay. Okay. Okay, all right. Yes. It is the art of molding the world around us as we see fit, like crafting clay into moving figurines, or using paint to create art that blah, 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 blah. Flip through the book. Using craft in battle is taking the creative energy and making it physical to hurt enemies. Other types of craft include body craft, time craft, blah, blah, blah. Time craft. You shouldn't be able to craft time. There's a piece of paper taped to the page with a tiny face drawn on it. The tiny face is an upside down smiling face saying, ha 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 ha, funny joke. Hmm. Time craft not being achievable is the theory for a long time, but the king is able to freeze people in time, isn't he? Crochets at you aggressively. Aggressive. Big papers. You enroll on a look inside. It's a map of Vogard. I see. Over this way. The sign says East Dormont. Clock tower. Hello. Me. Me. This kid seems to be drawing a picture of someone. Oh. It's Mirabelle. It's Mirabelle. The kid beams at you. They shuffle their drawings around and show you another one. Oh! It's you! It's me! He smiles, kicks their feet. Happily! You really like their art. Maybe. Can you draw me something I can take with me? Kid looks at you for a moment, then gets to work. It's you and your friends. It's me and my friends. The kid makes a happy noise and gives you the drawing. He got friendship, doodle! You put the drawing in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Thank you, talented one. Kid laughs happily and gets back to drawing. Yes! Yes! Let's fucking go! Going on the fridge? Hello! Ah, aren't you one of the saviors tra traveling with Mirabelle? You're doing so much for us. I wish I could help you in some way. I know! I grow flowers, beautiful flowers, that could make someone like you happy. That could make someone you like happy. Here, have one. You could keep it or gift it to someone special. You got the bright flower. Put the flower in your pocket along with their souvenirs. You can give the flower to one of your party members by talking to them. Who should I give it to? Maybe I should wait till I've met everyone. This sure is a lot of flowers. People keep telling me salads come out dry. I think it's something that needs addressing. Good. Sign says, my friend made a sign for my house, so now I have to keep it. Recipes. Oh, hello, traveler. I hope the smell in here isn't too overpowering. 
I hope uh, I'm cooking a lot of different things for tomorrow. All of us in Dormont talked a few days back, and we decided that while you'll be exploring the house to fight the king, everyone in the village will be partying. That way, if you win, we'll already have the party in full swing. But if you don't, we'll all get frozen by the king's curse. We'll be frozen in time, but at least we'll be happy. A party. Good for you? I can tell you find that weird. Even if the end is coming for us, it's still a new form of change. And any type of change deserves to be celebrated. Bogart is weird. A little bit. Beautiful cutlery. Shelves filled with food. Wizard loving kid. Hey, hey, big hatted one. My mother talked about you. She said you're a traveler with a big hat, but it doesn't make it mean you're a wizard. Because wizards aren't real. Who told you that? Are you a wizard? You wish. Nope, just a traveler. Tell him I'm a wizard! Boring. Kid turns away and ignores you. So mean. Frog loving kid. Little girl makes a frog embroidery. See the little girl making a frog embroidery seems too shy to make eye contact with you. Nah. Leave her to her frogs. The kid still dances as he looks at you curiously. You look weird. Are you from up in the sky? Are you? How did you know? Yes, I knew it. If you're from the sky, then I'm gonna give this back to you. You got a four-pointed leaf. Put in your souvenirs. It fell from the sky, but I'm giving it back. Thank you for this gift. Mm-hmm. The kid nods stoically. Is the frog driving a car? Ooh, maybe. Oh, ho! Is someone there? Yeah, hello. Aha! Hello there! Oh, I don't recognize your voice. Are you perhaps one of the saviors? I knew it, I knew it! It's very nice to meet you. I've met another one of you earlier. They smelled like snacks. A little kid by the name of Bonnie, was it? If you're looking for them, I heard they- I heard them go past the bridge just south of here a little while ago. They went to look at my veggie field, talked to me about my veggie field, and went back to look at my veggie field. They said my vegetables looked really shiny and delicious. And so I would die for them now. Ah, perhaps I shouldn't make such jokes, considering they might actually die soon because of the king's curse. Yeah, but, you know. The door is locked! Interesting. It's a really intense locked door noise. Bow. Kerchunk. Bonnie's here looking morosely at the fields. Bonnie! Hey, friend. Oh, boy. What do you want? Questions. Um, worrying about tomorrow? Metal pipe noise. No! Not even a little bit. That's a lie. Your sister will be okay, you know. Don't talk about my sister! Anyways, I don't need to worry about her. It's not like she's gonna move from her spot. Body sister Zambambouche. A coastal village hundreds of kilometers from here. A few months ago, the king froze their whole village in time. Unless he managed to beat the king tomorrow, Bonnie's sister will never move again. What will you do after? If we beat the king, I'll go and see my sister in Bamboosh, duh! And then? And then I'll hug her. And then? And then I'll tell her I really, really tried. Tried what? And then? And then you won't be here anyway, so you won't be here to ask me stupid questions, you crab! What about you, anyway? Crab's a compliment. Thank you. What will you do? Um, I'll go to space. Space sounds lame. I bet you can't even go there anyway. I totally can. Wait, really? How? It's a secret. Wink. That is why I don't like- This is why I don't like you, Sifrin. No. Questions. Uh... Flower for you? Well, wait. Clock tower sleepover. Sleepover? That's pretty dumb. Was it your idea? Hey. Mirrors, actually. Oh. Then it's a great idea. Why didn't you come up with it? Stars, you do not know how to deal with Bonnie anymore. Nothing. See you at the clock tower. He talked to Bonnie. How they wink wearing an eye patch. Don't worry about it. Wink? It's more about the head movement than the actual eyelid movement. Um. Um. It's you. Uh, uh, oh, it's, okay. Up and down, or L and R. Sifrin, Mirabel, Isabel, Odile, Abaoni. That's just a kid. Who brought a kid here? That's what I'm saying. Weak to cheese, resistant to veggies. 
Okay. It's you. Menacing. A little bit men Wait, I was gonna check my pockets. Um... No, no, no. You crossed a few things out. You read it all again. Read it all again? Oh, that was in the shop. Bonnie's East. This was the favorite tree. Give him some time, though. Well, I think I've talked to everyone else. So maybe we can go to the favorite tree now? She drew a ribbon. It's supposed to be her. Ha! Huh? Because she wears one. You get it. You're very smart. I get it. The party photo? Mm-hmm. The art in this is very, very good. I I really like... The, it's like... It's like a certain flavor of highly polished RPG maker aesthetic where the in-game art is like heightened retro and then the character art is just wherever the fuck they want it to be. I think it's pretty sweet. The sign says favor tree. Isabeau's here probably pondering what favor to ask the tree. Issa! Sif! Issa! Sif! Issa! Sif! He said, ah, okay, that's it. I'm ending this bit. No. Boo. That's how it has to be, Sifrin. Anyway, I was just looking at the favor tree. Isn't this tree cool? Hmm. Yeah, it is. Glad you agree. One could say it's a pretty... Uh-huh. Tremendous tree. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Yes! You both laugh. Laughing uproariously, he raises his hand towards your shoulder, but stops and brings it to his side. Ha! <laughs> that was funny. I'm gonna go soon so you can do your thing with the tree. But do you want to talk before I go? Uh, what's up with the big tree? Oh? You don't know about the favor tree? Well, it's just a random big tree. Yeah, but if you're a believer of the house of change, the biggest tree in a certain place is called a favor tree. It's like, it's, it's the tree with the most power so you can ask it things? As a favor? Like, please help me pass my defender exams. Which is like a totally random example. Wasn't Isabel a defender? Did you ask a, a mythical tree for help with your exams? And I passed with flying colors, thank you very much. Well, I did study very hard, so it's not like the tree did much. But even a little bit helps. You should ask the tree for a favor too. It's a big day tomorrow. What will you do after? After we beat the king. Wow, Sif. So confident. So cool. I like it. I think I'll just return home to Juvente. I don't have anything else planned. I wonder how Juvente's doing. When we left it, it was still standing moving, but I think the King's Curse may have caught up to it. So then, we take your job back? Nah, being a defender has kind of lost its shine. I always admired the defenders, you know. It's all about protecting your neighborhood, your city. Helping them out with whatever they need, be it getting a cat from a tree or helping an old man with his bags. But when Mira came to Juvente asking for help, after Dormont's house had fallen. I was ready to help for all of Jovente's defenders to help. You know what they said? Nah. And I could tell that they, they said that because they were scared. The worst defenders see is like a robbery, maybe. So suddenly helping to save Valgard was too much for them. But not helping because you're scared. I just couldn't accept that. That's not brave. So I quit and I won't go back. I'll do something else. More, maybe it's time for me to do something brand new. I got a secret. I've always wanted to be a clothing designer. So maybe I could just take an apprenticeship somewhere. You never knew. That sounds great, Issa. Heh <laughs> heh. I knew you'd approve. What about you, Sif? What will you do when we beat the king? What will I do? Start a comedy club. French will use that sound when there's an accent. But I still don't know how to pronounce it. J is it... Z J J J Jovent? You, you, you typed it out, you're like, that. It, it's pronounced like this. I'm <laughs> like, is it GIF or GIF? Wait, really? Are you serious? Yeah, absolutely. Juvant? Yes. Finally, more people will be able to hear your puns. Clock tower sleepover? Huh? A sleepover? Crab, yeah. Doesn't the clock tower only have three beds, though? I'm guessing Bon Bon Amir will share, and Madame Odile will take her own, which means we'll share beds against Sif. I got dibs on left side. Sure. Yay! Please try not to hog the covers this time. It's getting cold at night. I gotta decide who I'm giving the flower to. I'll be going now. I'll see you at the clock tower later. You talk to Isabeau. Juvonica's French? Hey, I don't know. I don't know nothing about nothing.
Which is why chat's here. Give the himbo the flower. He did run away. The favorite tree looms over you. You slowly walk closer to the trunk of the tree, where you can see some leaves you can grab. You need a leaf to ask the favorite tree for something, after all. You look around for a leaf you like and think. Hmm. Asking for a favor from a higher power like a big tree sounds pretty close to a wish, you think. A wish. The favorite tree seems to be popular among people in Vogard lately. You think that if people came to make a wish, they'd probably wish for Vogard to be saved. You don't really need to add another wish like that to the pile. The trees are probably already on it. But you'd feel bad wishing for something big and taking away from everyone's wish to save Vogard. Something small, then. Something simple. Something nice. Okay, you have a few ideas. But you can only choose one. You wish... To visit more places with Mirabelle. To wear clothes Isabeau has made. To go with Odile to see her country. To be here when Bonnie reunites with their sister. Another panel chocolate. Let's visit more places with Mirabelle. Mirabelle has changed so much since you met her. She doesn't realize it, but now she's able to talk to people while looking them in the eyes. Sometimes she even snarks back when you tease her, which you didn't think was even possible. You'd like to continue traveling with her and see her get even more comfortable expressing herself. You want to stay with them. A wish in mind, you look at the leaf you've chosen and wish. You breathe your wish into the leaf. Repeat it three times and fold the leaf closed, keeping your wish safe. All done. Gently, you let the leaf go and walk back to town. You have a sleepover to go to, after all. We're gonna stay up late and eat pizza. So, clock tower east of town past the broken bridge, huh? Clock tower, I might be time for you to head out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pew, pew. Garwin. Everyone in this game's Garl. You... I got an achievement. I sure did, and it just kind of left a weird smudge in the corner. <laughs> uh, da, 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 I love full screen. This is the way the clock tower. You did all you needed to do. You can join everyone at the clock tower. Whoop. Oh, it's getting late. Sifrin, you're here. We were waiting for you. Let's go inside. I'm so hungry. You're pretty hungry yourself. I brought back a bunch of food. Let's go, let's go. Phew. Bonbon. Bon. That was delicious. You keep getting better at cooking, Bonnie Face. Those samosas were delicious. Really? It wasn't bad? You liked it? I mean, of course it was delicious. I'm a master cooker, you know. Chef. I'm a chef cooker. That was the perfect meal, Bonnie. The blind man's veggies. They might have stolen his veggies. That was the perfect meal, Bonnie. We'll all sleep well tonight and full of energy tomorrow. It was almost too much, to be honest. I don't think I can move. Was it too much? You could have eaten more. Sif, you still hungry? Friend, you ate a lot, huh? You liked my cooking a lot, huh? Have some more food since you're so hungry and I like my cooking so much. Bonnie gives you one... Carrot slice. Chomp. How can you still eat? How can such a small body eat that much? I'm a growing kid. A growing kid that drinks alcohol? You're older than most of the people here? You wink cutely. That, get him. Just keep winking until I leave you alone. Um, everyone? Can I say something? What's up, Mira? Um, we, we've all been traveling together for a while now. It hasn't always been easy, but meeting you all, traveling through Vanguard to get the orbs needed to open the house's gate again, there's no way I could have done this alone. I, I want to say thank you for coming with me this far. But tomorrow, we'll go and fight the king. Someone who has thrown Vanguard into stillness and silence. Someone who has now frozen almost all of Vogard in time. I'll do my best to make sure this doesn't happen to any of you. But if you don't want to come, if you want to go back home, I would... Kind of late for that, Mirabelle, isn't it? Terrified of the other shoe dropping. The other shoe is gonna fall from space and obliterate the entire game. I know. I. And by that, Madame Odile means that we're with you. Of course I do. We've come this far after all. Did you really think we'd leave you behind? Let let you go alone? We'll follow you, Belle. We'll help. Don't worry. 
We'll stay with you, Mira. You never let her go alone, after all. Oh. Oh, thank you. Yay. Isabel and Bonnie hug Mirabelle tightly while you and Odile stand a bit apart, like always. I like the little smile that we got in the little corner there. This is when the audience at a theater would say, Aww. This is when a chat on Twitch.com would go, Aww. Let's go to bed. We have a big day tomorrow. Indeed. Then, good night, everyone. Good night. No two people weren't on fire. Oh. Sif. Hey. Hey, Sif. Sifren. Sifaruni. Isabel's whispering your name. What? Um. Sorry. To wake you up? I just have to tell you something. If that's okay. He dares interrupt your beauty sleep. He knows you value your sleep, so this must be important. You nod. Okay, okay, okay. Then I shall tell you the thing. The thing I woke you up to tell you. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, okay. So, the thing I have to tell you is that I don't have anything to tell you right now. But I will when, uh, when we beat the king tomorrow. Okay? That's so ominous. It's not meant to be. I uh, just don't want to tell you right now. It might distract you. And we wouldn't want that, right? So, um, I'll tell you when we beat the king. Okay? What could he want to tell you? It seems important to him, so the only thing you can say is... Okay. Okay. <coughs> Bam! Some people are trying to sleep! Get his ass. Yeah, Isabeau. Some people are trying to sleep. Close your mouth and sleep. You close your mouth, house maiden. You're gonna wake up Madame Odile. I'm already up. And if the noise continues, I will stand up. You do not want to know what will happen if I stand up. Sorry. Sorry, Madame. Sorry. This is so sweet. And oh, hey, what's that writing on the wall? Good night, Sif. You feel safe, surrounded by all your friends. You fall asleep. She will cast a rock on our houses. The house's gate. You look up at it. The house's gate, huh? It's bigger than I thought. It's so scary. It really is locked shut. I can see space for us to put the orbs. This whole adventure, this whole journey, after all this time, I can finally open it. I have my orb right here. Let's go for it then. Orb. Orb. Oh my God, there's a dither pattern in there. That fiend. Oh. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I ended up keeping the flower for myself. Oh! Up ahead, that's a sadness. A sadness, huh? House must be crawling with them. Okay, everyone, let's, uh, don't get overwhelmed now. Come on. We've seen tons of these already. Don't worry, Belle. We can take care of them. No problem. Okay, but Mirabelle seems overwhelmed. Maybe talking would make her feel better. Something to distract her. Something like, oh my, should we go over strategy again? Don't tease me, Sifrin. But uh, yes, I would like that. So uh, to start with, Sifrin should, you're about to enter a battle. Here's some basic stats about you and your party members to remember. You, scissors type, weak to rock. Fast can make everyone faster. Mirabelle, scissors paper type, weak to rock. Heals and can boost friends attack. Isabeau. Rock type, weak to paper. Hits hard, can boost friend's defense. Odile, paper type, weak to scissors. Can use craft spells of any type. Slow, can make enemies slower. Bonnie, helps out randomly in battle. But most importantly, snack duty. 
I hate this. Sorry, Bonbon. Bon. The sadnesses in here are too powerful for your tiny little arms. You can help out sometimes as long as you make sure to keep your distance. But we know that's boring, so that's why we also made you in charge of snacks. It's a super duper very important job, you know? The super duper importantist. Don't patronize the kid. Yeah, don't patronize me. Eh, eh. All good? All good. You smile. Monster time! Stab it! Battle start. Phew. Okay, okay. Don't worry. You focus on healing, big guy over there can hit things. And use Zifrin. Keep the puns and one-liners to a minimum. Please. Okay, rude. We should examine the sadness first to know what we're up against, so... Oh, it's your job, madame. Yes. Please slow down, everyone. Let me attack first for once. When it's my turn, I'll examine the enemy using the craft skill. Oh. Analyze the enemy skill doesn't use a turn. Analyze! Remnants of the people that were defeated by the king. Their grief and sadness is all that remains. They cannot tell friend from foe anymore. Defeating them is all we can do. Every sadness has a different resistance and weakness. Maybe there's a way to figure it out from their appearance. Um, we need to do certain hand signs when we craft skills. So maybe we should look at their hands? Oh. Very well done, Bonnie Face. So this sadness must be... Sifrin? What do you think? If you look at its hands... Uh... I mean, two fingers is number two, which is paper. Ah, Sif! Even I know that's wrong. Wrong. Try again, Sifrin. Okay, then paint, then rock. Bone the fish. Wrong again! You look at its hands. Three? Yeah! It's doing scissors sign! Indeed it is. If this enemy is scissors type, what's the best type of attacks we can use against it, Sifrin? Your turn again. Uh, scissor versus scissor. <laughs> what? You're not very good at this today, are you? You're so embarrassing, friend. What? No, you were joking. Great, now I think you're stupid. I can be stupid and joking. Tee hee. Even the text is laughing at me? You can see something in the corner of your vision. This seems to show resistances. Did that show up because I was fucking around? I know rock, paper, scissors. God damn it. Ah, you suppose it'll be useful. Psst, you can turn this helpful visual on and off in the options menu. Thanks! Your turn again. Paper. No, that's wrong. Rock. Yeah! Rock beats scissors! Exactly. Thank, thank you, chat. Thankfully, even after examining this enemy, it's still my turn. And thankfully, you can use all three types of craft. Yes. I'm still paper type, though, so hopefully this sadness doesn't attack me. Let's go and attack it now. Craft. Uh, rock three. Deals rock damage to one enemy, two turn something. Mm. Yeah, yeah. She's this. She's sad. Boom. Yeah! Great hit, Madame Odao. What's that symbol that appeared on the right after you attacked again? I know you said it before, but I forgot. Ah, good eye, Bonnie Face. Bonnie Hatch. Don't worry about it right now. And just remember, it's there for later. Let's finish up beating up the sadness, shall we? No need to slow down for me anymore. It's our turn to attack whenever our attack gauge is filled, right? It's that gauge that fills up automatically when no one's doing anything. Precisely. Let's defeat the sadness now. Um. Oh, so you can attack with your type or craft is like a ma like a special ability. Knife to meet you to cleaver by half. Make up the time. Turn it up. Um. Um. What what happens if you match? You probably just don't do a lot of damage. I just don't know if you do zero damage. Make all friends faster. Boost attack and crit chance one turn. Make fast. Snap your fingers. Uh. Deal scissors damage one enemy. Artsy silent burst. Super sparkle heal. Pretty buffy friend. Boost all friends attack. Deals rock damage to one enemy. Kaboom. Deals rock to all enemies. Your turn. Give your turn to a friend. Boost all friends defense. Attack. 
Oh, yeah. She looks at us. That was ominous. Um, give your turn to a friend. Go, Isabel. Do it. Punch her. Yahoo! We did it. That was easy, wasn't it? It was. Just look at the enemy's hands to find out their type and attack accordingly. As long as we don't find someone who's standing with their hands behind their back, menacingly, we'll be fine. You breathe in and out. 100 XP received. Yeah. All the names in general. Mm-hmm. We did it. See, Mira? It wasn't that bad. Going through the house would be a piece of cake. You smile and take the lead. Is that a brick? Oh! oh! More sadnesses. We'll have to fight them if we want to proceed. Or we could just run and make sure they don't touch us. Um, can we keep talking about strategies for a bit, maybe? I'd like a refresher, too. Yes! Alright, let's keep fighting, then. We'll enter battle if these sadnesses touch you, Sifrin, so get ready. Leave me alone! Don't touch me! No, don't touch me! No, don't. Whoa! All right, what's this one's type? Sifrin. Ha! Your turn again. Uh, uh, paper type? No, that's wrong. Okay, rock. What? Correct. Yay, Sif, you did it. Okay, phew. And if it is rock type, it's weak too. Again? Stars, you know this. Uh, it's weak to rock. No, that's wrong. It's weak to scissors. Uh, I guess I'm out of ideas. It's weak to water. Water type. Ground type? Electric? Sifrin, you're so talented! You know so many things! Congrats, Sifrin. Yeah. Alright, we went over attacks and types. Let's talk about craft skills. Compared to normal attacks, craft skills are more powerful and may allow us to heal or buff. Enemies won't be shy about using craft skills, so we shouldn't either. But using one craft skill means they're going to cool down. That's what that means. After using one, we won't be able to execute the same skill for a few turns. It's usually fine, but it might be dangerous with healing skills. I'll try to make sure to use my healing skills carefully so I don't run out at a dangerous moment. But even if it happens, there's items to recharge our cooldown skills, and there might even be skills and equipment out there to help out. That's true. In the meantime, let's attack. Feel free to try things out. Whoa! Um, yeah, speed. Do, 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 do. Artsy silent burst. Hiya! You're not dead? What? If they're in Canada, they can make craft dinner. Oh. What if I punch the rock with a rock? Oh, they still have the bottom meter? I thought that was their time. Maybe they had a pixel left. We did it! But really, what were those symbols that appeared when you did a rock, paper, or scissors attack? You'll see. You breathe in and out. Experience. All right, let's go get that other one. Fuck him up. No! No! Whoa! Sir Pelos art style? Oh. All right, what's this one's type? <laughs> let's see. Do you know this? Isabeau? Uh huh? Me? Well, uh, it's paper type, madame. And so it means it's weak to scissors. Sif's type. And Mirabelle's. And Mirabelle's, of course. And I have scissor skills at my disposal as well. Yes, madame, I know that. Uh huh. Since it's weak to scissors, I think you should use scissors attacks a bunch. Great idea, Boniface. I wonder what will happen if we use the same type of craft skill multiple times in a row. Uh oh. That's what the thing. That's what it means. Scissors. So you can build up like a combo from doing a lot of scissors. Or a lot of the same type. Feels like you guys are in a roll with those scissors attacks. I don't have any scissors attacks. So how about I give my turn away to someone who does? Which is like we've established earlier, literally everyone but me, I guess. That's what you get for being rock type. Everyone at being bullied by a preteen. Please advise. You'll get over it. But great idea, Isabel. To make sure we keep using the same type right after the other, use that skill of yours to give your turn away, or you can guard if you want. My cool your turn craft skill. I'm not saying that. Your turn. Um, you have the longest cooldown, so go. All the Italian pronunciations. I mean, I don't, yeah. <laughs> just, just doing. 
Okay, so next let's. Whoa! Oh, Madame O'Dial! Uh, Sanus is about to attack O'Dial! Isabeau got in front of her. Isabeau! Owie, yeah, I'll see you all in a minute. He's fucking dead! Isabeau is KO! Ah! Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Don't you need someone to be KO'd for your tutorial anyway? Very true. I for- I- yeah. I was like, didn't she use a scissors attack? No, I am doing scissors attack. She used paper on rocks and that- yeah. Very true. Let's keep this tutorial going then. Thank you for playing along. No problem. But I'll stay right here then. Stop talking! You're KO'd! And KO'd people can't talk, dummy. Okay. Is it really okay? Anyway, when someone's health points or HP goes down to zero, they'll be out cold and won't be able to fight anymore. There's multiple ways to wake him up, like using crafted water, or if Mirabelle knew a craft skill to revive him. But I would make this interesting with... Oh! I remember what those scissor symbols are for! If we do a combo and have five of the same symbol, we can do a jackpot skill! Exactly, Boniface. And C, we already have a combo of three right here. When we get five of the same symbol, we'll be able to use a jackpot skill. Only rock, paper, and scissors attacks count for the jackpot, by the way. We should be careful with how we use those skills, and we can use... But we can use any other type of skill or item without breaking combo. Yay. A combo will save me. Please do a combo. You heard the man. Let's add two more scissor symbols to our lineup, shall we? Uh, scissors. Yeah. Now get ready. Whoa! All in. Yahoo! So the jackpot also revives anyone who's down? As well as attacks? That's huge. We won! And I'm not out cold anymore! Every time we manage to use the jackpot skill, anyone who's out cold is revived and we'll get healed a little bit as well. That's really nice. We should try to do combos as often as we can. Hmm. That's cool and all, but... What if you won without doing that jackpot skill? Would you have just left me there? No, of course not. We have some items. We could have. We would have revived you. We'll always revive anyone who's KO'd after a battle. Can't make unconscious people run around, can we? Are you really this upset that we left you alone for two minutes? Nah, not really. I'm just doing my part. Plus, the floor was nice and refreshing. That's sad. It is, but you're not supposed to say it out loud, Boniface. Hey! And that's the end of this little refresher. All good, Mirabelle? Yes. Thank you very much. I think you got everything, too. Sorry for not paying attention, Isabeau. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm all good. Anything for the tutorial. <laughs> Let's get going, then. Time to save the world. Uh-oh. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny left. A storage room. Let's look around. See a few tonics on those tables. Make sure to pick them up and give them to Bonnie before we leave. Check that closet, too. There might be some cool stuff in there. Should check those out. Small glass containers. Sour tonic. Someone just took the bottle from you. Dial said I'm on tonics duty. Tonics are good to keep your HP up so you don't get knocked out in battle. They're very sour. But the sourness is sure to make you more awake and ready for anything. I'm going to disable Steam overlay on this game. How do I do that? Some small glass containers. I got a super sour tonic. Sour tonics are for everyone to share. You know, I always wondered why they're more powerful than regular sour tonics when they're the same size. They're just that con concentrated. I tried drinking a full super sour tonic once. And what happened? I couldn't taste anything for weeks. Some flyers. They say, House of Change Open. Come and see what you can do for the community and what the community can do for you. There's some people with sparkly eyes holding hands drawn on it. Hee <laughs> hee. I drew those a few years ago to get people to come to the house. It's a little embarrassing now. They think they look nice. They look nice. Whiskey sours. That sure is a pillar. A stool. It's a barrel full of nothing. It's a barrel full of various nuts. It's a barrel full of water. It's a stool. Hell yeah. Let's go. They open the closet full of boxes and papers. And a pendant shaped like a bell. Bell pendant. Well, that closet was useless, but pretty pendant, though. Can the pendant heal me when I'm hurt? Maybe it can. You don't know. You look at the pendant closely. 
It's just a pendant shaped like a bell. But you like it, so you put it in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Tonics and any useful items will usually be visible, but you might get some, some useless but interesting things if you check everything in a room. Good. Right click the game in the Steam library. And thank you. I've never had to turn it off before. In game overlay. Enable overlay while in game. Turned it off. It looks like it went away. Sweet. Thank you. Sorry about that. Thanks for letting me know. Um, you look at what's on the table. You got a grafted water. Someone took the bottle from you. Dial said I'm on water duty. This is a crafted water. When the over. If someone gets knocked out during battle, just a drop of it's enough to wake them right up. Someone at school told me it was just coconut water. Wait, is it? Yes. Look at what's on the table. Ginger juice, pepper juice, thyme juice. You just give it all to them. You learn fast, friend. Be careful with those items, Bonnie face. Guard them well. Be ready to throw those at us if we need them during battle. It's probably safer than making us all carry some. But Sif found those. You don't trust Sif to keep our items safe? The person who a few weeks ago mixed up all the items we had to make a so-called super potion? No, I don't trust Sifrin with, uh, with items. Ha! <laughs> you cutely bat your eyes. Still, there's a lot of spices you found there. Oh, I know this one! Pepper raises attack, ginger raises defense, time makes you faster. Because spicy stuff makes people angry, ginger makes you not sick, and time... Well, I don't actually know why time makes you faster. Me neither. No one knows. Just like me. I'm gonna go right. Oh. There's something sparkling there. It's a pillar. It's a broken pillar. It's a broken pillar. I sure is a broken pillar. A statue of the change god. It's been destroyed. Oh no. What's this sparkling thing? Oh! It's a key! Could it be a key to open the door? Probably, right? You pick it up. You found the circle key. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like a circle inside a circle inside a circle. Does it mean something? What's up with the circles? The design of the keychain, you mean? It's one of the symbols of the House of Change belief. It's to show that we're all part of something bigger. The first circle is inside the bigger circle, which is also inside a bigger circle. It's also part of a houseman's uniform. Like Belle's brooch. Yeah. This is how I decided to wear it, but you can wear it however you want. Uh, as a necklace, a design on your clothes, or not at all. Breaking traditions is also part of the change belief. And the teardrops on your brooch? Pretty. Goes ding ding when I walk. Don't you love it when things go ding ding when you walk? Crazy frog be like, sure do. Let it, let it go, let it go. It's fine. You put the key in your pocket. Bong, bong. Thanks, Duke. You found my sub. Give it back. Slash undo. Key time. You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. All right, let's go. Take a step forward when suddenly... Is something wrong, Sifrin? Huh? Did you see that light? A light? Here, you should take a look at this. Something wrong, Sif? You point towards the light. So they can't see it. Reaching out, you touch the light. Everyone was healed. You can save your progress by touching the star. It's like the dream I had when I ate a star. You close your eyes. Don't eat it. You might. Well, that seems useful. You smile, turn back towards everyone. What was that about? Received a good omen. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's great news. What was? Don't know, don't care. Let's please get going. You nod. Wait! Ah! What? What is it? Sorry for screaming. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I, uh, I don't know if this is relevant, but I, um, I recognize this corridor. I would hope that you do. Oh, I recognize it. The head of housemaiden, the head housemaiden of this house used to warn us about it. I think, I think she called it the death corridor. Oh, that sounds bad. So, um, the house is supposed to be safe, a safe building, but with the king here, some traps might be activated. Is that what you mean? Traps? Traps? Job for me, then. It is your job. Protect us, Trap Master. Not the first time you've had to reassure Mirabelle. Time to look around. Go, Sifra, go, Sifra, go! Not to tell you how to do your job, but make sure to check everything, which is just those six pillars, I guess. Please be careful. 
I'm resting my legs while you look around. Have fun. Bonnie's looking intently at the wall. Found anything interesting? Negative. Keep looking, kiddo. I'm sure you'll find something. I might. You don't know. It's a broken pillar. You look around trying to find something. Anything. Nothing there. This is a pillar. Nothing there. This is a pillar. Nothing here. This is a broken pillar. Nothing there. Maybe there's no traps in the death corridor. It's a broken pillar. Look around trying to find something. Anything. Did you find something? There is something. Yep. A whole lot of nothing. Oh. Well, then this one's probably empty too. This is a pillar. Nothing there. Nothing? Well, you can't find any switches or traps, so... 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 Are we safe? We're not safe, are we? This is the death corridor. The older housemaids kept saying people died there. So there must be a trap. Something weight sensitive or, or something. Or... Or... Maybe it's time sensitive. If we spent too long here. Come on now. There's nothing weird in here. But there must be. Ah, oh, Mira. Bell, Bell, don't worry about it. Friend isn't good at many things, but they know stuff about traps. Hey. Right. If we can't trust the one who's supposed to lead us this early, this won't bode well for later. Hey. But, but, we're not dead yet, are we? Well, that's true. We have been in this room for a while, and Sifrin has been walking everywhere. So if it was weight sensitive, something would have been killed. Something would have killed him by now. Exactly. It's all fine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I believe you. Sorry for worrying. I'm a little on edge. We're good, Mira. Wink. See? Everything's fine. As you live through the novel experience of having your body crushed by a giant rock, you feel a tug on your stomach. And... You died. <laughs> Guess we start again. Loop one. Oh, fuck. Huh? Why the the, the the achievement popped up again? I guess that's the first. So what if I... If I all tab, the weird thing goes away. So let's do that. Huh? We go again. Can we load the save? Friend! Say friend! Good morning. More like good afternoon, I guess. Were you taking a nap? That's just like you. Only you could sleep peacefully at a time like this, hee hee. I guess that's smart. We better get some rest while we can. We have to be ready for tomorrow. So we can finally face against the king. Huh? You're still half asleep, aren't you? You just look at her. Hmm? Okay, then. You can sleep for a little longer, but not too long. Come to the village when you're ready, okay? Huh? Huh? Hold on. Did you just die? You did, you think. You must have. You were in the house and then a big rock fell, and now you're in the meadow back in Dormont, and what Mirabelle just said to you waking you up, that was very familiar. But ah, uh, the trap, the trap, you idiot, you stupid fool. It's your job to take care of traps, so you got taken out immediately. You didn't even get a glimpse of the king. And it's your job, stupid. Your job to see ahead to take care of traps. You sh you couldn't even do your job, and now you're dead because you did a sloppy, awful, terrible job. And you died! You died! You felt your body being crushed, and now you're laying on the grass alive, and your skin itches and your stomach hurts, and you died! You put your hands over your mouth and scream! Stars! You're so stupid and useless and dumb! Ah! Eh, yeah, it's okay. We've all, we've all been there. Okay, you're over it now. You take a deep breath in and out. Phew. We love having a death loop. <gasps> death loop. I should finish that game. You put your shaking hands behind your back, pre pressing them hard between you and the grass. Okay, you died. That's one thing. And now you're alive and not a crepe. That's another thing. And it's apparently the day before, back when Mirabelle woke you up from your nap. That's the third thing. You went... Back in time? I know, Gib. Okay, that's normal. Totally normal. Totally 100% completely normal. Oh, well. At least you were in the lead, as always. Judging by where you were when you died, you were probably the only one who got hit. The only one that 
in a way. You're really glad you forced, you're forced to take the lead every time you and everyone else get somewhere dangerous, but you're back. Back to the day before you went to the house. How and why and can you make sure to not die this time? Back to work, Sifrin. You have a country to save. Got a memory of looping? You'll always remember this. Memories are a type of item you can equip. Each memory is specific to one character and gives them special abilities. For example, the memory you just got can only be equipped by you. When memory of looping is equipped, it'll boost your max HP by plus five per loop. You can equip memories by opening your menu and going to the equip section. What's that voice you've been hearing this whole time? I'm sure that's fine. Um... Also, I wanted to see the thing that Shiv posted a bit. This is giving... Yeah. Yeah, this is... Yeah. It, it is giving this. I'm huh? I'm what? I'm what? The hmm brothers. Narrator text. Very good. Correct. Thank you. What? Huh? Uh... uh equip. 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 Get equipped with... So I have memory of self plus five to all stats. Seems it's not worth the hit to everything right now. But once we loop more, you know... Maybe Miramel. Oi! Maximum Scrungle. Birds still say pew pew. Sifrin, you're up! You don't know how to act right now. You've seen this once before, so you should maybe act the same? Figure something out quick. Quick! H hey again, Mira. Still half asleep, huh? How was your nap? Okay, take two. Say something. Make normal words come out of your mouth. Smart and normal words. Go. Yes, correct. I was taking nap time. I know that. I was there. Oh, stars. Oh, wait. I had something I wanted to ask you. I have an idea for tonight. This will be the night before we go fight the king, so I feel like we could make it special somehow. I was thinking, how about a sleepover? Let's all eat good food together. Sleep in the same room. Maybe tell stories. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Suddenly, remember where this conversation is heading. This is the moment in the conversation where you made Mirabelle upset! Can you change it? Can you change fate? Only one way to find out. Something like, That sounds like an amazing idea, Mira. Yeah? Oh, I'm so glad you think so. I was thinking it'd be a little silly, but if you think it could be fun, then great. I can't wait. This will be delightful. I'm smiling just thinking about it. We've changed the future. Mission complete. All right, boss, return to base. Bum, 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 bum. Woo -hoo -hoo. Mission 12 real. Let's fucking go. You can change things. This was a small change, but your fate isn't set in stone. Then... So, could you let everyone know? I'd really appreciate it. Sure. Okay, let me think. Man, what else should be in the shop buying items, buying in the fields of the east, as opposed to the favorite they're staying in the clock tower? Yep. That's a lot of names and places we remember. You think so? Yes. I always remember things. Well, unrelated to your memory, here's a note with everyone's location, just in case you forget. Okay, see you at the clock tower. Don't forget to check the change god statues, too, for good luck. Okay, that was slightly different from what you remembered, but still, it seems you really are repeating the same day with small differences, and Mirabelle doesn't seem to be aware of it. Are you the only one repeating today? What should you do? So. You should come around- show, You should come to the favor tree when you have a second, Stardust. What? I thought it was going to give me control, and it's like, what should I do? And I was going to go, only thing I can do when I'm stuck in a time loop, and that's break it down! Everything got reset. You're one of the saviors, aren't you? I recognize you. You travel through the pew people. Oh, but now I can... Okay. Because I can only ask about one, and then it was gone. Eh, yeah, 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 Time loop. Oh, Dial! She's from Kabui! My sister visited there once. Did you know they call most people by their last names? Such a different culture. And this Odile, I can tell. 
She's like the mom of the group, isn't she? You. Isabel called Old Isle mom jokingly once. As a result, she made sure none of you would ever call her mom even as a joke. Although she's fine with Bonnie calling her a grandma, it seems. You have to mention it. We're not actually a family, you know. Oh, I know, I know. Just a fun thought exercise. I just like to think about family dynamics and just families in general. I think that's a normal thing to do. Okay. Families, huh? Good night, Duke. Thanks for hanging. Happy Boxing Day. I hope you box someone on your way to bed. It's still here looking down at you. Would the change god be mad if you got a blessing again? Would it know? You believe strongly or whatever. That your hits will super... What if I'm stronger? Best defense is a good offense. If you hit hard, no one will hurt you or your friends. You're Pete. Super powerful. Super powerful. Super powerful. You actually feel a little more powerful? You do a little flourish with your dagger. You dropped your dagger. Embarrassing. You and your friend's attack got boosted a little. Months per loop, you can go to the Change God statue and boost one of your stats. The effects of the statue will be reset every time you go back to Dormont. Okay, so they don't. So the memory you can equip stacks per loop, but this is just during this loop, you get a little nudge in one direction. That's kind of, that's kind of cute. Every time you loop back here, don't forget to go to the Change God statue, okay? You close your eyes. Save. Act two. Wow. Okay, that's enough for this loop. You thank the change god for its blessing and quickly run away! Run! Run! Yeah, I'm just trying to talk to this guy. Oh, hey, Traveler, you're not from Vogard, are you? You've talked to them before. Well, you've been in Potteria once, so... I've been in Potteria once. Is that so? How'd you like it? Very good plays. Fellow theater fan. Nice. You give each other a nod, as fellow theater fans do. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. I am fishing. You look like someone who likes fishing. Do you want to fish? You didn't catch anything last time, but maybe this time. Maybe, maybe this time will be different. Let's go. Different lure. Come on. You find the same lure you used before. Check the fishing pole, throw it, sit down, and wait. Maybe a different lure is the problem. No, they th Didn't catch anything. You messed it up a second time. Damn you! Damn you! Hello, welcome to my home. You're one of the people traveling. I like going into strangers' homes. That didn't change. Um, the round one, I think. You're right. I think you should be happy about that one. You told her to give her wife the other necklace before, but she said exa the exact same thing. Why even ask, then? Hey, make sure to defeat the king tomorrow, okay? I'd like... To ask my wife which one she actually prefers. Yeah. You'll definitely be able to save everyone with this power you have. So she'll definitely be able to ask her which necklace she actually prefers. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be good. Mirabel's here. Hi, sit friend. Need anything? You don't need to talk to your allies about things you've already talked about, but the option is still here in case you need a refresher. Questions. Anything weird happened lately? Something weird? Um... She looks at the paper she's holding as if you just accused her papers of being weird. Nothing. Nothing's weird. Definitely not my papers. Suspicious. Don't look at them! Tease her a little. You bring your index finger up. No! You slowly move your finger closer to her papers. No, 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 no. Closer. Mirabelle's so worried at the idea of you seeing her papers that she froze. Your finger gets closer. And pokes one of the papers. Poke. Stop poking my papers. You feel a little bad. You stop poking the papers. Apart from that, I haven't seen anything weird. Nope. Okay, see you later. This is very good. Welcome to the lie, Barbie. Our selection is lacking. House is closed until further notice. Yep. Looking for a book in particular? Nope. So maybe an, an eventual loop will have a specific book I'm looking for. Hello, so you're looking at the shop as the offer. Hello, you look rested. How can I help you? Anything weird happen? Weird? Like what? I didn't see anything weird. Did you see anything weird? Too perceptive. Nope, nothing at all. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. I do hope you'll also let me know if you see something weird. Maybe we should tell her we're in a time loop, but it's probably fine. 
Ahoy, traveling one. This is your the Mirabelle and Lenny with glasses. Yep, 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 you nod. I wonder if the change guy is the one who revived you and gave you those powers. Eh, it doesn't matter that much. Might be tied to the favor tree. I don't know. Uh, door's still locked. Game will wait for this game to rip my heart and sway. Mm hmm. Hello, young lad. Sit down next to me. Walk into them intuitive. Double chalky? Oh, shit. We might. Horrifying, isn't it? Yep. King waits inside. I shall pray for your victory tomorrow. I suppose the king will have to wait a little longer. Give me double chocolate. Pano chocolate. Was that this building? I forgot. Yeah. Welcome. I'm helping Pop. Wanna buy something? You can get a third of a pastry. Aren't you one of the saviors? What do you want? He offered you a croissant last time, didn't he? No, no, no. You have to ask for a pan au chocolat. Quick. Do you have any pans au cho chocolat? Sure, but I'm actually known for my delicious buttery croissants if you want one instead. No! You shake your head side to side furiously. Incredible. Incredible. I've never seen anyone give such a look of disdain when offered a croissant. Ha! One pan au chocolat coming up. You got it! Yay! You think about putting it in your pocket for later, but it smells so wonderful. Still warm. And you eat it. In two bites. That was uh, a little disturbing and satisfying. Good luck tomorrow. That was disgusting, disturbing, and makes me uncomfortable. Uh, meh, but yeah. Big hat, warm cloak. Yep, it's me. Yep, 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 yep. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah, best friends. You get it. I don't think she managed to talk to Mirabelle last time. Mirabelle would have mentioned it. You should go and tell Mirabelle yourself. We got a quest. Make them become best friends. Need anything? You have a fan. I... I do? You nod and point at the stylish woman's house. I don't know whose house it is. A stylish lady? You describe the stylish lady as best you can. She's stylish. And a lady. I'm sorry to tell you this, but... Stylish ladies aren't very rare in Vogard, haha. And I see a lot of people during classes. I'm not smart enough to remember everyone I see. Well, maybe eventually you'll find a way to jog her memory. Not today. Pawn au chocolat. Pawn. Pawn au chocolat is delicious. Is real good. Howdy. Hello, aren't you one of the saviors traveling? You're doing so much for us. Maybe we should give the flower to someone this time. Who should I give the flower to? Chat. Who do you think I should give it to? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. The drawing! All right, the drawing! They have the ah sound for ah. So is it pa pawn? It is spelled pain. I, I don't know many things, but I know that you don't pronounce it pain in pain. Oh, chocolate. Himbo, himbo, Isabel, Issa, Paul time. It's pronounced pan. Mm hmm, mm hmm. More like pen, pen or chocolate. Probably depends on the accent a bit. Him the flower. We'll give him the flower this time. The amazing artist is here. Yeah! It's Mirabelle. Yes! It's you. Let's go! Draw me something I can take with me. For luck. This is going to be crucial to one of the loops. I have to make sure I get this every loop. Friendship doodle. Yes! You look so weird. Are you from the sky? No. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. Kid nods seriously at you. Hey, hey, big hat of one. You say, uh, it doesn't mean you're a wizard. Wizards aren't real. Are you a wizard? Boop their nose. Huh? Did you do something? <laughs> frog spell. Did you make me a frog? Hey, not cool. Frogs are... Oh! Frogs are so cute! They are? Thank you, kind wizard, for making me a frog. You're welcome. Qua, 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 I'm a frog. Little girl making a frog body seems too shy to make eye contact with you. Hi. Hi. She seems shy. You like frogs? 
Yes. Me too. They're totally awesome. Oh! He he totally. Like toads. He 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 he. Success! Did you know toads and frogs are different? Frogs are smooth and slimy, but toads are dry and they, have, they have, and they have warts everywhere. And toads crawl, but frogs are the ones that jump all the time. I like frogs better, but when my friends say they hate toads, I get mad because toads are still cute. And you listen patiently while the little girl tells you all about frogs and toads. And Frog and Toad is the greatest fictional series of all time. We must stop eating these cookies, says Toad as, but as they continue to eat another whatever JPEG. This is the way the clock tower. We gotta go see the favor tree. There's someone there. Oops. I wanted to pick the other option. My vegetable fields. I like that I can't take some of my veggies. I'm sure you'll all eat well tonight. Oh, I missed the option. <laughs> Kapow. Hello. Bonnie's here. Bonnie. Hey, friend. What do you want? Anything weird happened lately? Weird? JPEG cookies. The ch is pronounced like shoes. O is pronounced like in himbo. The hard C is pronounced like in code. The lat is pronounced like in lab. So it's sh show. Chocolat. Cho chocolate. Pan au pan au chocolat. Cho chocolate. I was gonna say pain old chocolate. Pain old chocolate. Weird, um, just a second ago, I saw like the biggest bee. Okay. How big though? Like, like this big. Bonnie makes a fist and points to it to show you that, yeah, that's how big it was. Wow. That's very big. Are you making a pun? Big? Oh, that's pretty good actually. Why didn't you come up with it? Bonnie sees her crestfallen face and snickers. <laughs> <laughs> These kids like frogs. Okay. And, uh, don't you want to play with them? No. They're babies. Aren't they the same age as Bonnie? I have bad news. What? You are also a baby. No! I'm not a baby. I'm a preteen. You do not say a single word. See you later. I'm 13, I'm an adult. 13 is a teen, not a preteen. Well, that's a bit less intense. T is mute. Otherwise, I'm perfect. Perfect pronunciation. Pen au chocolat. Ch chocolat. You gotta just kinda let it fall out of your mouth. Like the pan au chocolat. Isabel's here, probably pondering what favorite asked the tree. Hey, Issa. Hey, Sif. Are you actually still off asleep? You stopped taking naps forever. You should stop taking forever naps if naps give you cotton brain. I was looking for the favorite tree. Isn't this tree cool? You remember this? Yeah, it is. One could say it's pretty tremendous tree. This went over so well that, that they're like, no changes necessary. I don't have to do anything different in this conversation. It's good. Not trying any new material. That one landed. Stick to it. He brings that to, his sh to your shoulder and stops. Brings it to his side. Did he do this before? What a weird gesture. Ha, that was funny. Anyway, tree feels weird somehow. Maybe it's just me. Tree feels weird? Yeah, like it feels weird. But not mean. Like if a lion came towards you and offered you some candy, that'd be weird, right? That's kind of weird. That kind of weird. What? If a French word ends in a consonant, you can generally assume it's silent. Yeah. Just say panel and then sneeze. <laughs> Well, welcome to the bakery. What would you like? Can I get some pan off? And then you just point. And you're like, oh, sorry. And they're like, oh, the pan off. You're like, yeah, that's the one I want. Did you say that last time? Last time? What do you mean? I just start feeling like this now. The tree feels weird. Maybe we should take a look at it. I'm going to go as soon as you can do your thing. I'm going to go soon so you can do your thing with the tree, but do you want to talk before I go? Anything weird? Yeah, the tree. I told you, something feels off. But I have other things to worry about, so who cares? Flower for you. What? A flower? For me? Panda, panda, scola pies. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Je m'appelle. Bonsoir. Omelette du fromage. Uh, 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 uh. 
Parlez-vous anglais? That's about all I got. You're the only one here, Issa. Parlez-vous Francois? Haha, <laughs> yeah! Mon nom est Phoenix Wright. Isabel takes the flower and cradles it gently in his hands. Thanks, Sif. I... I'll treasure it forever! He seems happy. He's a little bit... ba rumpa bum bum See you at the clock tower later. Goodbye. He said the tree felt weird. Hmm. The favorite tree. He said the tree felt weird, and you heard something telling you to come here, didn't you? What was that voice? You walk towards the tree. The tree is so big, everything under it is as dark as night. But... You feel like someone is here, sitting at the foot of the tree, looking at you. Cautiously, with a hand on your dagger, you walk towards the base of the tree. Well, uh, you found someone, alright. Hello, stranger. Hello? Hello? Oh. Uh, oh. Sorry I ate a star earlier. Um... Hello, stranger. They're kicking their feet down there! A star? My! It's a good theme. My, my! Struck speechless at the sight of me, aren't you? You're so cute, Stardust! Stardust. Um. Ah, Sifrin, look at you. All lost and confused. Huh? Wait. How do you know my... Why wouldn't I know? You're Sif. Sifrin. No middle names, no last name. Just Sifrin. I shouldn't wonder why you look like this, though. It makes sense that you'd feel overwhelmed, considering this is your first loop and all. Huh? How do you... Of course I know, Stardust. I know about you. I know about your party, the loops, about that funny silver coin you carry. All right, that's it. Can you stop talking, please? Stars, no need to yell. Let's take a deep breath, take a deep breath in and out, okay? Breathe with me. Let's go. In. Your head hurts and your hands are shaking and your heart is beating like it's about to explode, so you probably should. Slowly, following the astral being, you breathe in and out. Phew. All right. Who am I, right? Hmm, well, let's see. Let's go with... Loop. You can't call yourself Loop. Your ally, Loop, here to help you with the loops. Loop. Don't damn. I love... Right? The character designs of this are really good. Loop in the infinite. Loop in the turd. Loop. Your ally, Loop, here to help you with the loops. Easy to remember, right? And for pronouns, you may address me with the royal we. How do, how do I refer to you as we? Uh, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Ah, uh, yes, that's true, isn't it? Then use they, them for me. I'm sure you'll think about me all the time, so you might as well know what pronouns to use. You better know this one's pronouns so you can think very clearly in your head that they're getting on your nerves. Your turn, you guess. I use he, they, I know. It's in your profile. I can read, you know. My what now? Anyway, Stardust, I'm here to help. Ask whatever questions your little heart desires. Yep, full-blown headache now. Ah, questions, questions. You said I'm looping? Oh, getting right into it. I like it, Stardust. Are you sitting down? You better sit down. You're going to get a lot of info at once. Pronouns in bio. Sit down. Pronouns in space! You gotta look up one of the stars. You sit down. So! You're stuck in a time loop. Fun, right? Which means that every time you die, you'll loop back and you'll get to try it all over again. No matter how horrifically or stupidly you die, like, let's say, crushed by a giant rock, you will always come back. I saw that? Did you see? Of course I saw, Stardust. How can I help you if I don't know what you're doing? Also, you've probably noticed a lot of things got reset, right? Your party members are saying the same things. All the items you got while you were in the house disappeared. Yeah, you noticed your pockets got emptier. Because they didn't pick anything up yet, right? Stardust, you smart cookie, you got it. So you have to pick them up again? Excuse me. If you want, which you probably should since you got a long road ahead of you. So what about, I have to pick up keys again too? Yep, every time. Well, until you learn. Huh? Cal, tell me this game, they're so right, so cute. Oh, Cal, 
Nice. But Benevolope. I don't know what that is. Banana envelope? Hey, learn what... Anyway, this is a lot of information, but don't worry. Am I gonna learn some kind of spell that lets me open up doors and that's how I get into locked houses in town? That's kind of neat, though, if that means you don't have to get keys in future loops. This is a lot of information, but don't worry. You'll pick things up as you go along. Oh, but your weapons and equipment won't be reset, though. So that's good news. Isn't it nice to get to keep your cool, powerful equipment? Especially since you, Stardust, will keep whatever experience you have, but the rest of your party won't. Compensate by having powerful weapons equipped. Your friends won't grow and get experience like you? I guess it makes sense since they won't remember whatever enemies you face. Speaking of your party, you can tell them about the loops if you want. They might be able to help and nothing's keeping you from telling them, so... Why? Why would I tell them? Why wouldn't you? Don't you need help? You've just learned that you can start again as many times as you want to fix your mistakes. Why would you need help? You're the one in a position to help your friends here. I don't really need their help. Right, because you got me. Not what you meant. Questions. What should I do now? Let's see. Have you tried not dying? I don't know. Just an idea. Just go back to the house and try again. And maybe die again? Guess we'll see. Remember, no death is wasted. Thanks, that was useless. Questions. Any advice? Advice, yes, I have advice. Don't eat pineapples. You're allergic. Am I? You really are. Don't try it. Oh, you look so steamed. Okay, real advice, real advice. While you were talking to your party, did you, didn't you see a weird symbol up here? Two little triangles, maybe? It might be hard with some, might happen with some conversations you've heard before. If you see it, you can zone out by pressing the X button. I did see it. It's like, it's like a little fast forward icon. You can zone out. Okay. It makes you stop listening. It makes conversations go faster. That's our canon excuse for speeding up text. No point in staying away from conversations you've already experienced, huh? Let's try it with the next text box so you know how it works. I'm talking now, so press X whenever. Nope, that's the wrong button, Stardust. Wrong again. I said X. Come on now, this is getting silly. No, don't press that, silly. Press X. Let's try again. I'm talking now, press X. Nope, wrong, wrong, no, wrong, no, don't press X. Try again. Yeah, that's it. I don't... <laughs> There is definitely more dialogue there. That's it. You did it! I'll t it'll take some time for you to get used to it, but it'll save you time for sure. You might miss what your party's saying, but who cares, right? If you make them mad, you can always loop back and they'll forgotten all about it. If you want me to say it another way... If you see the fast-forward icon during conversation, press X to fast-forward through it. Ow, ow, ow. You don't know why, how they did that, but their voice resonated through your head. You've heard that voice before, yesterday. Well, in another version of today, really. So they were the voice you've been hearing, giving you advice? See, I'm useful. I'm very useful. That's why I'm here, helpful loop. That is useful, but... Why are you helping me? Because I think you should be helped. I won't always have the answers, but... I think having someone on your side to talk to is better than dealing with this alone. Right? But I never asked for your help. Tough luck, Stardust. I'll still help you out. All right. That's all I have to- that's all I have for you right now, but don't forget to come to me when you feel stuck, okay? I'll be right here under this tree. Don't forget. Bye. They wave at you excitedly. You awkwardly wave back as you go. They're still there kicking their feet. Loop, huh? They're a little annoying, but if you do find yourself stuck at some point, or just need someone to talk to, they might be able to help. Hey, Stardust, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? What should I do next? Well, stars, I don't know. Did you get to the top of the house so you can fight the king yet? I don't know, just an idea. Come on, Stardust, you can do it. I believe in you. You're so helpful. I really am. Thank you for noticing. Don't worry, I know there's that big pesky trap in the way, but I'm sure you'll find a way around it if you just look. Anything else? Let's talk about something. What do you want to talk about? Aren't you bored? Me? Nah, don't worry about me, Stardust. I like being in the sun. Weird one. Um, I had a question about... Mira has a fan. She does. But she doesn't actually remember meeting her fan, even though they shared classes together. How devastating. I wonder if there's a way to make her remember. Should I check everything again? You mean she checked the same barrels, the same closets, the same objects on tables every loop? I mean, you can, but you know things won't change, right? If you 
really want to get a certain item again or listen to your friends repeat something funny, you should. I personally would only check two or three things every loop and ignore the rest. It will just make you crazy to expect something to change when nothing will. All that might change is your reaction to it. Nothing. How's that different than actually nah? They just both go back. Nah, nothing. See you later, Stardust. You awkwardly wave back. I agree. Me too. Alright. Let's get not murdered by a boulder. Look at you, so scrawny. Did you know you could press X to run? I don't know if anything is different here. You knew this already. Suppose it doesn't hurt to get a refresher. I knew about this, yes. Good, good. Now that I'm looking at you, now I'm looking closer at you, you seem like someone who likes to run. But you should do more figurative running and less metaphorical running. What I mean is, you like to run from your problems. Yeah, I can see it in your face. But you need to learn to face your problems head on, scrawny one. Okay, you need to go. I will now figuratively and metaphorically run from this situation. Wise, very wise. Goodbye, scrawny one. Um... Was there something else I was gonna do? Or should we just loop? Perhaps we loop. Uh... Yeah. 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 Let's fucking go! Totem? Aren't figurative and metaphorical the same thing? Well, you know, figurative is like... Not literal. Probably some put it here to make sure you don't get lost. Hmm. And then metaphorical... Is like, is like, you know, when like a thing is standing in is another thing. Lantern. Sifrin, you're here. I'm gonna zone out. Flower to himbo? Yeah, I did that. Stardust! As you're about to take another samosa to munch on, you hear Loop's voice trying not to jump. Sorry, sorry. So, here again, huh? Don't worry, you'll get to zone out during this entire event if you want, but there is something. You're able to zone through most conversations you've seen at least once, yes. But some of them might be slightly different. Don't stress out about it. Don't worry, if it was really important, you'd stop zoning out immediately. Remember that just because you can zone out doesn't mean the events will be exactly the same. So, zone out, miss some small things, or listen to it all again. What a dilemma. That's all. Bye. It's good to know. You go back to your samosa. Metaphors and comparisons without comparative terms. That's the one. Hmm. Bon bon. That was delicious. You keep going better cooking. It wasn't bad. You liked it? And of course it was delicious. I mean, maybe the dialogue in the bed will be different because we gave him a flower. Hmm. It's almost too much. Your stomach feels weird. You didn't like it? Uh-oh. I'm not very hungry. But you're always hungry? Uh-oh. I may have eaten some bread earlier. Sifrin, how could you do this to poor Bonnie Face? Look at them. They're pounding so hard they're about to explode. Mm. Kaboom! I exploded. Sifrin was destroyed on impact. A beautiful explosion. Sifrin, you died because of your hubris. How regrettable. Was it just me that died? Yes. You were the only casualty. That's fine then. You still dramatically fall over for good measure. How could this happen? Hee <laughs> hee. Hey everyone, can I say something? What's up? I wanna... You don't have to come, but we're all gonna join you. Yippee. Finally for that. <laughs> we're not leaving you behind. For as long as you can. Oh! Oh, thank you. There's a nice thing. Oh! That's part of the loop chat. You gotta go, oh, every single person said last time. Let's go to bed. We have a big day tomorrow. Indeed. Good night, everyone. Good night. It's definitely a very dialogue-heavy game, but also it's... Could just be... Because it's setting everything up for the loop. And a lot of the game seems designed where you can skip over stuff. Hey, Sif! sif -rooney. I did not say it last time. Um... Sorry to wake you up. I have to tell you something. That's okay. He didn't get to the king, so you don't know what he wants to tell you. You nod. Okay, okay, okay. I shall tell you the thing. The thing I woke up to tell you. Woke you up to tell you. So, the thing I have to tell you is that I don't have anything to tell you right now. But I will when uh, we beat the king tomorrow. Okay? 
That's still so ominous. It's not meant to be. I just don't want to tell you right now. It might distract you. We wouldn't want that, right? Tell you when we beat the king. Okay? You haven't gotten to the king yet, so you still don't know what he wants to say. You're so curious. The only thing you can say is... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Kapow. Some people are trying to sleep. Get his ass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we gave him the flower. Which does not seem to have changed anything here. Good night, Shif. Think about how far you still have to go before beating the king. You fall asleep. I mean, all we gotta go do is get past one trap, right? And we're there. Easy as anything. Wow. Just that shrimple. But that rock trap is pain in the ass to reset. <laughs> well, I don't know if they also have to reset it. I think it just gets reset with everything else. Oh! Up ahead, that's the same sadness as before. A sadness, huh? Hassles be crawling with them. Let's, uh, don't get overwhelmed. Come on, we've seen tons of these. Last time she felt better after talking strategy. You could do that again, or you could, you know, save time. Mmm, let's just defeat it. She'll be fine anyway, won't she? Uh, okay. You'll be okay, Mira? Yes, let's go, everyone. She'll be fine. Monster time! It said shift instead of sift? Oh. Uh... Uh, scissors, so, um, make up the time. Speed up! Pretty buff friend. Puncher! This sound effects they're all season off. I should check out off. What I've seen seems quite good. Uh, to you. Do it! Boom! Yeah! Yeah! We did it! See, Mira, it wasn't that bad. Going through the house would be a piece of cake. You smile, take the lead. I can't just hold up. Oh, there's the, there's the thing. Alright. This time it's gonna go really well. No time. There's a house to explore. I love the art and off. It's so so funky. Everyone was healed. Close your eyes. Oops. Stock sound effects from RPG Maker. Oh, well, they're good. Oh wait, I should go back. Wait. Grab the goodies. Storage room. Let's look around. See a few tonics. Check the closet too. Time to pick up items again. Do we really need items? Oh. Surprised to hear this from you since you just love to pick up random things. Of course we need those items. Tonics, juices, those items will keep our health up and are integral to our survival. We can't always count on Mirabelle to heal us. Don't hesitate to use tonics or items in battle if you get overwhelmed. This seems important. You decide to remember those words. It'd be bad to be beaten in battle because you forgot about the items you carry. You got a memory of tonics. You'll always remember this. Any tonic the researcher uses will recover more HP. So if she uses them? Uh, Sour tonic. Take them. Take them. I really like the art that pops up when we're zoning out. We're just like, mm hmm. I'm present. Uh, and then there's a bell in here. That's gotta be important. The bell is definitely important. <coughs> maybe, maybe grabbing the bell is what triggers the explosion. And by explosion, I mean big rock falling down. Wait, that's the room you died in because you didn't check for traps. I just noticed there's like really faint fleur de lis going by in the back. There must be a switch or something somewhere that can stop the trap from activating. You didn't feel it last time, but you can feel something different in this room. There is a big sparkly bit on the wall. It's a normal pillar, but... Carefully look at the pillar. Oh, stars. Hidden unless you're looking at the right angle. 
you can see a switch hidden between the rocks. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, wait! Sifranish, remember this room, it's... You press the switch. Can we just walk around the outside of the room anyway? Whoa! Okay, the rock fell, and not on your head. Woohoo! So you can change things, you can fix things, you can keep going. You're feeling a lot more confident about this killing a monarch business. You give a thumbs up. Trap taken care of, back to regicide. I suppose it is. That was scary. Before you forget, you should ask. Any more death corridors, Mira? Death corridor? Uh, no, that's the only one. I promise. This hallway had a trap which Sifrin just activated, but I don't think there's any other ones in the house. Good to know. Let's get going then. I'm sure we'll be fine. Swing out doors. Sh the stairs. Gate is locked. Well, this one I expected would be locked. Where does it bring us? Far farther into the house? Yeah, this is the only way to the second floor. No wonder the king would make sure we couldn't go in. I'm telling you, the king's scared of us. Maybe he is. But in the meantime, we should find a way to open this door. You look at the gate a little closer. Keel shaped like an egg broken in half. Need to find an egg key. Sure as a pillar. Let's go left first. Wah! Pepper stick. Egg! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ewa. Um. Um. Yeah, uh, may have time. Or. Yeah. Heal yourself. Thank you, sis. Welcome back. Um. Yeah. Boom! Talk to the hand. Jeez, she hits hard. Whoa! Bonnie waxed it! Let's go, Bonnie! They they took one of my favorite mechanics from Earthbound and made it into a core part of the game where you have an extra party member that just kind of shows up and does stuff sometimes. Uh turn it up. Turn it up. Talk to the hand again! The music cutting out when we breathe at the end of battle is like, eh. I like when battle ends with like, yeah, you did it. Um, so can I, can I use craft so I can look at these things? Can I heal between battle? Load pockets. Maybe I can use one of these. Heals 50% of a friend's HP. Done. Hello. Sure is a broken pillar. Another broken pillar. All right. Does Persona 5 do that too? Do which? It's a barrel full of water. A stool. There's only one. It'd be rude to sit down. Row of spears. Why the need for an armory and weapons in the first place? Does the house often get attacked? Not at all. Well, you know, except for right now. This is just one of the many classes the house gives. It's very popular with young adults. In a few weeks, you can learn how to make your very own weapon. It's not only in Dormont, uh, Jovente's house gives smithing classes, too. Most people put the weapon on their wall to look cool. It does look cool. My sister took a class like this. She made a massive hammer and tried to hang it to the wall in her room. And? Hammer too heavy. Wall broke. We had to share my room for weeks. How awful. Oh! Look, on the wall, there's a sword! The sword looks rapier-like. You want to take it, Mira? Hmm. Taking things that don't belong to you is bad. But yes, I would like the sword. He got over that quickly. Got the needle sword. You give the needle sword to Mirabelle to equip later. You found a weapon. Weapons and armors can be equipped by going through the menu and then to equip. The specific weapon is for your little house maiden. Don't forget to equip it. Equip Mirabelle with better weapon. Grace weapon made strong with the house maiden's will. So this is, uh, it's worse than my current weapon? So why would I, oh, it gives me higher defense. Uh, well then, no! No! No, I don't want it! Hmm, big steel thing with a stone on it and an oven for weapons. Those things have a name, but you can't remember what it is. It's a forge and that's an anvil, Sifrin. And the stone is a sharpening stone. Oh yeah! An anvil, sharpening stone, and forge. Some vials. Crafted water. Gave it to Bounty. 
A member. Stolen upgrades are the best upgrades. Doors locked. Symbols of keel shaped like an egg. Like a non-broken egg? Hit her with the scissors. No! Stop it! Yeah! Scissors! Scissor me this, you fiend! Um, your turn. Back to you. That was a lot of XP. Scissor me timbers, Batman. It's me, the Sizzler. What? Whoa, whoa, a hole. Oh. Strengthens the enemy. Oh, no. Um, so he's going to... So, so, so I should use rock? Huh. He's got, he's got rock hands and scissor hands. So, I, I, I guess I should... That's, it has two, it does have two health bars. Oh, shit. Huh. Okay, speed up. I guess I'll find out. Mastery over the triangle. Not the whole triangle. Um. Can I... All enemies. I mean, I don't know if I should use a paper attack against scissor hands here. But he also has rock hands. Uh... Let's boost attack first. I'm gonna try a rocket. Oh, okay, he can pick. Okay. So if it attacks all enemies, that, that makes sense. But he has two halves. Um, punch the scissors. Nice. And you should also punch the scissors, which is my favorite Sonic character. All right, and now we just gotta hit him with the paper. Fire up. Um, uh, you. Slap him. Yes! Nice. That was a fun little guy. Music makes you... <laughs> it does. I'm out of control right now. I probably shouldn't be running past all these enemies, but... <laughs> I sure am. Two salty broths! Hello, hello, Stardust. Got you into some salty broths, didn't you? Drinking one in battle will lower all of someone's craft cooldowns by six, so they're very useful. Use them wisely. Buy Stardust, have fun, don't get crushed by rocks. Some vials. Crafted water. It's a barrel full of nuts. Barrel full of nothing. Barrel full of nothing. This cupboard's full of various board games. Craft game for kids, fishing game, checkers. Checkers! We should play team checkers again. Sif and I will kick your butts. I think I'll pass. Last time we played, Sifrin cheated the whole time and you didn't even notice. My obliviousness makes me a wonderful teammate. Some cutlery and kitchen utensils. Is it cutlery? Yeah, dummy. Why you have to ask? No, no, I'm asking Madame Odile. Is it cutlery you're studying? Cutleryology? This is it, right? Did I get it? Wrong again, mister. I swear your guesses are getting more and more eccentric. Who makes the research all about cutlery of all things? Some people, I'm sure. Not me. Hmm. No, oh well. I'll figure it out one day. Sure you will. You're also curious, but neither Isabel or you managed to find out what she's studying yet. A figurine of the change god. It's been destroyed. A chair. Nothing else. A chair. Some books. One of them is a very striking cover of a Moodoo clay figurine with large sunken eyes and a screaming mouth. Spooky. What is it been? What if you can beat this without looping at all? The rock death seems scripted. I don't think it's possible to beat it without looping once. That would be great, though. Because the fact that you were walking and your own everyone else was hanging back, like, I don't know if you could even progress past that point without everyone in the party. Sifron does seem to be the kind of guy to eat the pieces and checkers when your team's not looking. A hundred percent. Uh, attack. Mm, we should heal. Uh, throw it back over to her. For a uh, scissor attack. Damn. Fuck him up. Oh. There's something over there. Roll blobs? Oh, yeah. 
Some weird water? I've heard about it from people in Dormont. They call those tears. If you touch one, you'll be frozen in time. That's what they told me. There were a few outside the village, too. Tears, huh? Might be a lot of these. Might be a lot of those around the house. You know that dying of natural causes will bring you back. But what about being frozen in time? Is it different? Would it stop you from looping back? Touch it? You only live once, touch it. You only live once, don't touch it. No. YOLO? They both say YOLO. No. Hmm. Don't. I mean... Touching. You have to YOLO. They're both YOLO! No. Touch it. No. Two interpretations of YOLO. The two... The duality of YOLO. I'm gonna YOLO it. Yeah, that's scary. You should just go ahead and move on. We get it! Let's stop looking at it! Can we go already? Ah! Oh. Sif! I said don't touch it! A tear froze you in time. Son of a- You see something appear before you. This is Dormont and the house? Can you decide where to loop back? Oh. To the, to the, to the house. Loop back to floor one. Oh, that's nice. Loop two. I'm back. Oh, you're back. He's back. For a second, you were general, genuinely worried you weren't going to loop back and stay frozen in time forever. Bonnie has a body count of one. Being frozen in time felt like sleeping. So tears freeze you in time, and being frozen in time makes you loop back. Seems like a pretty painless way to loop back whenever you please. Oh. Oh, I get That's the game's way of being like, hey, if you want to go back, just eat one of those. What if I don't touch it and just... I was nowhere near it! Son of a... Can I just do this a thousand times and then equip the memory of loop and have five billion HP? The switch! You forgot to press the switch. Your whole body hurts. I didn't forget to press it. I thought maybe I could scooch around the outside. I remember this room. It's... You press the switch. I don't want to know how many times I died to that. Let's go. Let's go. No, no, don't touch. No touch. Yo. All right. This time, tear stands in the way. Okay, you learn. You're smart now. You ignore everyone's confused looks of the tear and keep walking. Don't worry about it. The door is locked tight. The door locking has an interesting shape. It doesn't have a hole for a key. Have you ever seen? Have you never seen a, lo a lock like this before, Sif? It's a special kind of Vogardian lock. Instead of a key, it needs specific words to open. He's gone. <laughs> He's back. He's gone. Stonks. Words? You need to say the words aloud. I think they call it a, uh, an open phrase? An open phrase. Fascinating. So what's the phrase for this lock? I do not know. Ah. So it's locked. Yes. Yahoo. What's this room, though? Point! I think it may be a storage room. I often saw Dormont's shopkeeper go there, so he might know the open phrase for it. If we had remembered to ask. Oh. Well, too late now, right? Hmm. That's really cute. That the locks... Every lock is essentially a side quest? The sadness got all mixed up! Uh... So we got, we got a rock, a paper, and a scissors. Oh, shit. All right. Get the pa- The big ch chagrin pain. Much to his chagrin. Ow. The big. Sif nods and dives into a tear. Stop beating him up. Um, um, the beep. Wait, that's that's rock. I thought it was a little hand. I uh, well, we have two. Let's just go for a, a scissor combo. Um, come on. Scissors. 
On the paper, on the papier, the paper mache. Um. Uh, I guess scissors against scissor. Okay, so it's just not resistant. Just normal damage then. Oh, Bonnie missed. That's okay, Bonnie. You'll get him next time. Do again. Now I'll show you. I got an achievement, which is gonna make the thing appear. There it goes. Come on. Right. Most games, the achievements don't show up if I do a game capture instead of desktop capture. I don't know. I don't know why it's showing up. I don't know why it gets glitched out. But whatever. Attack! Attack! Breathing out. All better now. So I gotta go talk to the shopkeep on a future loop. A pillar. Hmm? I am definitely not looking around me and I'm admiring the view instead, so tell me if I'm about to run into something dangerous! Whoa, 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 whoa. You keep Isabeau from running into the life-ending tears. Huh? Huh? What? What? What is it? Is it the water? Should I not touch the weird floating water? Same weird water as before. Oh wait, I've heard about those. The villagers call them tears because I literally did walk past it before. All right, they haven't talked about it before. Wait, so I almost died? Maybe should pay more attention, distracted one. I'm keeping my eyes open for all threats except the ones in front of me. We should be more careful. We wouldn't want to touch those. Also, also, I also heard that being frozen makes you go to sleep and gives you a super good dream. Oh? Oh? Well? Oh. oh. Did you hear this from the people in Dormont too? Uh, um, um, a nice lady told me that when she heard my sister got frozen. Oh, 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 oh. I know it's not true. I'm not stupid. Just, it would be nice if that was true. So, so you should touch the weird frozen water and be frozen and let me know how it goes. Pass. Well, we might still need to go this way, so. We should look around and see if there's see and find if there's a way to make those disappear. Well, if I touch it anyway. No. I mean, she went dormant. A sadness? Oh, poor buddy lost its friends. Well, this one feels weird. Bonnie face, it may look different, but it's still a sadness like all the ones we've seen before. It still feels weird. I believe the preteen when it comes to the sadness is weirdness, madame. Let's get this weird. Let's get the weird sadness then. What's weird about him? Um. Nostalgia. Whoa, that hit hard. Um. So, what's it weak to? Um. I don't see any hands. What are the tells? Does it have a different tells? Uh, I'm just gonna attack it with scissors. It's weak to scissors somehow. Okay. Go get him! Bonnie puffs their cheeks. Looks like bad origami. Get him! Fuck him up! Let's go. The sadness left something behind when it dissolved. You got the star crest. It had a, has a teardrop engraved on it. Put the star crest in your pocket. A crest? When in doubt, let old, old dial examine. I forgot. You're, you're right. <laughs> you're right. The hands were, hands were behind its back. Were they? I should examine every enemy. A crest! Feels weird, too. Like the tears we just saw. And examine is a free action, too. Okay. Maybe this crest can help us clear the way. A hole in the wall. Hole doesn't really bring you anywhere. It's a pillar. A broken pillar. Where? Okay. I did not see. Well, um... Am I just supposed to touch it? <laughs> I'm gonna get fucking frozen again. Uh, times six. 
Not gonna be done anytime soon. Used to know how many things I have. What? Battles aren't so important. You need to remember them all. You currently have six memories you can use. Where? Uh, Starcrest. There's a teardrop engraved into it. Touch Teary, get daddy. So, okay, good. The tear floats gently. Okay, this might be stupid, but what if you use the star crest you just got on those tears and see if it does something? Three fingers means gun. Rock, paper, shoot. There's a teardrop engraved on that star crest after all, and if it doesn't work, well, yeah, you'll look stupid, but you can always loop back and not look stupid. Use the star crest. Free path time. You use the star crest. <laughs> Let's go! It worked! Bye-bye, tears. Phew! Three finger means the circle got him thing. Got him. A fly for the Dormant Boulangerie. Dormant's Mignon Boulangerie. Bread 20% off every Saturday because we loaf you almost as much as you loaf our bread. Born of bread. Ah, bad. Heh. <laughs> hey, Sif. You look at Isabeau. Considering how much bread we bought from them for dinner yesterday. Let's go. Loving us is the yeast they could do. No. No! Not allowed! <laughs> yes. Teamwork. Yay. Condiments and spices. And a pepper juice. And a ginger at a time. Nice. Some vials. A super sour tonic. Ow! You hit your hip into the counter and made an embarrassing sound. Oh! Sifrin. Did you really hit the counter and say, Nya? You did. No? Okay, Nya. Madam! I have to get myself killed so we can loop again. I can't continue in this loop anymore. It's a barrel. It's full of nothing. It's got nothing in there. It's soup! Bubbling food frozen in time. His steam is frozen in midair. So what's inside? Looks like they were cooking crab. What? Eek! Crab? What's happening? Someone was cooking crab? In a house of change of all places. Food tasted like crab! But literally! Why would someone do this? I, um... Oh, that looks at you with question marks in her eyes. A crab is so tasty. You shrug. I'm very confused. Is this a Valgardian thing? Please don't tell me you eat crabs in Kabui. I don't think I could handle it. No, not really, but we don't have such a aversion to them. Okay. Wait. Is it? Is this like dolphins? Or about them? In Kabui, we don't like dolphins. Something about them being too smart. Are crabs smart? No, they're stupid and don't even walk right. Crabs just look weird, I think. I've never actually thought about it. I thought it was like spiders. Every human thinks spiders look scary. Haha, <laughs> Zaz afraid of spiders. No, I'm a big, strong man. So crabs are weird and don't walk right, okay? And they're... Inevitable. Aha. Uh -huh. I still don't understand anything. You also still don't understand anything. Felgard is weird. Become his crab. All things return to crab. They are inevitable. Cookies! They're frozen in time. Damn it. Singing some kitchen utensils. Here! What? What is it? Walk! Bonnie points to a big thin cooking pot. Walk? Walk. Yes, that's a walk. Walk! Walk a walk. Thank you, Soprano Cube. Thanks for the prime. Hope you're doing good. You got the walk. You give the walk to Bonnie to equip later. Uh huh. Um. Good for cooking, better for smacking. Make veggies that will make you strong. Bonnie's buffs will also boost defense to a slight drop in attack. I mean, that sounds good. She's got a round hat. Hat so heavy it has to make you stronger. Memory of Bonnie. Bonnie, young and angry. More likely to attack. Good. Made me hungry for baked goods, right? It's a barrel. A kitchen closet. You open it. Egg key! You now know where the egg key is located. A keychain dangling from it is shaped like an egg. Does it mean something? That's an egg. An egg! Bonnie's making grabby hands. Always not also. You give Bonnie the key. So next key should be a broken egg, right? Or egg some importance to the change belief somehow? Yes, an intact egg and a broken egg. We, we're the egg, getting out of the egg. Change also means destruction, blah, blah, blah. Well, uh, yes, pretty much. Can't make pancakes without breaking a few eggs. It's omelets, Bon Bon. You're an omelet, za. A terrifying rebuttal from the preteen. 
And, and, for every change, something needs to break. Maybe changing yourself will hurt someone. Maybe changing means leaving a part of yourself behind. It's to remind us that before changing, we must stop and think about what we will be irreparably destroyed. But destruction is a part of change, and we must accept it. Yeah. It'd be awful to keep yourself from becoming a person you feel comfortable with just because it would upset someone else. Huh. That's a harsher belief than I thought. Bonnie's still looking at the egg keychain. Chomp. Bonnie tried to take a bite of the keychain. Chomp, chomp. It's carved out of stone, Bonnie face. Maybe the keychain had a secret, madame. Stupid crabbing rock. Bonnie gives you back the key. It's sticky. So it, it's just, a, it's not the broken egg. It's the whole egg. So, I guess I need to... I can't use that the big door yet. I gotta go to the, to the far left door first. Almost walked into that tier. Hold on. How you doing? Do, 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 do. One egg. Handful of peas. That's why I say crap is a swear. I just thought it was a fun thing to replace a real swear with. But also... They legit just hate crab. And there's stuff in here? A sword that I don't like. Wait, but I can tell them I know what these things are. A big steel thing with a stone in an oven for weapons. These things have a name, but you can't remember. Still? Oh, yeah. God damn it. Come on. Remember something for Pete's sake. Key time. Insert the key in the keyhole and open the door. Can't interact with that. Uh, uh, left. Oh, some sort of candle making station. I have no idea what this smells like. Apples and cinnamon. Pie smell? Pie smell. Pie smell. Mm. Should examine the sword when you get back. The description for it? Did it have something more to it? Instructions on how to craft candles. Unlike normal candles, it seems crafted candles last longer and can change smells as time goes by. Tidy bed. Bits of wax stuck to the corners. Craftonomy book. Is this the craftology book? Piercing craft, creative craft. Where is the protecting craft chap? It's a craftonomy book. Not a craftology book. This one's about the study of craft, not your fortune. Yeah. I wanted to know my horoscope today. This place has been frozen for a few months now. I don't think it'd be up to date. You really like that sort of stuff, don't you, Isabeau? Yes, I do. It's absolutely useless and has no basis in reality, but I like it when some letters tell me I'm gonna have a good day. You're a protector craft, aren't you, Isabeau? People who use it are patient, honest, loyal, and very gullible. That sure is me. You're very gullible. Bonnie, you're laughing, but aren't you also using protector craft? No! Yes, I do seem to remember this being the case, kiddo. No! It's not the same! I'm not gullible! <laughs> you like being able to be near them and not have to contribute to the conversation. Being sound and surrounded by people you like is nice. Some vitals. Sour tonics. Filled with wax and candle making supplies. Smells nice. Tidy bed. Some books on the House of Change. A book uh, from the series Cursing of Chateau Castle. 51. It's a barrel full of nothing. Open the closet. Pair of glasses inside a transparent case. Unlike the case, the glasses are completely opaque. Glasses you can't see out of. Absolutely useless. Are you going to take them? Yes. I'll take them. You got the opaque glasses. Okay. Uh, Dense book. An incredibly dense book of spells. Maybe it's a fairy tale book. Object that curses the wearer with blindness whenever it's not worn. Boosts defense and attack speed. Opaque glasses makes you look super intimidating, but at what cost? Boosts attack and crit chance lowers defense. Let's do it. Make her look cool. VR glasses. Okay. Nice comfy looking bed. Papers. Seem to be various newspaper articles about the king. Some notes. Handwriting so terribly can barely read what's on it. Roll the papers. You're gonna roll one. Bunch of sketches of landscapes. Oh my. Papers filled with sketches of naked people doing fun things. You look at them curiously. Oh my! Uh, need. Show me! I can't see what it is! Oh no, 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 no! 
Mirabelle hurriedly covers Bonnie's eyes and makes them take two steps back. But I want to see! No, 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 it's not allowed. You're not allowed. Yeah, it's not for little ones, Bonnie face. Yep, can't let you do that, Bon Bon. Wah. Bonnie's looking straight at you. Friend? Can I look? Well... <laughs> nah, definitely not. Oh. Oh! So it's really not allowed. Why did it take Sifrin saying it for you to realize? Friend lets me do things when you guys say no sometimes. But if even Friend says it's not allowed, then it must be something really not allowed. So I won't look. Well, good. Sifrin, what the crap did you let Bonnie do when we said no? Uh-oh. He let me drink some vodka once. Huh? What? Sifrin. Uh-oh. Not denying it. I don't really get why Odile, Odile likes it, though. It tasted just like boring water. Sorry. That sounds like an amazing practical joke to play on a kid, actually. It was. <laughs> That's very good. A closet haphazardly filled with art notebooks and art supplies. And, oh, there's a complete pile of hand-drawn cards. Pick one. Yes! You pick a card at random. This card is a drawing of a man carrying six swords on a boat. How does the boat not sink? Bob, Bob says six of swords. You got the drawn card. Put the card in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Uh... Crumpled hand-drawn card. All right. Some tiny paintings. They must have been crafted and moved, but they've been frozen in time. Dressed with art books on top of it. You open the drawer. Found the broken egg key. Keychain dangling from a shape like an egg broken in half. I don't know why they always describe the keychain because it's always the same, but maybe, I guess, at some point it's not gonna be the same. Sounds like keys will be in your future, huh? You should probably remember, try to remember their location just in case. Got a memory of keys! When equipped, memory of keys helps you remember where keys are. When looking at a locked door, you get a sense of where its key is. If you've already found the key to previous loop, you get directions as to where to go. Previously, if you're the forgetting type. In someone's drawer. What a weird place for a key. Not a very king-like place, huh? That's pretty stupid of him. I'm not sure. Hiding keys in places like drawers isn't very king-like, yeah. But it means they're harder to find since it's not a very expected place. But thankfully, we have a good old Sif to help us find them. Thank you, Sifrin. Good job, Sifrin. Yay, good job. She claps sarcastically, which makes everyone join her enthusiastically. You take a bow. I- that's very nice, the memory thing. Cause you're like, where the fuck was this key? And you just equip that. Yippee! So you said to inspect the- examine the sword better? What? A Yahoo! Kingdom Hearts game, probably. They got all mixed up. Look at them go. Uh, attack the paper hands. Youch! Youch! Holy shit! Jesus Christ, these guys are tough. Here you go! What? Why are you not dead? Why are you- why are you not dead? Why are you still alive? Uh... Scissors. Uh, scissors the scissors. Don't kill him. Oh! Bonnie missed. That's okay. It was good effort. Oh, I'm down. Um, does the super sparkle heal heal someone who's dead? No, it doesn't. Well, we, we, we almost can revive, so let's just do that. Bring him back now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, punch him. Wait, wait, um, wait, uh, me, to you. Get him. It's a full heal. It's a partial heal, but I think we're just low enough HP that it's effectively a full heal. Oh, look on the wall, there's... Nothing. It's just a normal, boring wall. Whoa. You stumble. There was something there. You remember. Did this happen because whatever you found here before is already in your possession? You feel dizzy. Oh. You already took the sword. The wall looks boring now. Oh. Oh, oh. That's probably fine. Yeah. Tristes. 
Uh, uh, speed. That's not worrying at all. No, I'm sure it's fine. Heal. Uh, punch. I love me some bloopy James. Yo, buddy, let's go. To honor XP. All right, let's save. A very big rock. You can say from experience that a rock like this falling in you would kill you near instantly. What do you mean from experience? Nothing. All right, that does heal us too. So worth going back for. Anyway. Time for cool music again. Yeah. Storage room. See if your tonics. Might as well grab the stuff again. It's good to have items that I should probably use on in battle. That's coconut water. Bell pendant. It's gonna it's gonna be you put the bell pendant back? Did it say I put it? I guess I put it back. Yeah. They're very sour. Alright. We died, huh? Yeah, it's fine. The zona, I I really like this. They're just kind of chilling. Oh, the, there's the light here. Stardust, listen, listen. I forgot to explain something. As you know, you can save your progress here, but there's two things you might not know about recording your progress. Number one, those stars are all linked to a spot you can loop back to. So right now you can loop back to Dormont and to the first floor of the house. Number two, remember how you'll keep your experience and craft skills no matter what but your party's progress is reset every time you loop. So to make it easier for you, every time you save your progress, your party's craft skills and experience will be saved for this specific spot as well. So your fighter is level 45 now, and when you record your progress in a second, he'll be level 45 again if you loop back here. And don't worry if, for example, you had him recorded as level 52 before, but then he only gets level 46 next time you save your progress here, his level will still be recorded as 52. Nice, quality of life, no going back. He will stay strong. It's the same for the number of tonics and other battle items you're holding, too. All right, that's it for me, Stardust. Goodbye. Hmm. If you save your, your progress here, your friend's experience skills will be recorded here as well. If you loop back here, you won't have to keep fi fighting so they can be stronger. Okay. Reach towards the line. Does that count for every location? Or just... Ju ju it's it, it sounded like if I come back here, they'll be that level. But if I go back to an earlier place, they'll be whatever the top level was when we got got there. So if I get to be a really high level and then load back in, do I want to backtrack to an earlier spot to be high level there if there's like an area I want to explore there or something? I don't know. It's, it seems like it would be per location. Key time! It makes me think of my one of my favorite Adventure Time bits of all time, where Jake, the transforming dog, is trapped in a cage with Finn. And he goes, um, it's okay, buddy. I'll get us out of here with key hand. And he turns his hand into the shape of a key. And Finn goes, Jake, there's no lock on this cage. And he goes, that's what we got lock hand for. And he turns his other hand into a lock. And it's very, it's funny. A sadness. It seems to be guarding the rest of the house from us. It feels strong. Key hand sub patch one. It feels strong. Stronger than those we've seen so far. Get ready, everyone. I won't forget to examine it, maybe. Oh, what a different little... Hello? Big ball head. Big ball head! Wait, something's happening. Oh, it changes? Sling appeared for a second on the big ball head! That was... a scissors sign? Does it mean something? We can probably assume that's its current craft type. If you need help, Sifrin, let me know and I'll analyze this enemy. Calamity. Um, if it's if it's scissors type, then I shouldn't hit it with scissors. Probably. Let's uh heal you up. <laughs> Examine. It showed a scissors symbol, so it's scissors type. I'm not sure paper and scissors attacks will work. Rock attacks it is. This might be a good opportunity to build up jackpot points, everyone. Let's use the same craft type five times in a row. 
But I, it's hard for me to do five rock in a row. Um, I guess I can try. Uh, yeah. Go again. Right, I can't. Slow it down. Take a break. It's still me. Oh, now it's rock. Shit. Bonnie missed. That's fine, Bonnie. You're doing great. Um. Uh. 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 Paper. Slap it. Oh, so the the things on the right doesn't reset if I change. I wanna rock. Um. I thought if I do like a uh, like rock, rock, and then a paper, it would be like okay, reset back to paper. You have to do them five in a row from the start of a new loop. It seems. Of of turn battles, your now it's your it's up to it's up to you, to you, um, boost attack, and then uh, maybe you should eat something, drink drink a soup, uh, sh shit. I mean, it's gonna turn back to scissors, so uh, maybe I should just use attacks. Oh, it's immune! It's not even just resistant. Um... Yeah, I could also guard. So it only takes damage from what it's weak to. I'm just gonna, uh, um... Yeah, maybe guard. Uh, slap. Fuck him up! Bunny yells encouragement! Oof. Uh... It's, it's, it's gonna switch to paper. And then when it does... Oh no, it is a, it is a rolling meter. Okay. Okay, that's, that's nice then. So at any time you can pivot and be like, I'm gonna try this instead. Um... Your turn. Go again. It's, it's definitely gonna switch to paper. And when it does, I will be so ready for it to do a big attack. Or maybe I just do it now and it probably just won't do anything, but I'll heal up a little. Yeah, it doesn't, okay. Well, uh, I forgot what it is right now. Okay, hit it with paper. Hit it with paper! There's- Wait, no, turn into scissors. Back to hitting it with rocks! I tried. I'm learning. I'm learning how the video game works. Uh, maybe no heal. Let's just hit it with rocks. Uh, go faster. Man, it's real fast. I should slow it down again. This right there is one, one turn. So why would I do smash versus his regular attack? Does it do more damage? He yells smash when he does it. Oh, well then I should do that every time, every time I can. Um, boost friends attacks. Um, yeah. Go, go, no, you, you go again. Bob, Bobble kind of works to the beat. It does. Please don't change off of scissors before I can do a murder on you. Get him! Nah, Bonnie. Do it. Nice. Fuck him up. Ooh. Still very beefy. Uh, just look at it again. It showed a scissor symbol. It's scissors type. That's the same. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, can you... Just guard. And then this this battle system is neat. 
But it does seem like I'm like, well, my stuff's on cooldown, and I don't want to break my combo, so... I guess I'll just hang out. Kaboom! Which time reduces cooldown? Um... Reduces cool. Well, I can speed them up. Maybe there is a thing. Makes everyone faster. Restore six Uh, what does reduce? Well, I mean, I can use some drinks. The broth. Did I skip the broth this loop? Maybe I didn't go back to the kitchen. The broth shit. That's fine. Uh, well, I can do this. Boost everyone attack. Now there's the fucking paper. Took you long enough. Alright. Now I can mess you up. I'm all- I'm all made out of scissors. You can call me... Edward... Scissor... Feet. Don't! He's fine. Come on. Two more! One more! Ah, shit. Slow him down. Slow him down! Yeah. Uh, throw it over to you! Come on, sit friend! Fuck him up! Yo, get him! Wax the end! Yo, buddy! Huge. Uh... Uh... Guard. Don't think it makes sense to use items, because it's getting low! Um... Not advert- It's not advertising its new craft type anymore. Sounds like we'll have to try stuff out and see what hits. Oh. So now it's just not even showing. Well... Seems that scissors is still working, though. Back to you. Almost. Hope we get to do this every loop. You breathe in and out. 6,000 experience! Sifrin's level 46. Mirabelle's level 46. And learned craft skills so weak. Isabel learned that. Nice! We did it! Victory! All right, let's keep moving. Isabel learned a new skill. Foo foo foo! I have gotten stronger. You got memory of so weak. You'll always remember this. When equipped, your fighter will be able to use so weak as a skill, even if he isn't at level forty-six. So weak is a skill that lowers one's enemy's attack. Nice. Um. So I have to equip that onto him, probably. Yeah. But, so, he has- he has that, right? Um... Profile? Is it? How do I- how do I check his abilities? Yeah, I'm gonna go back and save. I- I- it, Someone's keeping you from going back! There's no turning back, now I have to press onwards. Ow. Yeah, beans. So that's how they get you. Well, I guess I can fight more random sadnesses to get higher level. Yeah, boo. The other, this room feels different than the others, doesn't it? Uh, it's missing the threatening presence the rest of the house has. Should we take a little break, then? No, we should keep going, and... What was that? I think I'm hungry. My time! My time! My time to be the leader! Why? Because it's snacks time, baby! Snacks are important to keep hunger away and keep morale up. I learned that because I'm a growing kid. That sure is true. But do we have time to, Mira? Let's take a break, all right? Even people blessed by the change god like you need to take a break sometimes. All right. You guys stay here. I'll get some snacks ready. Okay, snack leader. 
I remembered something. Is a bow. Heads or tails? Huh? Um. Tails. Oh, no, it takes a coin from her pocket. It flips it in the air. It fell on tails. Huh. I lost. Yay! What do I win? The sweet taste of victory and nothing else. I don't even get congrats. Wow, my diem. I thought we were friends. We're not friends. We're associates. Not companions. Colleagues. Allies, at best. Not even soulmates? Can't believe you've gone down to being an acquaintance now. No. What was the coin flip about, madame? Well, I asked the favor tree to make me win my next coin flip. Huh? Such a silly favor. Purely for scientific reasons. I was wondering whether this favor tree business had any truth to it. As we can see, it doesn't. Oh. Well. But Madame Odile didn't put any thought or hope into her favor, so why would it come true, right? If you want something to come true, it definitely will. You think so? Absolutely. That's right. Bonnie probably wished for their sister to be okay, didn't they? Okay, you want snacks? I have snacks! Today we have many snacks at your disposal. I have... Some plantain chips. Did you make- did you use the last of those not bananas to make them? Yes. Yes, I did. Crunchy. Delicious. And full of potassium. That's plantain chips. You all clap. Well done. They refused to. I agree with them. Mm-hmm. Second snack is... Some boring but delicious cookies. Cookies! Great sales pitch, Bonbon. Boring but delicious. Cookies. The taste of home. What kind of home is boring but delicious? Sa, so you're weird. And for our third and final snack, we are proud to present, uh, some, uh, jelly donuts. Oginiri. Onigiri. Oriniji. Onigiri. Onigiri. You messed up that one on purpose. Yes! I have some onigiris for everyone. One of those Kapuan rice balls, right? Yeah. Yeah, rice. I love rice. You and every other kid on the planet, Bonnie Face. Now choose! Choose which one you want. Don't worry, I have enough for everyone. You'd like... Potassium. It's there! You! Go! Bonnie hands you a handful of plantain chips. Crunch, crunch. They're not bananas, but they're just as good. So, do y'all like it? Do you like it? Did I do a good job as snack leader? You absolutely not. Yeah, this is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, uh-oh. You say very loudly, thank you, snack leader, for this delicious meal. Oh, this is so good. Thank you, Bonnie. So good, Bon Bon. I feel refreshed, invigorated, alive. That's a really good face. Mm. Good food. Yummy, yum, yum. Yes! You got a memory of snacks. You will always remember this. Memory snacks makes the kid more likely to heal during battle. After eating your snacks, everyone's health has been restored. Bubba da bubba da bum. There's a place to save here, too. Zah's stupid. We can't be friends. That's like being friends with your mom or your sister. So then... Which one am I? You're... I don't know. Is that how it works? Which one's Odile? Actually, Dial's more like a grandma, isn't she? And you definitely can't be friends with your grandma. Is that how it works? What about, uh, Mira? Belle's like a cool sister. The one who gave me sweets when I ask. Unlike my actual older sister, who sucks. What about, um, uh, Issa? Zaz's like a little brother. Hmm. Hope everyone's all right. People in the house? Yes. Well, they're most likely all frozen in time, aren't they? We haven't seen anyone yet, but maybe... Maybe someone survived. Maybe the head housemaid managed to... Tell me a joke, Sifrin, please. To get my mind off things. Oh, um, I had a meeting with a plum today. A plum? Like the fruit? 
Yes, that meeting was... Oh, let me guess. Was it a very fruitful meeting? I was gonna say plumtastic, but that's better. Oh no. Was that it? Sorry for stealing your joke? This is the worst thing that could ever happen to you. Who are you? If you are not the funny jokes pun person. Shit. That's all I have. I guess we all have our off days, don't we? God damn it. Hey, Sif. Let me guess, you're still hungry? I can see it on your face. Want half this cookie? Isabel waves his last cookie at you. Yes. Nah, it's fine. Okay, let's try that again. And this time you say, yes, please, Mr. Amazing, Wonderful, Funny, Buff, Isabeau. I ask again, would you like half of this cookie? Yes, please, Mr. Amazing, Wonderful, Funny, Buff, Isabeau. Of course. Here you go. Isabeau gave you half his cookie. Chomp. Thank you? No problem. Hey, Isabeau smiles at you. Hmm. I hope I didn't make Bonnie upset earlier. You both look Bonnie's way. Bonnie's stuffing their cheeks happily. Never mind. Leave me be now. I need some alone time. You understand. You leave a dial B. Reach towards the light! Everyone was healed! Time to go! Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. A plum. It, it works, it works. It does work. What key do we need here? Heel shaped like a hand in the scissors position. There's also a note stuck on the gate. This key is located in the trap building room. King's leaving notes now. He must be forgetful. What an idiot. It happens. We have our own little forgetful one with us, don't we? Everyone looks at you. You pout. It's okay, Sifrin. We'll remember things for you. You have many other talents, I'm sure. Not sure it helps, Mira. My many talents, such as... And including... Hmm? You can feel someone in the distance. There's someone over there. Someone? Please, let's go. Oh. Hey, Zappity Zap. It's true. Remember the who and the what now? Ah! Is that someone from the house? They've been frozen by the king's curse. That's another house maiden. She... She often helped me with chores. I can't believe she's... What was she like? Tell us a bit about her. Oh, she... She started working at the house before me, so she often had to teach me how to do basic things. Like what? Like, how to cut veggies without cutting my fingers, too? Bell! I know how to do it now! You go, meow, meow, cat's paw, can't cut my fingies, nya. That's the one. Cute. What? Cute. It's cute, right? That's how I remember. She taught me how to do it. That's how you do it. That's, that's what they teach you in culinary school. And she always helped bandage my hands after I hurt myself. Shaking her, he her head, telling me to be more careful next time. She was such a nice person. She never hurt anyone. The king. Why would the king do this? And I can't even do anything to save her. She's been under the curse for too long. I can't reverse it. I'm so... Mirabelle. The king is powering the curse. If we manage to beat him, everyone should go back to normal. Whatever works for you. But every, every new floor, the sadnesses are getting stronger. At some point, we might end up being frozen in time ourselves. If it happens, I don't have the power to save anyone from being frozen yet. But I'm close. I'm close to getting it. I swear. Sounds like you should fight some sadnesses and get some experience to make sure Mirabelle can protect you during battle. Hey, Stardust. Just like your researcher said, sadnesses are getting stronger. Some have the same power as the king, the power to freeze you in time. Your housemate is immune to such attacks, but if you're frozen in time, you won't be able to act. If everyone is frozen in time and your housemate is out cold, you lose. So if someone is frozen, make sure you use her lovely move and cure skill, okay? Okay. Bye. Well, when she learns the skill, of course. Make sure to level her up a bit, huh? Okay, I'll stop running past enemies. Hello! I, I wonder if you can already have that by this point. And the game is sassing me for running from battles. Uh, uh it, that looks like rock hands. I don't see those fingies separated, so. Crazy thing to say in a way to say it in the game. Mm-hmm. So weak. Isabel looks cute and fragile? <laughs> That's what so weak does? Paper. 
Oh, yeah. So you. Can I see how close someone is to leveling up? Uh, it's you. Uh, to current le next level. Okay. 4,800 more points to next level. Nope. Mm hmm. Luck is high. Oh, yeah. I did want to maybe change out Bonnie's thing. Memory snacks. More likely to attack and more likely to heal everyone. I like healing because that means more time for me to punch people. Oh, sounds like she can still attack. It's just random. Thank you for the soup rival link. Hope you're having a good soups, miss. Uh, hello. Someone frozen in time. That's one of the house's cooks. She was in the gardening class with me. She was taking the class to learn how to grow tasty vegetables. She often made soup with the veggies she made. Were you time traveling to give me that soup rival link? Thank you. Once she said she needed some help breaking apart a turnip she grew to make it into a soup. We told her to bring it to class and we'd all help her. And next class, she brought the biggest turnip she'd ever I'd ever seen. Damn right I was. In next class, she she brought the biggest turnip I'd ever seen. She had trouble even fitting it through the door. We spent the entire class trying to cut it. It was that big. How was the turnip? It tasted awful. But since she's a cook and really particular about taste, we had to act as if it was delicious. Thanks, change I was taking in acting class too. Frozen flowers. They smell like flowers. Even though they're frozen? Well, there's no place to pass through with everyone following you. You try your best to pass through the tight space between your allies, the tables, and the wall. I have to, the, the game wrote text about me scooching past them. Class filled with gardening supplies and garden scissors. You put them in your pocket to equip later. What 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 that do? What the pocket? What the scissors? Whose attack lowers attack speed? Uh, much higher attack though. Yeah, let's do it. Smell like flowers. They look healthy. Tiny dying plant. This plant looks like it's dying. It looks all pathetic. Very sad. Very mistreated. Who would do this? It's mine. I was taking a gardening class before the king attacked. Oops. Crab. Crab. Different types of soil. The stool was only one. Oh no. Oh. Ang ang anguas anguasi. Oh. Wait, there's there's two of them? The thing that he's, he's holding is a guy? The, 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 um, well, if those are paper hands, then I guess he's weak to it, but it did zero? I guess he's defending him. This feller, he's a good feller. Um, then, then I guess... I guess we go after rock hands first. Um, so weak. Wait, did did you stop time? Um, all enemies. I don't like this. Yeah, defeating someone who's only trying to protect someone else doesn't feel very. They still are attacking us, you know. If it makes you feel better. Even if we break the remnants apart, they'll come back together eventually and happily kill us with no remorse. Let's focus on the one we can attack right now. Okay. Um, slap him. Boom! And turn it up. Slap him again. Pow. Oh, that's just a little rat. A sad little rat. Uh. Um. Uh. 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 Bu, bu, bu. That'll do it. He cries softly. Good. Fuck him up. Come on. We can get him. That's me for real. See ya. Nice. Nice. Do means grief. This is a very sad little rat. He's a sad little guy. Such a change got been destroyed. So there's a door right there. What? Wait! 
Ah! Uh, sorry, Sifrin. It's just over there. That's the head housemaiden's office. The head housemaiden, huh? Someone like her definitely has some good stuff, right? Like keys, like snacks, like information. Let's go then. You follow along. Okay. I just want to see what's over that way first, but no. Frozen flowers. Smell like flowers. Sure is a pillar. Bookcase filled with books about various subjects. Various boring subjects. You leave the bookcase alone. A chair. Notes about the king. The head housemate must have been looking for more information about him. Why even call the king the king? Vogard isn't a monarchy. Isn't king just the title he chose? Yeah, but he chose it. Calling him something else would be rude? Yeah, that's just basic manners. Vogard is so weird. Closet, full of boring administrative papers. Childish drawings of a tall, bright woman. There's a pillar. It's paper and ink. On the paper, you can see a spreadsheet of some kind. There's two columns, one filled with names. Other only has one or two. First full column is titled Save Vogard. Second near empty column is titled Other. What could this be about? Pile of papers. You take one at random. Looks like boring administrative papers. It's a lovely, cheesy, mushy love letter from someone named Claude. It's a petition to serve more bread at lunch. It looks like boring administrative papers. It's an essay about the 3.5% of people who are dual craft type users like Mirabelle. Petition to serve more bread at lunch. Lovely, cheesy, mushy love letter from Claude. Okay. Mm. Oop. Notice that this side of the desk is taken by a single massive drawer. Whoa! It's completely stuffed full. You start looking through while everyone talks. So this is the office of the head housemaid of the House of Dormont. She's wonderful. She manages the house and makes sure everyone's so happy and fulfilled. She organizes a lot of events, too. She's also a great crafter. She always creates wonderful items to make everyone's lives easier. She's taught me so much. Most of the craft skills I know I learned from her. She was the one, wasn't she? The one who was supposed to... Yes, the one who was supposed to defeat the king. But the king was too strong and attacked out of nowhere, and now... I don't know what happened to her. When I fled the house, the king must have... Might have already. Don't worry, Mira. If she's that strong, I'm sure we'll find her safe and sound eventually. Yeah, positive. I have to stay positive. Drawers full of notes and boring administrative papers. No key. But... But why is it shining, then? You should look elsewhere. Hmm. Why was it shining? Is there nothing else in here? Mm-hmm. Change ornament. Ornament. Bookies for the books. Boring. Books. Josh Ryan's about my own. Is that all that was in here? So you can see the shining. The shining. It's just a shiny desk. Okie dokie. There was nothing important in there, right? So this is fine? What a waste of time. At least we didn't get squashed, though. A big rock. At least this one didn't fall right on you or anyone else. Could we maybe break it down? We could try, but... SMASH! Ow. The rock did not flinch. How's your fist? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. He's doing all right. Uh, yeah. Oh, the tear got me. I know. I like, walked over. Was like, am I? Did I explode? Slap him. No. No. Oh. Fuck him up. Um. The. Back to you. Give it a slap. Nice. What paper? Be able to I know, right? If I just put a piece of paper on it, it would explode. The Dursher is locked. Yep. Sucks. Mirabelle, any idea where the key for this would be? I'm not sure, I... Oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I remember. The key. 
The key is in the head housemaid's office in her desk drawer. I thought I checked that. What? How did you miss it? Uh-oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have remembered. Why didn't I remember? Hey, don't worry about it, Mira. Yeah, you're not to blame here. If anything, it's Sifrin's job to look out for things, so... Hey, can we break it down? Looks really solid. And the fact that it's frozen in time doesn't help. So... Are we stuck? We could keep exploring this floor, but I'm... Pretty sure the key for this door is in the office. If we can't access it, what should we do? You could loop back here to before the room collapsed, couldn't you? And explore the admin room more? You could also stay here, but... You don't think there's any point. Hey, Stardust, sorry to interrupt, but I'm here in your head to beam you some amazing advice. See this little icon in the top right? This is a helpful little icon to inform you that you are stuck in time. No matter what, you won't be able to progress any farther in the house in this loop. One only thing you can do is find a way to loop back. Whoopsies. Say, though, did you see some tears on the way there? They might do the trick if we need to loop back easily. Come say hi sometime. I'm so lonely. <laughs> Uh, do you feel sorry for me yet? Uh. Well, at least let me save so I retain the experience I got. Blah. Loop, you little goblin. I'm gonna loop. I'm gonna loop it. Oh, right. He detected it on his first turn. Urf. Uh, you, you, you got, you got fists and hands, so, um, yeah. Yahoo. Ow. Um. Sparkle heal. Good. I am. Um, you're weak, man. Your moves are weak. Hiya. Well, that's not good. Um. My only source of paper damage got frozen in time. Uh, 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 what if I, what if I knife? You say a cool one-liner. I mean, it still did some damage, right? Wait, you can, you can slap. She can slap. There you go. Uh, come on. Nah, it's fine. Everything's fine. God damn, they hit hard. Maybe I shouldn't have been running from all these enemies, huh? Uh, uh, gear, pockets, uh, heal everyone. You can't heal anyone who's stuck in time. That's good to know. Shit. This is fine. This is fine. Just, just punch him. Just punch him. Yeah, he's still very strong. So that's good. No, no, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. No, Bonnie! I wanted Bonnie to get a kill. No! We almost got it! It's very weak. A slightly stronger blow would have done it. Well, if it's weak, wanna deal the final blow, Bonnie? Let her let her kill it! Let the child murder a guy! Can I? It is pretty weak, so. Sure. Knock yourself out. Okay! Here I go! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! We let the child do a murder! You clap. Woo, buddy! Yeah, buddy! Good job, buddy. Great job, bud, bud. You did good. What we what would we have done without you? Hmm. Bonnie body count two? What was the first one? If an enemy's close to death, your little kiddo might deal the final blow. Look at them. So proud. Like a little bird who flew for the first time. Good. First one was you. Uh, <laughs> I guess. I get just the once. Uh, get him. Fuck him up. Don't cry. Don't be sad. Get him. Nice. Nice. Okay, Mirabelle's gotta be close to a level. Right? 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 Wait, not, not. Stat profile. Stats. Mirabelle. Still 3,500 away. Still a little bit. 
Steal a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ee, ooh. 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 Ah. Ooh. Um. Oh, the save is down below. Oh, they can chase me up the stairs. That's fine. I want to fight you and get stronger. This distressing. Oh shit. Uh. Uh. Um. This is fine. Um. I. I. Um. This. This is fine. Okay, you need to heal. There you go. Uh, um, you're weak. Your moves are weak. I was that we were all there. And we were like, damn, those weak moves. Oh shit. No, Bonnie. I wanted to do another murder. Um, knife to meet you. It worked! It works every time saying knife to meet you, speaking from experience. I gotta get past these Pac-Man ghosts! No, not another one of yous. Not another one of yous. Please don't freeze anyone in time again. Faces are good. I really like the character portraits. When they do their attacks and when they're getting hit and stuff, they're very dynamic. Nope. Nope. I'm immune! Yes! Whack! Whoa, whack! Uh, again? Once more. Yes! What? You! When? You! Uh. Should I? I might as well attack. Because I don't want him to do more. There you go. Punch it! Punch the baby! Oh, fuck! It's okay. I think I'm near the save point, right? And that'll heal me, and I'll be fine. I'm gonna be okay. I made a clip, I lost the link. How can I find it? Uh. If you go into. When the when you so at least I I I don't know if it's any different because I, I I stream but if I go into my dashboard and into my video producer there's a section for clips and there's clips of your channel and there's clips you've created and the clips you've created shows you all of your clips that you've ever made so that should work. But also, I don't, I'm, ass I'm assuming that that page exists whether or not you've ever streamed before, because all you need to stream is having a Twitch account. Seems like a lot of work to have a separate dashboard. Had a bookmark mine. It, it's kind of buried in there. Okay. Uh, right. I have to get murdered by time. Um, or I could just finish leveling up. Because we should only have a couple. What are you? Well, he's doing little peace signs. Punch him! Punch him! Dashboard.twitch.tv slash your username, you slash your username, slash con eclipse channel. Yeah. It's, I think easier to just go to the dashboard and then click through. Because the URL is a nightmare. Um, yeah. And then punch! Yes! What is this? This one's kind of cute. Is it? I think it looks frightening. No, it's cute. I'm with Madame Odile on this one. Creepy. Sif? Tiebreaker? Cute, creepy, creepy, cute, cute, creepy. I think it's creepy cute. Creepy cute? You said creepy first, so we win. Playing both sides, though. How devious, Sifrin. And then, uh, punch it. It's dead. Start typing clips in the bar if it's the first result. Well, that's nice. Uh, and then, and then you! Dang, he's quick! Uh... 
300 experience. Was it less that time or was it 300 last time? Come on. I'm really hoping that she learns this time unstuck skill when I level up. Regardless, leveling up is probably worth it. Uh, I get to listen to this jam. Uh, smash! Yeah! I think it is a stronger attack than his base attack. I mean, it has a cooldown, so it would make sense. Okay, all right. Um, uh, 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 but, but, uh, 1800 new more experience for level. Close! You can keep level? Yes, kind of. I'm coming right back here, so it will be worth it. Maybe? Yeah, it seems like I can't go backwards through a different area, so that's like they prevent you from having a crazy high level in the beginning of the game or something. Uh, but, uh, right, um. Awa. Awa. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to slow him down, but I'd rather blow him up with a slap. No, no. God damn it. Son of a... Why you got to freeze the only person who can consistently do... Paper damn you son of a This is why I need that spell. This is exactly why I need it. Uh Son of a uh, We're just gonna punch it. We're just gonna punch it to death. Smash! Yes. No. It's fine. Ooh. No, we're okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Uh, sparkle heal. There you go. Good as new. Punch him! Punch the rat! He's wily! Get him! Nice. Sifrin's level 47. I'm working my way back. Yeah, because the enemies do respawn. Kick punch. It's all in the mind. Uh, just gonna heal up real quick. Delicious. Save? No. I'm here for the heals! Should just, should just be like two more fights or so? What the fuck are you? What am I looking at? Wait, that's the Triss? Have I already fought this guy? I don't remember him looking like this. Uh, he's paper, right? That looks like paper hands. Yeah. Get him! He says, run! No, 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 no. Weak. Weak souse. No. No. Fuck her up. Ah, oh, Bonnie. You did good, kid. Um. This one's kind of cute. Is it? I think it looks frightening. No, it's cute. Creepy. Tiebreaker. It's cute, creepy. Cute, creepy. They said cute first. I heard you. You said cute first. It's cute. Cuteness wins. Is that how it works? That's how it works. Uh... Oh, it's workshop. Thanks for the prime. Everyone's leveling up except Mirabelle. Right. Three variants of the same mass sadness. Gotcha. God damn it. I hate fighting this guy. He's strong. I can't attack both of them. And they like to freeze my paper caster. Nah. Slap. Like, like it must it must be smart enough to know who's strong in this fight, because that is three for three, freezing only that one character. Uh, uh, stab it. Stab it anyway. Punch it to death! Yes! Good! He cries softly. Good! 
That won't stop me from murdering you. Yeah! Get his ass! 500 experience. Come on. Must know what they're doing, I guess. They must. Or it's just insanely bad luck. Come on. I didn't think it was going to take this long to level up. I apologize, chat. Um, yeah. And then, yeah. And then, punch it. Text first person is effective damage. Could be. Could do. God damn. Come on. Where, 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 what are you, what are you doing? Where are you at? 225! Okay. Level up, please. Oh. Oh. Um. Anxiety. Ticks. Uh. Does it have hands? Uh. It is going to explode, isn't it? Uh. Let's boost stats and try not to die. Uh, buh. Boost defense. It ticks again. Don't touch it. Thanks for the snacks. This one just went TikTok like a bomb. That's not good. If it explodes, we'll be lucky to get out unharmed. I can try and slow it down with my crafts while you attack, but... Eh, we can always escape if we get too scared. Reminder, Stardust, you can escape almost any battle. To escape instead of attacking or using a craft, press B. From there, you have the option to escape. You're pretty crafty, so escaping will never be a problem. Unless you're fighting a floor boss or the king. Make sure to escape when you need to. Not all battles need to be fought. I guess they're explicitly telling me to fuck off, so... Goodbye. See, see ya? Can I have a couple experience points, please? All right. Um, uh. Punch it. There we go. Mirabelle's 47 and learned the craft skill. Lovely moving cure. There it is. Mirabelle learned a new skill. Thank change. I'll be able to help out more. Got the memory of lovely moving cure. You always remember this. Sweet. When equipped, your housemaid will be able to use lovely moving cure as a skill even if she isn't level 47. It is a skill that cures frozen for one ally. Very useful. She knows this. Yes. I thought it might be. Goodbye. I'm going to save. So we keep that from this point on. And now I'm gonna get myself murdered by time. Let's go. That took a minute, huh? Good thing the battle theme is a jam. I think there was one up in here. Pardon? Scoozy? No, no, don't. The tear floats gently. Touch it? I'm gonna touch it. It's looping time! Let's go. Hey, a Stardust. Welcome back. Here's something I forgot to mention before. I'll save you time. It'll save you time, so it's important. So listen up. Do you see the house now? Now? Do you see how you can loop to specific moments, specific places? Looping backwards in time is a piece of cake for you, but looping forwards in time is gonna be a little harder. You're going against the loop's will, after all. To be able to move forwards in time when you die, you'll need to use up some of your memories. What? Do you see that little star symbol at the bottom of the screen? It shows you how many memories you have at your disposal. Trying to get farther than where you just died will cost you some memories, so make sure you have enough memories to spend. Oh, I can sense you're panicking. Don't worry, this won't use up the good fun memories you have of your party, just the boring useless memories you have of your battles. Have you noticed? For each battle you fought, you've gained one memory of skirmish. Word door, remember. Yeah, I could go all the way back. But then we'll have to fight our way all the way back up through the castle. For each battle you fought, there's gained one memory of skirmish. Those are the memories you can use to loop forwards. 
Over time, you'll fight some battles that'll earn you even more memories. Isn't that neat? Wow, look at me, yapping and yapping. I'll condense all the information in one sentence. To loop forwards in time, you'll need memories, which you gain every time you win a battle. And by the way, you open the floor's gate. Good work, good work. If you manage to open a floor's gate in the future, when you loop back, you'll be able to get to that floor with most doors open by using memories. Pretty useful if you're la too lazy to find all those keys again. To unlock all those doors, press X on this map screen. Do it! Do it! Well, not now, I'm talking. Okay, now! I pressed the X button. It's actually the Y button. It's only floor two, so, yeah. Oh, I can basically toggle on or off if I want it to be. Well, okay, do we want to go back to the top floor and just try to keep going, or do I want to go back down to the village and get the word for the shopkeeper's door? And etc. cetera. What are we feeling, champ? Also, it looks like it says the Y button, but it actually is the X button that toggles it, like we said. Word IMO? Word up? Get word? What's that the... I mean, we'll be stronger. Slightly. And we can equip those memories so they have other abilities. Could get the word, then warp back to floor two with a tier. I have to progress far enough to get a tier. Or I could just get stepped and crushed by a boulder. We'll go back. You wake up. You yawn. Who knew being frozen in time just felt like a nice nap? I'm getting up before... Wait, there was a shiny. Or at least it looked like a shiny. Yeah. This is the same light you saw inside the house. You reach towards the light. Oh. Oh. So that is there. Okay. Good news. Good news, everyone. I've created a time loop. You're up. Usual, please. Hey, Mira. Hey, Sifrin. How was your nap on a scale of 1 to 10? It was aight. I'm glad. I know how much you value your naps. Wait, I had something I wanted to ask you. I have an idea for tonight. Just thinking about a sleepover. Yeah, 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 yeah. It would be nice. Make her happy. Yeah. Good. That would be delightful. You're happy she's happy. You smile back. Sure. Okay, let me think. That's a lot of names places. You remember? I think so, yes. I always remember things. Here's a note. See you at the clock tower later. Goodbye. You wave goodbye. What do I want? Maybe, maybe I should be faster. Always attack first. Don't leave the enemy a chance to touch you. So fast. Turn me into the horch hag. You actually feel a little faster. You jump in place trying to notice if anything changed. You jump right on a pointy rock. You don't tear up. Not that much agile. Not much more agile then. Your eyes got attack speed boost a little. Nice. Bonnie says I got frozen in time. Yes. Well, I've talked to a bird. That's enough for this loop. Uh. Hem, hem, hem. Oh, hi. You're one of the saviors. You traveled with, um, Isabeau? Isabeau! What a nice young man. So full of energy, too. I'm an only child. I feel like having an older brother like him would be fun. Something feels weird. When you asked her about Odal, didn't she say she had a sister? But this loop, she says she's an only child? Don't you have a sister? I... I don't? I just said I'm an only child, silly. You want to ask her more, but she's already back to her daydream. Is this the most suspicious character in the game or something? Okay. Uh, the shopkeep is, is over, is over, uh, is it this one? Hello? Ah, uh, traveling one. Oh, you're with Mirabelle and the lady with the glasses. I recognize you. You believe Mirabelle's been blessed? Truly amazing. Strange God. Oh, before you forgore. You know anything about locked doors in the house? Locked doors? Ah, uh, yes. There's one locked by one of those word locks. Let's see. I remember. The open phrase to open it is sto storage room room because there's a storage room inside. But I didn't want it to unlock if you just said storage room. Don't look at me like that. Well, either way, there's not much in there. Nonetheless, I hope it helps you on your journey tomorrow. Okay, good. Hello, here. Oh, now, hello. You look well rested. How can I help you? Nothing. See the clock tower later. Bye. Should I give her the flower? Is there anything else that I should do in town? Gotta get the picture. Gotta get the, gotta get that. This is, this is huge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not password. Admin password. 
Yes! Yes! Friendship doodle? Banana. What about the banana? Is there something I can do with the banana? Talk to Loop. Oh, you're so right. Get that panel chocolate! Hey, you want to buy something? You can get a third of a pastry. Aren't you one of those saviors? Not a croissant, not a croissant, not a croissant. Do you have any pan of chocolate? Yeah, give me, give me pan of chocolate. Still warm. Delicious. Disturbing, but satisfying. Good luck. Thanks. Every time you loop back, you get a different time with a little difference in. Maybe by the time it means the kid has no sister or something. Or it's a reality determined by what you ask, because when you perceive it, something, something. The favorite tree. You should talk to Isabel first. No. Upon what favorite ask the tree. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. That's how it has to be. Isn't this tree cool? Wait, there was another option. Oh, well, it's fine. I'd rather stick to what is good. We know it's good. No. All right, I'll be going now. See you later. Oh, you did come and see me. Was it because you felt sorry for me all alone under this big tree? That's so sweet, Stardust. You're regretting it now. Stardust, I can tell you're starting to like me. It's okay, just admit it. I won't judge. It's not weird. Teehee, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Questions, questions. What should I do next? Well, big rock trap again, huh? That's what happens when you don't look hard enough, Stardust. Hard to see things with one eye. Yeah, I know. You'll miss things no matter what, especially with your sight reduced. You shouldn't feel bad. You can loop back and look everywhere again, after all. That was a surprisingly nice thing to say. I'm always nice, Stardust. And yes, you came to see Loop, but... It's gonna be a pain to go back to floor two. Not really. You could always loop back, Stardust. You know, find an easy way to die somewhere in Dormont. There's an easy loop back spot somewhere. I wonder if you can find it. There's a place to die in town? Anything else? Uh, let's talk about something... Since I remember, isn't there a chance? Chance of what? Chance they'd all remember? Who, your party? Is that what you're worried about? Don't worry. You are and always will be the only one who remembers previous loops. Don't just smile, chat. Which is good news. They won't have to suffer like you do. The pain is yours and yours alone. Hey, wait. What about you, then? I don't count, Stardust. I'll always remember your mistakes. It's my job. I had a question about... How come I can see where the keys are? What? You can? How can that be? Is it thanks to you? Maybe. I figured you'd have other things to worry about than where a stupid key is. No need to thank me. Uh, nothing. Uh, uh, nothing. See you later. Goodbye. A <laughs> thousand your doors rogue port style noose? Oh my god. Where on, where or where could I get myself murdered in town? Could I have, have the child beat me up until I die? It seems kind of, wait. The banana, the banana? The banana peel lays here, menacingly. But wait, instead of a banana peel, could it be a plantain peel? Whatever. Like these are bananas that taste bad. That's the banana peel to you, now and forevermore. Step closer. Don't I want to save? Maybe I should save. You do not step closer to the dangerous forbidden fruit. Wait, do I need to save? I didn't level up or anything. Oh, hi. Isabel's here looking towards the house. I didn't know this is where you moved to. Hey, Gensif. What's up? Um. Okay, let me even anything. I'm gonna give the flower to Odile first. Uh, flower for you. Where'd that come from? Well, nonetheless, thank you, Sifrin. It's not like you to be so thoughtful, so I definitely keep it as I'll definitely keep it as proof. Proof of what? Well, anyway, she seems happy. Good. Okay. See you at the clock tower. See you at the clock tower, unless there should be. I don't know, but it would be what it should. Should what? I'm gonna step on it. I'm gonna step closer. What's the worst that could happen? You decide to step closer. Here we go. 
He slipped on a banana peel. Good. Wait! <laughs> yeah, there is a safe spot where I woke up. But I, again, I don't think I need to save. Because death isn't like death in other games. Um, so what was it on this floor? It was on this floor, right? The, the shopkeeper's door was on floor one? Or was it on floor two? I don't remember. It all looks the same. You slip on and break your head open. Yeah. Since where you wake up, also had, uh, had to change God's statue. would have been fine. Should be fine. Yeah, I saw there was a little sparkle up where you wake up. I just didn't want to walk all the way down there. Does anybody remember where the... Uh, am I fast anymore? I did not save. I saved after I after I um, prayed at the statue. I believe so. Use 10 things to loop forward the floor with all doors opened? Yeah, we got the door word. It was sto storage room um. To the right, second door. Truly a dangerous forbidden fruit. But since death seems to be the easiest way to loop, this banana peel might come in useful sometime. Let's go. Actually, I want to... Uh, uh, actually, maybe I don't need to worry about equipping the other memories. She doesn't know this yet. But... I don't think anyone on this floor can freeze us? Uh, memory's so weak. Yeah, let's put that on, though. Alright. Freeze us to the floor, too. Yeah. Ah! And I can probably just get myself killed once I... Don't attack! Ow! See ya! I think I'm just here to grab whatever's in there and then fuck off, so... Door's locked tight. It's locked by one of those weird word locks. Look at it curiously. Say s-s-storage room room. Door unlocked. What? Well, let's go inside then. It's a barrel full of nuts! It's a barrel full of nothing! It's a barrel. It says on the side, do not shake! I wanna shake it. Hole in the wall. Some vials, ginger juice, sweet tonic, give the money for safekeeping. Two salty broths. Yeah, salty broths are nice. Book is filled with many books written in many different languages, Valgardian, Potterian, Wudu. One of them is written in a language you cannot read, just looking at it's giving you a headache. A stool. What is the book? It's a Potterian Valgardian translation dictionary. It's open to a page of Valgardian words starting with a T. Taciturn. What does taciturn mean? It's someone who doesn't speak up very often, Boniface. Like Frin. Okay. Yes, yeah, just like Sifrin. Hey, I speak up sometimes. Um, not really, Sif. My teacher always says we gotta speak up more. You're an adult, so why don't you speak up more, stupid? Why don't you? You just don't- Why don't you? You just don't have much to say. It's simple to just let people talk. I just don't have much to say. And it's nice to hear you all talk. Oh. Aw, that's cute. That's the loveliest thing to say, Sifrin. Huh? It feels like we've tamed a wild animal, doesn't it? Perfect analogy. Maybe soon we'll even be able to pet them. Oh crap, stop. Just imagining it's making me emotional. Are they making fun of you? You hide your face under your hat. See, now I went back to a shy, skittish animal. All this hard work, wasted. Face warm, you walk away. Hee <laughs> hee. Yes, yes, we're coming. So that was very cute, and there were some supplies in here, but it wasn't anything. Revolutionary. So I guess I'll just loop. Usually I'd be worried about this, but Sif doesn't seem worried at all. You give Isabeau a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, yeah, the salty broths are good, but I don't want to fight through all those bosses and stuff again. Touch it. Touch it. I could- you had a good sleep. I could go grab- because I think there was a salty broth on the second floor. I'm back. You wake up. You don't exactly dream but you're when you're frozen in time, but it's similar. Or more like, it's a slice of a dream stretched into minutes, hours, days. A single thought concept forever rolling out like taffy. You dreamt about bananas. Oh, potassium. Is that stupid? I don't know. Yeah. Well, let's go. Yes, wants to uh, Let's go. Banana. Banana bread. Um. Right. So now I need to go back into the thing. 
But now I'm actually gonna check the drawer better. It's okay. Hey, Alflex, how you doing? Hope you're having a good boxing day. Hope everyone fights someone today in the spirit of boxing day. No. Eh. Someone from the house. There's another house, man. I'm just gonna vibe. <laughs> Mm-hmm. This is very sad for you. Mm-hmm. I'm just hanging out. Yeah, it's cool. Excellent box day. Haven't actually boxed anyone. Well, there's still time. That's the house. Hey, I'm out of his office. Yeah, let's get some stuff. Check again. Mirabel said the key should be in the drawer. You start looking for the key. This is the house out of the things. This is a great crafter. She taught me so much. King was so strong, for the house. Where Mira, she's just strong. Yep, she's gonna be fine. Ah, oh, stars. There was a key hidden in there. It was taped to the underside, so you missed it before. You blinding idiot. You found the rock key. Keychain dangling from the shape like a hand in a rock position. How fitting. Put the key in your pocket. Good. Wait, was there more stuff in there? Oh, well. It's fine. There's nothing important there, right? So this is fine? This one gets squashed. No. 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 Goodbye. Not worth it. Key time. Someone frozen in time. This is... I don't know. I've seen them around sometimes. I think there's someone's partner. Someone's bonded partner, even. Look at their earrings. Aren't they bonding earrings? You look at them. Their left ear is a beautiful, dark, dangling earring, and the right ear, a simple, transparent one. Are those bonding earrings? You're not familiar with what that is. The earrings have different but complementary designs. How romantic. I wonder which half is theirs. I feel like the clear one represents them better, so maybe that's the one their partner made? Do you think we'll see their partner somewhere in the house? Yes. They might have been looking for each other when the king attacked. If we managed to beat the king, they'd get back to normal and look for their partner. They'd start running, trying to find them. Flower petals in their wake. And then, they see each other from across the hallway, eyes locking. They take another step forward, hesitantly, wondering if this is real. And then, then they trip on a brick and break their nose. And their partner, seeing the blood, would faint in horror. And then they'd feel so bad they made their partner faint, they would exile themselves in shame. Ah yes, how romantic. It's not! Stop crushing our dreams! What's a bonding earring? He suppose it's not very important, but... I learned a lot. This is as far as I've gotten, I'll say bye chat. Hey, thanks for hanging! Hope you have a go and hope you enjoy the rest of the game. Seems quite good so far. Thanks for the bit, Smash Man! Run! I'm not fighting a bomb. I've played enough RPGs. The book is filled with theater scripts. You gently touch the back of a Vogardian comedy you remember liking. Don't worry, Sif. You'll be able to see some plays soon. So there's something I've always wondered. What is it, Bonnie? Um, you know that stage play friend brought us to before we got the last orb to open the house? In it, the main characters. The two men kissed on the mouth, right? Ah, no gems. Shush, I want to hear this. And so, um, when people kiss on the mouth, in plays. They don't really kiss, right? They have some transparent paper in between so their lips don't touch, right? What? What? Uh, what? Haha. <laughs> yeah, Bonnie, they definitely have paper in between. Huh. Yeah, I knew it. No one would ever kiss someone on the mouth in a play. Not in front of everyone. Not in front of everyone. Hehehe. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Bonnie face, this is why you're my favorite. Woohoo! Kids are all right. Such a smart kid figuring that out. Mm -hmm. The book is filled with various novels. How to not make a fool of yourself, a journey, tick, Soul Emperor 4, uh, the Soul Emperoring, and the Cursing of Chateau Castle issues 40 to 48. Yep. There's a crumpled poem on the ground. You pick it up. You got crumpled poem. You were there all alone, all along, but still you return home. You're not sure you like this poem for reasons you don't dare think about. Bookcase filled with books about the House of Change. It's the name of the belief, but the house is the name of the place. And there's more than one house in Vogard. And house is where people live. Such a confusing language. No, it's not so bad. It makes sense. If you'd like to know more about the House of Change, recommend me a book. 
But let's be quick about it. Okay, okay, yes. All right, I think you should try this one. The life-changing magic of changing yourself. This one's a little abstract, nice. but it is all about our beliefs and the change God. Thank you for the bits. Living while striving for change within ourselves while keeping our ever-changing God in our thoughts. This book explains pretty well the belief that a lot of people of Vogard live by. Interesting, you only have one deity. Easy to keep track of, I suppose. What do you have in Kabui then? We have gods, spirits, expressions. The nuance, nuance gets a little lost in Vogardian. Expressions for everything. So how many expressions do you have then? A dozen? A few thousand. Huh. What? So many! Do you have to keep track of all of them? Of course not. You only have to pray to the ones that you need. So for me, the expression of search, the expression of writing, the expression of creator craft, and lately, the expressions of battle and victory, I suppose. Cool. That's pretty neat. Ho I hope the expressions and the change god bless us in our journey. Yeah. This wall feels different somehow. We don't see any switches or anything, so you leave it alone. It's sus. Statue of the Change God's been destroyed. Some vinyls, sweet time, yep. A book that seems a little too heavy for the table it's on. This book is massive. It's called The Complete History of Fishing. Hmm. Odell, Odell takes the book with two hands and hits the table with it. Do that again. Please! Crab, yeah! Ha, indeed. I'll take this one. Oh no, I got the heavy book. I thought it was gonna help me get better at fishing so I could do the fishing in the start of town. A fishing book. Fishing all look. It's called ichthyology and I'm not studying it. Boo. Uh, uh, equip, book, big book, heavy book. If you can knock someone out with it, it's a weapon. Boost attack with one cooldown to all, plus one cooldown to all craft skills. I use a lot of her craft skills though. Fuck it. Put it on. Unless list of books have been checked out of the library. Oda was looking intently at the list. Pile library books, let me check that out. Okay, wait, what's the sparkly? Filled with random books from novels to picture books to massive research essays. You can see the side of the bookcase shines slightly. There must be a key somewhere, maybe inside one of the books. Which book should you imagine? Steppy, steppy cooking. Efforts are the key to meaningful change. Running from your problems. Pass. Steppy, steppy cooking. You open the book. No key. The book falls open on a recipe for some kind of Kabuan dumplings. Dumplings! Those are called gyozas, Boniface. Gyozas! How do you make them? Please stop screaming. Sorry! Sorry. How do you make them? Bonnie look in looks intently at the recipe. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, that's crabbing easy. Our tiny little adorable chef's at it again. What? Uh, sorry. We can go. I can look at it later. No, it's fine. You might as well look at it now. Okay. My sister, she... What about your sister, Bonnie? It doesn't matter. Can we go now? Y'all look sadly at Bonnie and try to keep moving. What about effort, the key to meaningful change? Yep, inside the book, there's a key. Pretty on the nose. You found the paper key. And the paper position. Running from your problems. You open the book. This book seems to be about how to get a better running posture and better endurance. Madame O'Dowd could use this book, huh? What does that mean? You're not very fast, is all. And you get tired easily, too. Maybe if you kids could stop running everywhere you go. Huh, Sifrin? You quickly look away from her glare. It's okay, Dial. I can teach you how to run good. Yes, madame. Take lessons from the kid who puts their arms straight behind them while running. I want to see you do it. It is a very interesting way to run, Bonnie. But why? Another kid in bamboo said running like that was ergonomic. Ergonomic. I don't know that Vogardian word. Me neither. What's it mean? Um, it mean, it mean the, it means the wind doesn't matter and I can go fast. It's ergonomic. Ah, do you mean ergonomic? Do I? I hope not. That's not how you use that word. It's not? Nope. But running like that makes me faster. Does it? It does. Okay. So Dial should run like this too. I'd rather not. Ah! <laughs> I want to see them all nart run. Someone frozen in time. That's the librarian. I thought it was like a baby on the ground. Were they a good one, Mira? Oh, yes. They always had good recommendations if you're looking for something. And they have a sixth sense for knowing exactly what kind of book you'd like to read at any given time. They're the one who recommended The Cursing of Chateau Castle to me. And, well, to everyone else in the house. Oh, that book series you're a fan of. 
Yes! I'm incredibly thankful to them for that. Uh-huh. It's a good series, Madame Odile. Uh-huh. I'll make you read it one day, Madame Odile. Uh-huh. Try to convince the others instead. It's a... It has romance, right? Yes. Soul. <laughs> An easy sell. Bonnie best character. There's some very good character in these thus far. Whoa. Scooch right past ya. Yep, uh, but yeah. yeah. Pardon is moise. Um Do I still have the thing equipped on on Isabeau? I do. But he should be high enough level that he just has it. So I don't think I need that now. Don't think he is a threat. Sure fuck it is. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Everyone was here. So now I have the paper key. Where does that go? Because this is the scissor door. In the trap room. What? As if there's my heart in their hands. Mm-hmm. Make up the time! Pick up the pace! Holy shit! Ow! Uh... 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 Do that. And, um... Yep. Well, I can do something about that now, so that's good. Um, knife to meet you. Uh, lovely moving cure. Claps your hands three times. That's all it takes. No! No! Uh, uh, two cleaver by half. Oof. And just do that. There you go. Fuck him up. Nice. I'm gonna go back and heal <laughs> immediately. Good. Thanks for that prime Pikachu girl. 26 months, that's many months. Let's go. Hope you're having a good stream. I'm having a good time. This game is very, very charming. It's been extremely dialogue heavy. I kind of had to recalibrate. I thought it was going to... What? Ha! Ah. But it's been good. I, 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 it makes me intrigued. But, um... Uh, yeah, I think, I think there's some... I'm a sucker for a time loop game. And in an RPG framework, I think they're doing some neat stuff so far. Uh, just, just, yeah. I'm so normal about this game. Good. You should be. Smash! Pounch! Nice. Uh... Uh, oh, I didn't go this way. Various school supplies. The students' names in a month-long class. Some of the students have more than their first and last name listed. This student has one, two, five names? This is a Vogardian practice, as I recall. Having more than one name? Yeah. A lot of Vogardians have more than one name. Usually it's one masculine name, one feminine name, and a free one for good measure. But some parents just go out and give more than that. I had a coworker with 10 names. The many names represent our capacity for change, our power to evolve, to become someone new at a moment's notice. And if you decide to change genders or become someone different than who you were before, you already have a name ready to pick out. This is lovely, actually. Hal Vogard's goal of change goes even as deep as names. I have another name too, so I feel a little closer to Vogard at this moment. You do? I wanna know, I wanna know. I'm curious as well, if that's okay. Hmm. If you tell me yours, I might. Unless that's frowned upon. Not really frowned upon, but some people might keep it secret for personal reasons. That's why not everyone on the student list, list wrote down every name, see? I wouldn't mind telling you, though, Madame Odile. I'd tell you, but I forgot mine. 
My sister's the one who remembers. Hmm. I'm gonna pass. I wanna keep them secret. Because if I do change again, I don't want you to already know how to call me. I want it to be a surprise. Oh, of course. Then let us keep our names secret for a little while longer. Fogart is so weird. So weird, man. Pile student papers. Book is filled with some books about many, many random things. A book about something called bonding earrings. Isn't that what the frozen person on the way to the library is wearing? It's pretty dry. I'd rather not read it, actually. Sifrin, are you curious about bonding earrings? You nod. Do you not have those where you're from? You don't. We have bonding earrings in Kabui as well. Let me explain it for you, Sif. You see, Sif, when people love each other very much... Oh, I want to know what happens when people's lo people love each other very much. No one's ever told me. It's about... Many things happen, and then maybe they'll decide to get bonded and spend a very long time together. When they do, they'll start making a pair of bonding earrings. They're supposed to symbolize the other person, so the design is very, very important. And if the bonding is between three or more people, you'd make as many earrings as there are people. And then you exchange earrings, so they each carry one of the earrings. I know it's not practiced everywhere, but it's definitely isn't. It definitely is in Vogard. Not everyone does in Kabui, but it's popular there as well. Not my kind of thing, though. Oh, so is that why you all wear earrings? Huh? What do you mean? You point at Mirabelle, Isabel, and Bonnie's ears. No! That's not why we wear earrings? These are just regular earrings. Yeah, uh, that's... My sister said I had to wear them. It is very common for people to wear earrings, but it's not related. Mirabelle, Isabel, and Bonnie all look at each other. Is it related? I'm suddenly worried. I haven't met a lot of people without earrings, even if they're not bonding earrings. It's true that I know very few Vogardians without earrings. Is this why we wear them? As like, a way to get us used to the idea at a young age? A thing we gotta do because adults said so? Evil manipulation to force us to get bonded as we age? Heh. <laughs> I suppose every country has its weird antiquated traditions. I guess so. It's kind of funny. Ew, 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 ew. Mirabel seems genuinely upset at the idea. Maybe you shouldn't have brought it up. Say something. Your earrings look nice, though. You think so? You nod. Isabel hides his face. Anyway, your earrings are nice, Mira. They make you look cute. I like my earrings because I can hang things on them. Yes, my earrings do look nice. And they were expensive. I'll throw them away dramatically another time. That's the spirit. Maybe you could go see that frozen person again in a future loop. Now that I know what their deal is, a note stuck to the wall. It says, no snack eating in this room. Out of the corner of your eye, you see Bonnie chomp on an apple. I borrow some doodles in the corner. It's a nice classroom, isn't it? Same hat. Bonnie is gauges. Oh, they're gauges? It's a nice classroom, isn't it? Wonder what classes were taught here. Yeah, I have bad memories of this classroom. Why? They might be gauges. It's alright, though. I guess if she said she hangs things from them, then gauges make sense. Why? Did you have a bad class in this room, Belle? Not, um... It's... I gave a class here not too long before the king attacked. You're a teacher? <gasps> you never said. N no, it was just one lecture. I... The head housemaiden, she said it would be good for me to give a lecture. A lecture on... I'm well known in Dormont's house for being the housemaiden who has taken the most classes. Taken the most classes? Like, as a student? How many is that? Huh. Since I came to live here, I think I registered for a little more than 150 classes. Huh? One for every Pokemon? Mirabelle? Every single one? You went to school that long? So she wanted me to do a lecture on what taking all those classes taught me. And? And? Should we drop it? Yes, please. <laughs> Some school books. Mathematics, geography, crafting, art, sewing, cooking. Frozen flowers. Smell like flowers. School supplies. A desk. Oh, it's an open issue of Cursing of Chateau Castle, issue 32. That's a good one. Desk with an open notebook has lovely handwriting. I recognize this handwriting. This is the seat of a very stylish, very scary lady with amazing fashion sense. She often wore this very cool dress, and she always had her ha dark hair in a bun. We often had the same classes, but she probably doesn't know I exist. I'm a little sad about it. I always wanted to ask her for fashion tips. A fashionable lady? This vaguely rings a bell. You should maybe tell Mirabelle about her when you're in Dormont. Hmm. Some vitals. Super sweet tonic. A desk. Mark super awesome, great, amazing, super cool, super duper cool notebook. Do not touch. Out of respect, you leave the super duper cool notebook alone. It's 
only fair. They noticed each other. I noticed you taking notes from across the room, and I like your vibe. Uh, uh sc scissor. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Boom. Nice. Easy Lamel. Uh, is this a locked door? Key time. Uh, oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, no. A sadness. Another weird one. Like the one that gave us the crest? Wait, body face? What do you mean by wi- No time, madame. Let's get ready. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him this time. Oh, I mean, I got the last one. I just didn't. I didn't examine it. Uh, pretty buffy friend. Yep. Maybe I should have healed. Um, lower enemy attack, please. Hey, what do you mean? This one. It's just weird. Is it just me or is there something weird about it? It seems a little stronger than the statuses we've seen so far. It's not showing its hands. It's crabbing annoying. We could observe its attacks or look at it carefully when we hit it. I guess. Slap it. It's resistant to that. Ow, what? What if scissors? So, rock then. Bonnie missed. Um, heal. Punch it. Uh, turn it up. Do another punch. Punch it again. Smash! You can see its hands when you hit it. Oh. That makes sense. Um. Um. You just scissor that. Oh, it does go like, ah! That's cute. Nice. I got a star crest. Put the star crest in your pocket. Another crest! We should be careful about where we use this one. What is, uh, um, star crest. There's a clock engraved onto it. It's a goddamn clock. Full of nothing. Full of water. It's a barrel full of water. It's a barrel full of nuts. There's a note on the wall. It says, stop eating nuts directly from the barrels. Then why are they stored in the barrels? What am I to do? Is it also a statue? I mean, it's, it's kind of kind of like one. Two rows of tears, but only one crest. So we have to decide which way to go, huh? Why don't we? I vote this way. Why this way? Manly man's intuition. Uh, that's stupid. You're stupid. I vote this way. Why this way? Smart kid's intuition. And also, it's the way Zod didn't choose, so... I'm with the kid. It's been a while since we teamed up, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah! We're the, uh, opposite sides of the age specter allies. It's opposite sides of the age spectrum alliance, but I understand there's big words in there. Opposite sides of the age sp spectrum alliance! Yeah. Uh, Mira. Mira Bell? My friend, my sister from another mother. Please? No, Bell's with us. Um, I, I'm with Isabeau. Yes, Bell and Bo. A beauty alliance. Beauty alliance. Oh, <laughs> what kind of name is that? Will you guys spend the day looking pretty? How dare you? Also, yes. Just look at us. Isabeau strikes a pose and Mirabelle follows suit a beat later. They both look striking. Ew. We have all chosen a side. So that only leaves. Oh, no. Sifrin. You're the tiebreaker, but you hate being the tiebreaker. Can't we just get along? No. They insulted the Beauty Alliance. That All that's left is war. Whoa. Unless you bring peace to the alliances by choosing a side, you're the only one that can bring peace to the land. Uh, I mean, they say age before beauty, but also, you know. Choose. I must choose. Uh, the priest of the lamb. Himbo, himbo, himbo. Himbo, himbo, himbo. Pull? I don't want to pull it. I just want, I just want chat to yell at me.
Which way were you thinking of going before anyone picked a side? That's the question. For me, I was thinking of going right because it's not blocked. And maybe there's another crest that way. I'm yelling at you. Thank you. H, himbo. Beauty. I have no opinion. H, himbo. Weast. Step into tears to avoid a choice alliance. I choose pff, frozen in time. A seems more fun. Uh, beauty. Down. Yes! We will not forget such a terrible slight, Sifrin. We will not forget! We will not forgive! May you eat only potatoes for the rest of your life! May your house fall down on your horrified face. Yeah! What she said! We're kidding, Sifrin. Don't look so distraught. I'm not kidding. I'll put potatoes in friends' pockets. Shh, don't tell them. I'll help you later. You assume a guarding stance. Bonnie immediately assumes an attacking stance. All right, kids. Let's use this crest then, shall we? <laughs> if I have a potato in my inventory after this cutscene, I swear to God. Let's go! I'm, I'm checking my pockets right now. I don't see a potato. Memory of potato. I'm honestly disappointed there's no potato. <laughs> okay, what's what's this way, though? Uh, door. Locked by a weird word lock. Um, st storage room room. Nothing happens. Worth a try. Uh, change. Worth a try. Just stare at it. Isabel sees you look. Henry seen a lock by this? It's a special kind of old guardian lock. Oh, well. Yeah. I know. Is it still locked? Yahoo. Dev, update that a potato, please. Potato that does nothing. Battle start. Uh, no. Awa. Awa, wa, 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 wa. Uh, yeah. Nice. I should probably heal more. I was like, oh, I can maybe build up a combo, but... What? Is this where they store the rocks that fall into people's heads? Some very big rocks. Two of them seem to be missing. Could they be for various traps in the house? They did say the key was in the trap room, so... A change ornament. Notes on safety. Beware of rock. Simple, to the point. Some carving wood. Looks like someone liked to carve during their breaks. You wonder where your own carving tools went. I'm a carver? A book about traps and how they work. Some of the pages are bookmarked. Does it say anything about the traps you've seen so far? Ah! One of the bookmarks is labeled Death Corridor. This is where you first died, but you're still not sure why the trap activated when it did. But the other time, it got you immediately as you're walking through the corridor, so time wasn't an issue, was it? You read the page. The type of trap in Death Corridor is apparently called... If you feel safe, it activates O-Trap. Whoa, Sif, that's one hell of a disgusted face you're pulling. Yes. Yes, it is. Someone frozen in time. Him. Oh? Oh? Tell us more? No, that's... Sorry, I mean... This man is another house maiden. He's a scholar. He's working really hard on a project. It, boring. Why don't you like him? Was he mean to you? Should we do something to him? Please don't. He's, um... He is a human man. That exists. Okay. Listen. I think he stole one of my priceless issues of the Cursing of Chateau Castle. Oh no, a thief! No, forget I said that. I have no concrete proof, but... Yeah, my issue disappeared shortly after he came to my dorm room and to ask me something, that's all. A thief. He looked through his pockets. There's a book inside. The title reads, Cursing of Chateau Castle, issue number three. You wave it around. Well, what do we have here? I was right, this, this. Horrible thief! Mirabelle got back her priceless copy of the Cursing of Chateau Castle. She angrily stuffs it in her pocket. Victory! It's back! It is. Sorry for badmouthing him while he's frozen in time. He's a very talented scholar also. This was fun, Mirabelle. You should show your ruthless side more often. N no. A book thief, frozen in time. There's something on the counter. Scissors key! So, rock, paper, scissors. Just good old basic rock, paper, scissors. Makes sense. You all nod. It makes sense. <laughs> That's the... No, okay. Back we go. 
Can't go north. We can never go north. Wait, so I found the scissors key by going south. So what would have happened if I went north and didn't find the scissors key? Would I have had to, I guess I would have been forced to loop. Ow, 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 ow. Um, uh. Yeah. And you. Good as new. I can't find out. That's true. Paper. Talk to the hand. No. Yeah, buddy. Uh, Slap him. Nice. It is super charming. I'm glad you're enjoying it, chat. Okay. Going to safe. Because there's gonna be some bullshit through the door. As we all know, will be the case. Go play some Japanese. Yeah, I did see in the in the settings. Uh options. Uh somewhere. Maybe you can only change it from the title screen. But yeah, at least on the title screen, you can change it to be in Japanese. Everyone was healed. Save here as well. All right. Through the door. Key time. Hello? Any... Oh, hmm. Strong sinuses again. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's go, go, go! There are two of them. One is rock and one is paper. Two sadnesses. Get ready, everyone. Abatement? A bat? A bat mole? A cobble mole? Uh, boost attack. Uh, goes one enemy, boost all eyes defense. Don't mind if I do. Two of them! The long-haired one looks enamored with the other. Uh, it looks like it wants to protect the short-haired one more than it wants to attack us. So should I attack that one first or second? Because I, I feel like if I if I take out the short-haired one first, I'll probably go into a rage and be stronger. So... Go for the rock first. Ah, Yug Love. We could go for the one that doesn't attack or the one that does. It's up to you, Sifrin. Um let's 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 get him. He cries out! Oh, well. Good! Bop him! No, that's alright. Uh go 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 to you. Hit him with paper again. It's non-violent. You feel weaker. That's not good. Uh, lovely moving cure. Uh, um, I'm gonna guard. Youch. Strengthens the enemy. Good. All enemies. That's probably fine. Here. Um, so weak. Wait, the one with short hair is the one that's attacking us. Damn it. Uh, go, go, go again? Oh, wait, I can't, he can't do that again. Uh, actually, it's your turn. Well, you're about to go. It's your turn. Can you heal yet again? Yes. I just played hot potato. Potato! Ow! Fuck him up! Snacks! Let's go! Uh... Yeah. Only one more hand. Oh, I can heal. Alright. Ow! Um... 
Go fast. Um, maybe um, boost everyone's defense. Sounds good. Attack down. That's fine. Slap him. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, get in there. Nice. All right. Uh, now then, let's have ourselves a time. Yeah, it's not like the much. The long-haired one's doing something. Powers up the enemy. Oh. Uh, it sacrificed itself and gave the other one more strength in the process. Uh, oh no. Oh no, it's really fast. Um, uh, here's what I can, oh. Yeah, uh, I'm in danger. I am in danger. Yeah, fuck him up! Yeah, Bonnie! Bonnie is MVP. Um... Yeah, uh, your turn. Slow it down a little, please. Please, please, just a smidge. It's still gonna be fast, but now it's like normal speed. Um... Get him, get him, get him. Just keep chopping. Just keep chopping. Longer one's really powerful, and we took him out. No! Um... Keep attacking. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that... Does that break out of uh, being frozen? Nice! Let's go. Kills the whole stream. Nice. That is strong. Encouragement. Thank you. I think I made the right call going for that one first. The long-haired one first. I get the sense the long hair one would have gone completely bananas. Uh, good. Come on. Do it. Take him out. When the craft skill buy one, get one three. Mirror Buzz Level 40. Everyone leveled up. We won. All right. One last floor to go. One last floor. No turning back now. Let's go. This room feels safe too, doesn't it? Break time? Maybe not. We might still have a lot to... What was that? It was my tummy, sorry. That was so loud. How hungry are you for it to be this loud? I don't get this swole by skipping meals. Anyway, let's take a break for now. Bon bon, how much longer until the snacks are done? Five minutes, take your time. Hey everyone, hey, hey. Hmm? So, um, we haven't brought it up yet. So uh, I have a question. A secret adult conversation for adults, no kids allowed. Do you not want Bonnie face to hear? Yeah. If we're sure they won't hear, then yeah. Say it normal volume. Bonnie has a crab face. Bonnie is the cutest. Bonnie forgot to tie their shoe. Bonnie has a crab face. You give a thumbs up. So mean. So mean, Sifrin. Good. Um, I mean, that would have worked. Okay, so, if any of you bites the dust, what should we do with your body? Um, haha, <laughs> what? Yikes? I'm sorry, I'm sorry to ask. I know it's not the best moment. Most of us have different beliefs, don't we? So, well, in case change forbid one of us dies today and the others are able to honor your body, how should we do it? Like, Madame Odile, is there a cup one way or... No, it's, it's a valid concern. Well, in Kabui, you would burn the body and take the ashes to a gem maker to transform them into a diamond, but that won't be easily feasible, will it? You change into a diamond? Hardcore. But if that's not doable, you can donate my body to any house in Vogard. If Vogard is saved, I'm sure they'd have a use for the body of a savior. 
Well, the House of Change recommends burying the body under a tree so our body can nurture the nature around it. Be part of change and all that. Is it the same for you, Isabeau? I mean, I'd be dead, right? So I don't really care that much about later. And for, well, Bonnie, what should... We won't allow Bonnie to die over our dead bodies. Even if we're about to die, there are ways to use craft to make sure Bonnie will survive. So no matter what, you all nod. That's something you all agree with. What about you, Sifrin? Will there ever even be a time this will apply to you? You won't die for good, so it doesn't matter. But throw my ashes to the sky. Bury me on the highest peak. It won't happen. It doesn't matter. Throw my ashes in the sky like, uh, do like a big Lebowski. Oh, this is new to me. Is it perhaps common where you come from? Wink. Hmm. Sorry for asking. Hey, are you done talking? Because... It's snacks time, baby! It's serious business snacks, snack time. I'm listening. Snack times are always serious business, dummy. Today I have... Um... Some Madelines. Madelines. Thank you for making some, Bonnie Face. I also have... Some pineapple slices. No, 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 no. No, 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 we're gonna die. We will die. They have some sugar on them. Just plain pineapple slices with sugar. And pineapple's good, you know. The this, this space deity said I'm allergic to pineapple. It is, it's just not very exciting, so. Exciting? You want exciting? Then eat this. Is it the gyoza? Fish head! Fish head? Fish head? Why a fish head? I thought, I thought they learned how to make gyoza. How will you know? You know, that's a fair point. What if I'm not allergic to pineapple? Fish heads are yummy and the textures are different and good. Are they? They are. Okay. So which snack do you guys want? If I, ch if I choose pineapple, it's science. You know? Because either I die from pineapple, or I don't, and then I learn, hey, maybe they don't... This is a bad idea. This is a very bad idea. Wait, you like pineapples too? I didn't know! Pineapples are one of my three favorite foods! Sounds like you have good taste sometimes, friend. Do I have to do the boss again? Maybe. Bonnie hands you the snack. <laughs> you bite into it, chewing on the fruit. Tastes spicy. I got an achievement. I choked. We go again. You're allergic to pineapples. Didn't Loop say you were allergic to pineapples? Loop was right? You're allergic? What? Loop is gonna have a field day with this one. That pineapple's pretty good, though. I'm glad it was good. I'm glad we did science, though. Even if it means we have to fight the boss again. <laughs> it's worth it. Sifrain, you're up. The usual, please. It was alright. The usual. Sounds like an amazing idea. Yep. You think so? Yes. Probably not. Ma'am? Um, something's weird about her. Some loops she mentions her sister, others she says she's an only child. You should ask her about Isabeau or Odile. You're on the series, aren't you? I recognize you. We travel with a few people. We travel with, um... Mirabelle? I know her. She's from here. What a wonderful young woman. I never talked to her much, though. I wonder, though. Is she the younger or older sister of your group? She'd fit both, wouldn't she? You laugh awkwardly. Okay, so she didn't say anything about her family at the time. They think it's spicy? Wow, man. Every time I eat this really mild thing, I just feel like shit afterwards. It's really spicy, huh? I think you're allergic. Mirabelle's here. Hi, do you need anything? Yes. You have a fan. I don't know whose house that is. Um, maybe I should find a way to jog her memory. What? Is that not enough? Maybe I gotta talk to the lady? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll talk to the lady. 
Zoom. Ma'am, big hat. That's me. What? Mirabelle should save us all. Was it the same? I dry tongue, my throat like it had needles in it. Ugh. Well, that's no good. Um. You might be allergic. If you think you're allergic to a thing, then stop eating it. <laughs> They're all also like our allergy tests you can take. Go to a specialist. I think you forgot how to put your hand in your pocket. I didn't, I didn't forget. Shit. Fuck. Mangoes are tasty. Stop eating them! I'm allergic to almost everything that's not food. Well, it's a good thing you can eat food. I gotta get my daily. I gotta, I gotta check my dailies. Not a croissant. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Oh yeah. I wonder why we hate croissants so much. I bet there's some really tragic part of our backstory tied to hating croissants. Mouthful of mango. Huh? What? My throat closes. God damn it. Isabel's here probably pondering what favor to ask. Isa! Okay, that's enough. Ah, boo. Anyway, looking for the favorite tree. Isn't this tree cool? Joke time! He did the hand thing again! What does that mean? Um... What's up with the hand thing? The... Hand thing? What? He did the same gesture he does every time you talk to him at this time. Bringing your hand up towards his shoulder, then sharply taking your hand back. Isabel looks at your gesture, confused. Then suddenly stills. Uh, um, well, I'm, I was trying to touch your shoulder as like a bro thing. Huh? A bra thing? But I remembered you don't like to be touched. I remembered mid move, I, so I didn't touch you. So it's okay. Sorry. He was trying to touch your shoulder. You're not sure how to react to this. Uh, see, this is why I didn't do it. Because you do that face every time people try to touch you. I'm sorry. I try to remember. Sorry. Okay. You're confused, but... It feels like he thinks you don't want to be touched. You... Don't want to think about this anymore. Anyway. We are oblivious. Good. Hello. Hey, a stardust. Hmm. Takes you a lot of time, doesn't it? To loop back and talk to me? Sure does. It's fine. Is it? It's fine. Uh-huh. But, hmm. I wonder if... Yeah, that's a good idea. How about I teach you a special craft skill so you can talk to me whenever? A craft skill talk to loop even when you're not near them. That seems impossible. Only because you don't know the specific hand shape for it. Yes, Stardust. A fourth hand shape. So you can talk to me whenever. Are you interested? A fourth handshape. If anyone would know about this, it'd be someone like Loop. You nod. Great. All right, are you ready? You nod again. So take your hand and make a fist. You do so. Then you're gonna raise your thumb and little finger. <laughs> Good. Raise thumb, raise little finger. And keeping your hand in that shape, you're gonna put your hand next to your face with a thumb in your ear and a little finger to your mouth. And that's the secret handshape no one knows about. Interesting. You've never heard about this, but you have a bad memory. You may have just forgotten it. And then the very last step, there's more. There is Stardust. You have to think very loudly. Boy, I sure wish I could talk to Loop right now. Now that part just sounds silly. <laughs> yes, that's definitely the silly part of the ritual. And that's it. Now you can call me whenever. Well, mostly whenever. It might not work sometimes, especially if we get too far. And we won't be able to chat very long or anything, so you'll still need to come whenever you want to breathe or need to chat. But now I can help you out and give you hints whenever. Or if you want to put, want me to put it another way, you've learned this skill, call loop. You can call me anytime to get some precious hints. Call me, just go on your craft menu, select call loop. Easy as pie. Ow. Tee hee. All right. Now that you're here though, how else can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Why aren't they giving me shit about eating pineapple? The, the devs put the pineapple at the end of a fucking boss battle knowing that dumbasses like me would be like, I wonder though and get fucking murdered by it. And I only knew that I was allergic because I talked to Loop. If you skip talking to Loop, 
there's a chance you could just eat the pineapple and then die and not know why you died. Are we wrong for it? I don't know. You're on floor three. The last floor before the king is full of a bunch of tears blocking your way to. One of those block paths will surely have what you're looking for, but it doesn't mean the other paths are useless. Do your best. Good. What do you want to talk about? Can you read my thoughts? Nah, I just have very good intuition. Like somehow I can tell what you're about to say. So weird. Suspicious. What, me? Suspicious? Say it ain't so. I had a question about... How'd you know I was allergic to pineapples? I just knew. What? How? I just knew, Stardust. Like, really? What am I again? Um, a star? Which is... Part of the universe? Indeed. So why wouldn't I know when the universe knows? You suppose that makes sense, but... Nira has a fan. She doesn't remember me and your fan though they share class together. How devastating. What if there's a way to help her remember? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Nothing. See you later. Well. I don't think there was anything else in town. I could slip on on, on a banana peel. Um Let's 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 go just be defense. Strong! The book fan. The book fan. What book fan? Oh, the person in, in, obsessed with the, the Chateau books. Where were they? Which house was they? This one? You know, the end of the world is fine. All I want regret. Won't be able to know what happens at the end of the thing. I'll never know. You didn't really care the cursing of Chateau Castle, is it? Interesting. Maybe you can find the last issue for them. Oh. It's somewhere in the castle. Possibly. Do do library. House as well. Yep. Are you? Anything about time? Time? We, uh, have a book about clocks somewhere. Not really what you're looking for. You let it go. I don't need anything about clocks. Oh, damn. Uh... Hello! Hello! Very good. Hello! A barrel. I know. Funny. Bunny, what do you want? Flower for you. You give me a flower? Don't eat it. Why? Why not? Okay. Bunny hesitantly takes the flower and stares at it intently. Did it make them happy? Questions. Uh. All right. See you later. Goodbye. Time to slip on a banana peel. Yippee. See you later. Goodbye, this cool world. You slipped on a banana peel. Yeah, I got it. All right. Oh, with all doors opened. Well, yeah, because otherwise I have to go get the key, right? So hopefully I still have the key. But then it killed you again. Yeah, it did it again. Key time. Okay, <laughs> I gotta do this again. I'm not gonna eat the, the pineapple next time, okay? Okay, chat, okay? All right, I'm not gonna eat the... Talk amongst yourselves, chat. Alternatively, I could, I could kill the short hair one to see what happens, but I think I'd rather not. But it tastes good. I know. It tastes good. I didn't mean to give away my turn. Actually, I did the wrong thing. Um, good. It might be, it might, maybe it tastes good this time. Lower their attack. Can't do it. Can't do it. If SpongeBob was allergic to pineapple, what would he live in instead? Regular apple? Who lives in a apple under the sea? That's good, right? 
Um, slow you down. Who lives in a jackfruit? I mean, it should be three syllables to fit the theme song. Who, who lives? <laughs> the first one that came that was, was pomegranate, which is not three syllables. Uh, so I need to hit him with a uh, paper on the left. Make up the time. Who lives in a durian under the sea? There you go. Paper hits all enemies. That's fine. Boom. Come on. Come on. He doesn't have to eat his house. You don't eat your house? What's the point of living in a house unless you eat it? Um. Ba -da -ba 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 Let's just guard. Um. Also, guard. You can. Paper! Talk to the hand. He lives in a nice condo downtown. That sounds nice. Oh, nice. Big hits. Bonnie, run in with the snacks. Uh, do it. Do it again. Come on. Take him out. Ah. Uh, guard again. Can I get some bar bobbles? That seemed to work really well with this theme. Not to interrupt the conversation. Ananas. Yeah. Thank you, champ. Ow. Uh, still can't. Three turns. Sheesh. Sheesh. Go, buddy! Yeah, snack time! Now I'll show you. Okay, so even though I should have done... It, wasn't that five? So you can't take it out, maybe, without it sacrificing itself. Bonnie does the final blow! Let's go! <laughs> it tried to sacrifice itself, and we said no! Not today! Nice. Uh, weak. The moves are weak. Oh, okay. Good, good moves. Very good moves. Thank you. Get him. Get him. No, no, what? No, no. It's Bonnie with the steel chair. Boom. Bunny missed. That's fine. You're doing great. Um, if I don't get three deals, three scissor hits to one enemy. Oh, shit. You wink and attack. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, might as well do this. Because that'll bring her back as well. Yeah. Oh, one more. Come on, Bonnie. You got another steel chair, don't you? Uh... I mean, it does, I can literally just slap it. Slap it. Bah. Nice. Good. We won. All right. Hmm. You know what sounds really good right now? Pine, pine, pineapple. Some of the 7th century thought it looked like a pine cone. I mean, it kind of does. Uh, Bonnie forgot to tie their shoe. Give a thumbs up. Yikes. Bury me on the highest peak. Oh, sounds like a journey. But a journey to bury someone you know. I don't know how good of a journey that would be. One full of catharsis? I guess so. Are you done talking? It's snacks time, baby! Hmm. Which snack do you guys want? Cursed pineapple slices. Good while they lasted, though. I can pick it again, though. Hmm. Pineapple? Pineapple? I'll have the fish head, please. There you go. I have another if someone wants one. I'll try it. I'm curious. Do I eat the whole thing? Yeah. Like, not the eyes, right? You can eat the eyes, too. They're the best part. He takes a bite. Oh, it's all right, actually. Uh-huh. You eat yours. Yummy. 
I want you to just see if the loop has anything else to say to you about it. Like, really? You ate them again? After you and your snacks, everyone's health has been restored. Bonnie seems to be thinking hard about something. We'll save your sister, Bonnie. Huh? Oh. Yeah, I know. Mirabelle's biting her nails. You point to them. Nails. Oh. Thanks, Sifrin. She should wear gloves, like you do. We're gonna be okay. I hope so. You might even say... Oh, no. We're gonna... Nail it? I won't let you win. Yeah, you almost did, though. Hey, Sif. You know you look like a hamster when you eat? You do? No, I don't. I'm so sorry to be the one to tell you this, but... You do. Your cheeks get all big and round. Like a cute hamster. Is a bone. Yeah? Stop being cheeky. Ah! We, sh we could die today, huh? Oh, well. I've had a good life. You won't die today, Odile. Is that so? I won't let you. You can't prevent it, after all. Keep that sort of speech for the younger ones. I'm sure Isabeau would love it. Reach towards the light. Let's actually lock in our progress now. <laughs> Thank you, devs, for tempting me with pineapple. All right, let's go. Flash, fork, and go. Let's go. The final floor. Wait. Do you hear that? That sound, it's... That's the king. He's crying. Hmm. There's a key on the floor. Empty key. The keychain dangling from its shape like a mask of some kind. Judging by its location, I'm guessing this is the key for the gate just ahead, but... Oh. Um, that's a little bit goopy. Tentacles. The gate's covered in some kind of, some sort of thread? It doesn't seem locked, but you're not sure the key you picked up would be useful here. Oops. This thread is so strange, I can't seem to move it aside. Frozen thread? Seems to be covering the rest of the floor, too. Can we cut it? Whoa! Bonnie flipped your cape up, grabbing your dagger. Aya! Did you break my dagger, darling Bonnie? No. No, I promise. It actually isn't. That's good news. Scary, Sif. His dagger isn't broken, but it didn't seem to have done anything to the thread. It did something. The thread's slightly dented here. A sharper knife could do the trick, maybe. I suppose. I suppose. Yeah, either way, we should explore this floor more. Before you start walking, Bonnie tugs in your cloak. Sorry, friend. Now, he must really feel bad. An apology from you, Bonnie. Magnificent. Hehe. <laughs> I mean, not funny, Sif, friend. That you crab. A knife, huh? We need a big knife. I'm sure it's nothing. Ah, I'm not. Whoa, -ho 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 what is happening? Misery. Wow. Thank you for the very aggressive slap up the side of my head. Yeah. Uh, Your moves are weak. Yeah, da, 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 da. Um. Yeah. Stop it. Encouragement to everyone. Too bad I'm frozen in time. Good. Good. Um. Down. Oh, that's the pottery teacher. She doesn't like me. I broke the whole class's work during the last class I had with her. How'd that happen? Everyone finished work goes on the shelf over here, and I bumped into it. A simple mistake. It was fine, but then I tried to jump away so I wouldn't break anything, but... I bumped into someone else, who bumped into someone else, who bumped into someone else, and so on, until someone bumped into the table, flipping it over. Right into the shelf. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah, it sounds quite entertaining. How many people died? Uh, <laughs> everyone. Weird tools to make pots. Forget what they're called. Pottery wheels, Sif. Ah. Uh, pottery wheels. Pottery wheels. Open book, stained by clay and dirty hands. Issue of Cursing of Chateau Castle, issue 87. 
You should remember this number. 87? Is that the final issue? Can't be. There's someone used clay here. I got lumpy clay. It's in my souvenirs. Nothing but can become anything. You mold the clay into a tiny triangle. Tiny hat? Tiny hat. Shuffle with little change gods, all different shapes and sizes, some smiling, some crying, some with no face at all. There's a box here filled with crafting materials and finished art pieces that no one liked, including paper mache gloves. They're massive. They were not made for a kid, that's for sure. Take the gloves and put them near Isabeau's hands. Oh my, a perfect fit. Isabeau bats his eyes. My dear Sifrin, would you do me the honor? You laugh and try to put the gloves on him. The stiff paper mache makes it hard, but after some effort, you succeed in your task. Foo foo foo. Paper mache hands. How comfortable are they? Not even a little bit. Got the paper mache hands. They're very special. When equipped, they turn Isabeau's paper attack, his basic attack from rock to paper. Huh. Oh. Classic case, some stools to make pottery. It's also salty broths. Salty broths. Do I want him to do paper? It depends on the kinds of enemies I'm going against. I'm going to save regardless, though. Right, I lose rock. Because right now, I basically have two strong... I don't have a good source for rock other than him. Right? Because Odal can do a little bit. Whereas... I don't know. I'm gonna keep him... Well, I'm, I'm curious how big of a boost it is to any of his stats. Or if it's nothing else, then... Um, oh, it already, already put them on. Hit surprising hard for paper. So it doesn't affect his stats at all. It just literally switches him. Although he still has... Um, his basic attack is paper, but he still has the, uh, uh, the craft abilities, which are rock. So I'm gonna keep it for now and see how it goes. What is up? Oh, let's not. What is up, my doge? The door's locked, shaped like a smiling mask. Okay. This music is getting dramatic. Man. This rock craft feels a pretty reasonable scene. Yeah, they're not bad cooldown. Go down. Cool down. Words have sounds that I can make. Uh, another locked door. Symbol shaped like an angry mask. Yeah, let's see what's here. This is a big floor. A mirror. You and your allies are reflected in it. That's a big mirror. Massive, even. Right, then there's not really anything else of interest in this room. I don't know anything about it. Before the house shifted around because of the king, I was in. it was in a part of the house I didn't often walk by. There's never been a good, gigantic mirror in a story. Isabel seems to be looking for something. If it is what I think it is, then it should be. Aha! Everyone say fromage. From my... What was that? Oh, look. Something's on the ground. Piece of paper? <laughs> Behold. Oh! It's a picture of all of you. It's us. This is lovely. Isn't it? It's a crafted mirror that takes pictures. I heard rumors someone was creating one, but I didn't know that someone, this someone lived in Dormont's house. We look so surprised. Only Isabeau knew this, knew this was coming. Pictures are so rare. It's nice to have one of us. Thank you for telling us about it and for taking a picture, Isabeau. Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. Okay. Memory of reflection. You'll always remember this. Finally, a nice mirror. When memory of reflection is equipped, your defense will be automatically boosted at the start of a battle. What should we do with it? Oh, that looks at you. Would you keep it safe? Oh, one with all the secret pockets. You beam. You got the mirror picture. Yay. Good. Oh, the flash in the mirror somehow made something appear. You reach down, pick it up. It's the smiling key. It's a nice smiling mask. I think that was the one on the very far left. But I should finish exploring here. Never mind. 
Will you keep the picture at the start of a new loop? Uh, no. I don't think you keep your souvenirs from loops. Loops. Look at them. Loop. Look at that. Loop. Oh, this is tragic. A dog! Dog. Doggy. Puppy! And an actual human also standing right there. They have a massive bow, too. Looks cute. Massive bow. Massive bow. Oh. Oh, that's my friend. I gave them that bow. And that's their dog. Oh. Oops. You can never tell them you noticed their dog before them. No, never, ever, ever. They'd make fun of me for days. At least they think it's funny, it seems. If you did that to me, Mirabelle, my revenge would be swift and absolute. I would never, Madame Odile. Never, ever. This was a one-time mistake. I'm glad they're with their dog, at least. They're not alone. Mm. They're not a cooking book all about croissants. So, Mirabelle, bad folk guarding croissants. You tune out. You don't even want to think about croissants. Odile's smiling, which means they're probably done. Hmm. Fascinating. Thank you, Mirabelle. <laughs> yeah, you were right, Mira. You have something to say, perhaps? Oh, no, we would never. It's just... It's very cute, right? Yes, it's cute. Your eyes light up and everything when you're learning things. It's cute. Cute? Dial isn't cute. She's old. No, Bonnie Face. They have a point. I am very cute, aren't I? I wonder how cute you'll think when I put wasabi in your sandwiches when you least expect it. You'd help me out, wouldn't you, Bonnie Face? I'm always up for putting spicy stuff into people's lunches, so yeah. Oh no. Sorry, madame, we didn't say anything. You chuckle. Looks like Sifrin wants a sandwich as well. Would you like me to offer you one of my sandwiches, Sifrin? You've been spotted. That would be so cute of you, Odile. I'll put twice as many peppers in theirs, Dial. See that you do. Scary. Got a memory of first strike. Something about spicy food. Achievement. You always remember this. When equipped, makes everyone faster at the start of battle. Well, that's nice. Small paintings of various house maidens. You can see Mirabelle in some of them. Broken figure in the change god. Old boring books. Oh, there's a Quabwan book here. That's a craftonomy book. We don't really have time to read about craft of any kind. Let's keep going. Cosmetics, bandages, painkillers, and eye patches. These look ugly. Friends is better. Does your eye patch fit still, Sif? I can adjust it if you ever need me to. You smile. Get rid of the thing. Isabel made your eye patch when you lost your eye. He apparently crafted it so it wouldn't bother you or itch or anything. It's comfy and fits you well. The lore. Some virus. Peppa juice. All right. Back to the left. To the smiling key door. What is this? I guess that's another... I don't know if I can cut those fabrics down. Yeah. Everyone was here, same progress. Yep, 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 yep. Good. To the left. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. One hop this time. Key time. Let me in. Oh my god, there's so many! Touch it? No. Not now. Maybe later. Um. Left. Oh! That's. That's. That's my room. It's a barrel. Full of nothing. You got a lot of barrels in your room. Mirror barrel. Paper full of complicated equations. Some vials. Some in some intact. Pepper juice! Because of unsafe looking potions. Was your roommate making bombs? Because with all the materials that she has in here, it looks like she was learning how to make craft bombs. What? No. Was she? Ah, uh, just saying. She has the materials to make a craft bomb. Looks like she didn't finish it though. If that makes you feel better. How do you know how to make a craft bomb? We still going. Hey, we welcome back. I learned it while I was studying to become a defender. But isn't that just common knowledge? I never learned that. I never learned how to make a bomb. I know I'm a kid and you'd think, I know I'm a kid and you'd think I definitely know how to make bombs, but I've never learned either. Oh, what else does it need then? Uh, why? Za, we have to throw a bomb at the king. It'd be so funny. What? Yeah, it would be funny. It would. What else do we need? Your roommate has some stuff already, so we just need, 
Isabel starts explaining what you need with very confusing words. What? Use simpler words, huh? Um, there's already a short gizmo gadget here, so we just need a long thingy thing and a secret ingredient. Okay, makes sense. It doesn't. Time to find those things! You got the short gizmo gadget. You put the short gizmo gadget in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Meaning a longy, long, a longy thingy thing, a short gizmo gadget, a secret ingredient. A bed. That's my roommate's bed. Think she's okay? What is she like, this roommate of yours? She's the worst, I really don't like her. Oh, I didn't know Belle could hate people. She doesn't clean her side of the room ever, and she leaves her experiments and weird potions around everywhere. And she always sings way too loud. And when I ask her to maybe change songs and sing something I might like, she always tells me no can do, princess. She's mean and has no respect towards others. So, a normal roommate. Maybe, but even so, not seeing her around really worries me. Positive, gotta stay positive. World papers. Cause a lot of different dresses that look similar to Mirabelle's. Is it her closet? Horror books. The Cursing of Chateau Castles, issue 68. Damn it. Death Die Dice Maker. 100 Ways to Die Horribly. The Meat Slicing. Last one, actually, a cooking book. Issue 68. Just remember this number. A lot of horror books in there. Is this one about a group of young adults being forced to kill each other for someone's entertainment? It is. We should have a book club sometime, just the two of us. We should. We should. Ex we could exchange letters and recommendations after we beat the king. What, just you two? The rest of us aren't invited? No, girls only. Yeah, back off, Isabel. Being told to back off by Mirabelle herself. I feel blessed somehow. Mirabelle's dresser? It's be rude to look inside, so you don't. Mirabelle's thinking about her roommate. A bed. Is that your bed? Yes, um, what gave it away? It smells fruity, just like your name. Mirabelle Plums! Hehe. <laughs> My roommate gifted me some Mirabelle Plum scented soap a while back. She may never clean her room, and she may keep me from sleeping by muttering formulas to herself in the middle of the night, but she does give great gifts. Flowers. I'm trying to grow them out. They haven't died yet, even though I haven't been here for months now. I suppose that's something I can thank the king for. Why read when you can have people recite things instead? So true. Someone frozen in time. That's, I don't know who that is. They have a cool necklace though. Let me see. Oh, I know them. That's another house maiden. I hadn't seen them in a while. I didn't know they were changing. Come to think of it, I had, hadn't seen them for a little bit before the king. Maybe they were close to done crafting their body. If we can beat the king, you can see them and meet them again. Yes. Some frozen flowers. They smell like flowers. An empty, clean bed. There's something on it. It's an animal, but not real. It's made out of fabric and other things. It's usually for kids. Those things have a name. It's, uh... It's a stuffed animal, dummy! Crafting their what now? Gives us trans rights. Yeah! Oh! Guys! Friend forgot an easy word again! Sifrin. Sif. We really do have to... We really have to do something about this, Sifrin. Did you really forget a basic word, like stuffed animal? Hey, some of the things you don't remember the words for aren't basic. I use my brain for other things. Things other than remembering the word stuffed animal? What do you use the space in your brain for anyway? Puns? Oh, as a matter of fact, yes. But that's fine, but my brain's just stuffed with puns. Crap! Yes! Get him. Bookcase is filled with books about body craft. Can you tell me more about this? Well, hey, hey, Dial. Don't try to know all this stuff. Hmm, what do you mean? You're always asking questions about Vogard and change and stuff, but don't you already know about it? You never thought about it. I was wondering about this too. You're always asking questions, which is fun, but I can't believe you'd go into another country and not learn all about it beforehand. If only because it'd make you look stupid. How insightful, you two. What? Do you already know about the things you ask about? I do know some of the things I ask you about, but I also believe there's a difference between knowledge learned in books and no knowledge learned by talking to people. Knowledge is important, but the meaning behind it, the emotional piece, that's important too. Books don't tell me anything about how it feels to be surrounded by a Vogardian culture, to be bathed in it, but the three of you do, and you clearly love your country, love the change belief, and it's making me like it too, I suppose. Oh, no, oh, madame will do. I don't get it. Ha, it's okay. You don't need to understand. I just want to know all I can about Vogardian culture, that's all. Pictures of different people, some are covered in bandages, but they're all smiling. 
A closet. You open it. Got the angry key. Here, key chains in the swim face and gone before. Why are the faces different? Does it mean something? Every keychain will probably have a different mask. Huh. So every mask will have a different emotion. Is this what it mean what it's trying to represent? I know this one, that's the change god. No matter what emotion it has, if it has a mask, that's the change god. He always has a mask that never has the same expression. Or art style for that matter. It's to show the change god is ever changing. But also to show us that emotions are fleeting. No matter how wonderful or awful you're feeling, this feeling will fade in time. Why do good emotions have to fade too? Why can't we keep being happy forever? That'd be boring. Can you imagine? It'd be like, uh, like being forced to eat your favorite food forever. I like that though. Are you sure? Really imagine it. Eating only your favorite food all the time. Can I stop eating it when I'm full? Nope. No, can't do anything except eat. I can't go to the bathroom? Nope. That would suck. Indeed. Just feel, just like feeling terrible forever would suck too. And some of those feelings might stay for a while, make their home here, but knowing they'll eventually go away, isn't it a relief? Closets filled with many different types of clothes. Look at this shirt! It has the same material as your cloak, right, Sif? It also looks incredibly warm. I still don't know how you managed to wear your cloak this whole summer. You've had this cloak for a while. Never really get hot with it, though. Really? Sif, can I look at your cloak for a sec? You nod. Taking care to not touch you, Isabeau kneels and takes a hold of your cloak. Ugh. Your cloak's been sewn with some kind of temperature regulation spell crafted into the stitching. It's kind of cool. No matter you- no wonder you always look comfortable no matter the weather. Huh? What? Isn't that really, really advanced crafting? It's also been crafted to make the cloak grow with you. Must have been incredibly expensive unless it was handmade. How long have you had this? I'm trying to remember. Nothing comes to mind. You shrug. Uh, I'm really jealous. Sorry. Yeah, if you ever sold this, you'd be set for a few months, if not a whole year, you know? The craftsmanship alone. Crafting stuff into the stitching is really interesting, actually. Hmm. Heh. <laughs> Spoken like the true clothing designer, huh? Yeah, well... Did I tell you about that? Hmm. Oops. Quick, say something. Just because your clothes are so cool! Ha ha! Aw, thanks! <laughs> Dodge the bullet there. Vials, salty browths. Paper and pencils and mill writings on their change. You and Old Isle look closer. Don't look, it's private. Just because everything's frozen doesn't mean we should look at everything, you know? I wasn't aware, my apologies. He's right, you look away. Nah, it's fine, it's fine, you two didn't know. But still, this brings back memories. I lo would love to craft my body more. I would love to be two centimeters taller. Why two centimeters? Aren't you tall enough already? I think you're too tall and you should cut it out. Cut what out? Anyway, Mira, you don't understand. With two more centimeters, I've, I'll pass the threshold. With two more centimeters, I'll finally be tall with a capital T. Haha, <laughs> I support you and your tall dreams. What a simple reason. Crafting your body, huh? Now, you know, instead of crafting your body itself, maybe there are easier ways to gain height. Oh, like what? You could wear high heels. High heels hurt my feetsies. Drink lots of milk. Milk makes me sick sometimes. We could tie your hands to a pillar and tug on your feet really hard. Worth a try. Anyone have rope? I'm sorry I brought us to this point. Let's stay focused, please. Candles. Lavender. Candles. Palm the granite. Palm pomegranate. Pomegranate. Pa ma grant nut. Pa ma grand nut. Yeah, you did it. Everyone claps. And then everyone clapped. This book looks simple than the one I've studied. Apparently they've made some big strides in body craft recently. Before it took close to a year to make big changes, but I can change in a month or so. It's interesting, crafting your body is so accepted here in Vogard. In Kabui, using crafting yourself would be grounds for prison. Prison? But why? Because if you can craft your body to your liking, where's the limit? Take the king, for example. They say he crafted his body to become so massive, he can destroy houses in a single gesture. And that's without mentioning his mastery over time craft, too. But that's... I'm not saying Kabuli is correct. I'm just telling you their point of view. Plus, it's not like there aren't ways to do body craft in Kabuli if you know where to look. Oh my, Madame Modeo, were you part of the underground resistance? I'll never tell. Ooh, resistanceology. Somehow. Pepper juice. Gift to Bounty. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Wait, one more room. That's what SpongeBob could live in. I believe. 
This gate's locked by one of those weird locks, something written above the lock. Look at it curiously. No, no. I just wanted to look at it. So this is also an open phrase door here. Yahoo. You can't read it. Such an imposing door. I don't remember ever seeing it before. Some text written above the door. It says, Yowch. Yowch? No, no, no. It's just my head hurts. So there's a written language in this world that hurts to look at. <laughs> it's come up a couple times. Huh. Did we examine the body in the middle? Uh, yeah, yeah, when I first came in. What? Me trying to read be like, Whoa, I like this sassy stance. Uh, turn it up. Punch him. Punch him. Smash. Oh, yeah. No! And Bonnie with the chair! Oh, yeah, that's fine, too. Uh... Yeah. Differential equations? Sadness is whose focus isn't slowing us down. I feel slower and heavier just looking at them. If we get too slow to react, it might become dangerous. Make sure to keep your speed up. Good thing our person that increases speed is frozen in time. Slow them down. How does that taste? Uh, lovely morning cure. Yeah. And kaboom! Get got. Get got. So I have the angry key, which goes to the angry door, which was somewhere to the right. One of those spots. Differentially equate these nuts! Spicy like a pineapple. <clears throat> the spiciest of all fruit, right? I can't believe people like pineapple. It's so spicy. Spiciest fruit known to man. Angry door. Take me home. I think it was up. It was this. Key time. Yeah. I remember. Weird smelly one. Free crest sadness. Oh, there's so many different paths to go, though. Shit. If I choose poorly, we'll have to do all this again. Uh, which way do we go? Um. Go fast. And be buff. I once put salt on an onion. Passed out from the heat. What? Poomst? Take me whore. To the place with the door. Um, slow down. Pop them. They got rock hands. Slap them with the paper. Oof. Yeah, he's got paper hands. Yeah, paper. Uh, turn it up. More paper for you. Slap again. Another slap. Uh, I mean, we're probably fine. Oh! Encouragement. I thought she was going to take it out. Slap. I'm not explaining thoughts through the other side. I'm just pineapple being hot. Gotcha. <laughs> it's spicy food. You got a star crest. Woohoo. All right, Boniface, what do you mean by weird smelly? Those sentences all smell really sugary. That's it? Hole in the wall. Doesn't bring anywhere. What about this wall? What does it smell like? Like a crabbing wall. She's right, you know. She's right, you know. Okay, I'm gonna go back and save, but we'll have to figure out where to use our 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 one and only seal. Although if I save, maybe I can just load that save. Instead of looping. Brunt sugar smells horrible. And no me gusta. 
Save's coming. Let's go. I want to get to the top of the fucking castle. It's getting late. So there was some down there, or was it left and down? Yeah, down here. You have a star crest. Use it. Uh, hello. Is that Luke? Professor. Someone frozen in time. Oh. Mira? That's one of my friends. He pushed me away so the curse wouldn't get me and it hit, hit him instead. He saved me. Professor! Saves coming's unofficial time looping, right? You ever been near a sugar factory? I don't think so. Isabel hugs Mirabelle to his side. Let's keep going, yeah? Hmm. We're gonna save the day. Door's locked. It's like a crying mask. We don't have the key for this one yet, do we? We closed as many doors as we could, but if somehow you need the key to this one, I hid the key in room 403 in Little Mark's notebook. 403? Rooms of numbers now? The classrooms do. I've only seen a couple, but the house is way more. 403, though. Pretty sure we passed it. It's where... Ah! It's, um... Currently on the second floor. The second floor? But we can't go to previous floors, can we? The big doors close behind us, don't they? Well, that's not good. But you're here. Class from the second floor. That's such a long way back. Better get going. No! I'm gonna check the other way. Uh, load. Got a time loop. Let's see what's this way first. Uh, I think it was up here. Do do do, scrappy deer. Time to eat more pineapple. Maybe this is the way. All I'm looking for is something sharp, right? So. Chances are good. Whoa! -oh. Wrong way, Stardust. I'm gonna have to time loop, aren't I? I know for a festival that was supposed to take place today. Else. Got some stuff. Nothing else here. Some books all lined up. I'm gonna have to fight the, the double boss again. <laughs> There's a very striking cover of a Moodoo clay figurine with large sunken eyes and a screaming mouth. Can't read the title. Bonnie hides the book. Nothing. It's nothing. Nothing at all. Sure. Shut up. It's fine. I'm fine. Stop looking at it. Stop looking at me. We'll take, take this book instead. Sneezing. Well, find an anthology of horror stories. A handsome young man looks in the night fearfully but longingly. Looks like kind of books you like, huh? Horror books. This one looks massive. What's this one called? That's the handsome young men falling into beautiful, heartbreaking madness horror anthology. Mirabelle's yelling made you jump. Did, did someone in the house have it all this time? Did someone keep it from you? What is it anyway? It's a full anthology all about pure-hearted boys being subjected to awful monsters and horror situations. Seeing them screaming in fright, I cannot help but root for them and at the same time be happy I'm not in their situation. There's something lovingly touching about those tales, something wonderfully hopeful. I cannot help but read them and pray for their survival. So, how, do they usually survive or do the monsters catch them? Well, 50-50? What? But also, the catharsis that fills my whole being when they get caught. There's something very wonderful about that, too. The schadenfreude? The schadenfreude! Cat fart sis. Skadenfruber. Don't worry about it, Bonbon. Bon. I, too, am also lost. It's, it's very good. Very moving. Makes me feel like I went on a run. And also, sometimes the heroes end up bonding with the monsters, too. What? Oh, Roman. I understand the romance part. Books about terrible things happening to good people, huh? Well, when we finally get our book club going, I would love to know if you have more books like this one. Boy, do I. You laugh quietly. Hope to get to have their book club soon. There's only one stool. No room with the word open phrase one, two, three written on it. You look at it closer. Is that an open phrase for something? That sounds very safe and not at all stupid. There's a bunch of unfinished poems on the desk. Slap saying one of them. Mira! Oranges are nice. Oranges are soft. Oranges are frail. When you look at me, I feel like one. Your fingernail digs into my cheek. Peel an orange open. Is this a clue? No, it's someone's unfinished poem. Let's finish it for them. Do we have time? Do we really have time to do this right now? Peel an orange open. Orange juice comes out. Um, peel an orange open. The person who wrote this is the orange, right? 
That seems to be the interpretation. One interpretation. So, I die. Very literal, very nice. Blood oranges? Something with that. Something bloody, but poetic. I haven't heard a single good idea yet. Madame, do you have something then? No. Yeah, yeah, leaving us young people to do the job, I get it. Sif, your turn. Peel an orange open, it's very appealing. Is it nice and sweet? It's appealing. Ha! Sifrin, you take a bow. No one except Isabel claps. You're welcome. Some papers. Poem has someone going to a grave. Spooky. I wonder if open sesame one, two, three opens up the big door on this level. But if not, then rip. So I think that was the, the door to the right of the three-way path. No! What the? I don't know what you are, but I'm running. Never mind, he just keeps getting to go. Stop, go! It's my turn. Goodbye. See you. They have them all? Up here. No. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's gonna work. No, I can't. No, fuck. I keep accidentally, even with the sped up tech. Thank you. You can't read it. Such an imposing door. Mm hmm. It says. You good? You good? Reading hurt. Open phrase one, two, three. Nothing happens. Damn it! Shit. I should probably load the save and then go the other way. Night Potato, thanks for hanging. Hope you have a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna load. Ah, we're gonna have to fucking loop again. I've tried more orange, orange poetry. Michael. Yes. Maybe I need more. Still more. Ever more poetry. Hope you haven't gone, Michael. Ah. No loop. I gotta grab this and then loop. And then on another loop, I could go the other way, but... I'm trying to get up in the tower! I saved before I found open phrase, because that requires me to use the crest on the other side. So... I just played for, through before your eyes for the first time. Pretty raw at the moment. I haven't played through it myself, but from what I understand, yeah. Time to fucking loop! Woo! You had a good sleep. Good. So I need to go back to floor two. Open up the doors. And then to the classroom, which is to the right. Lots of loops in here for all the stuff. Yeah, to get all the stuff. But I don't want to get all the stuff. I just want to see how far we can get before I got to wrap up stream. Woo! I think this is the classroom. Who's, who's jam- that one. A desk. Out of disrespect, you open the super duper cool notebook wide. Oh, thank the stars it's here. Found the crying key. Keychain dangling from his shape like a crying mask. A key here? A mask, huh? This feels out of place. I was expecting a keychain shaped like scissors or something. You now know where the crying key is located. Sif? Looking at the key in your hand is making you realize the trap at the entrance, the key in the admin room, this key that you had to backtrack for, you're not very good at your job, are you? It's your job to look for traps, your job to see hidden things, and you've failed at these multiple times. If you weren't looping, there's no way you would have been able to get this far. You'd have died for good right away, and possibly brought everyone down with you. You can't help but sigh. Someone pokes your hip gently. Hey, have a peach. Peach time. You take the peach and silently nibble on it, like a hamster. You were silent for too long and made the mood awkward. Say something. Thank you, Bonnie. It's fine. You're a peach. Okay, no. Ha! I feel peachy again. Yeah! Ha ha ha. I don't know why I even worry about you sometimes. What? Anyway, hey, a key. Better get the back to floor three. You could walk around and get some experience, or you could just find a tear somewhere and loop forwards. Wait, if I die and then loop forwards, I keep the items that I got before that point? Well, then let's fucking loop. Let's fucking loop. It's time to loop. 
Do 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 do. Loop. As long as you're looping forward and not back, that makes sense, actually. Cause I want to fight that boss for a third time. Twice was on me. But thrice. Go back up. Um. Use five things to loop forwards. I don't have an. I have to. I have to do it. I have to do it again. I haven't fought. Or I could. Time to grab the key again. I could also fight four dudes. Also, do I have to grab the key? I'll just fight four dudes real quick. No! Literally the only thing I don't want to see. Goodbye. 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 Do I have to grab the key again? A key here. Feels out of place. Okay, well, too bad. I found it. Hello. Pick it up! Pick it up! Pick it up! Pick it up! Slap! Slap him! You get him! Oh yeah! No, don't! No, don't! No, don't! Fuck him up, Bonnie! No, you hit the wrong one. That's all right. That's okay. We we'll do another. It's your turn to do that. Alwa? God damn, this guy hits hard. Uh, pockets. Eat a tonic. You, healer. No. Uh, no. Don't do that. Slap. One more slap. One more slap. There you go. Fuck them all. Nice. Okay. That was one. <laughs> Hi. Well, I started with one, so I need to kill three more enemies. Hello. 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 Uh, uh. I guess I like this system. Where, like, you have to fight enemies if you want to skip fighting enemies. <laughs> Kinda. Like, I guess it makes sense. Which one is this? No, the paper. Oh, right, because I didn't spend the money to have the keys. I should go back to the first room because there are two dudes there normally. Hello. Yuki, thanks for the prime. Hope you're having a good one. Did you know prime? Then you can. Yuki knew. What the? I just got here, sir. Everyone here needs paper. Stop having rock hands, everyone here. Hey, Ed, how you doing? Hello. Bam. In and out. Come on. I swear I'm gonna get up another level in the uh in the in the castle. And it's gonna be like, oh, the king is past another series of stuff, because <laughs> it's getting late. I probably won't be able to stream for much longer, but I'm like, the game's telling me I'm close to the king. I wanna at least get there. I'm assuming that's not the end of the game either. But how goes it? Hey Vince, how you doing? We're next to the final we're close. We're close. Uh, uh go. The internet's having a time. Oh no! I hope your internet is less of a time. Soon. I wasn't counting. What, is that the last one or one more? I think maybe one more. I can check my memory of of memories. Um, uh, five. I have five memories. Sweet. Let's save and get ourselves murdered. By time! 
Let's time more of a place. I have five memories. Time to throw them into the pits of hell. Goodbye. Touch it. Hey, right, good sleep. Go back up to here. Blue. In the game, both. You dreamt you're eating a samosa as big as your head. You're hungry. It is late. Ready? Let's rock. So do, did I bring the key with me? Wait! Do you hear that? Yeah, okay. There's a key on the floor, pick it up, empty key. So do I... Do I need it? Do I need to go through? Because I needed the the crying key, right? Because the key that I should have, I have the crying key, but then then I need a key to get to where I was supposed to have that key. Or no, I need I needed to break the yeah. So I need it yeah, because I need to open the smiling key and then I need to have the thing to destroy the 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 the, the tears. So we have to basically do this floor again. At least we can skip doing some of this stuff. Oh, there's also a path this way I didn't check. Shit. Go to the mirror. We can go to the mirror again. Um, wasn't there goodies in here? Salty broths. There we go. Give me that. Let's go back to the mirror. Do 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 do. Why do I need to go to the mirror again? Well, I can't. I need the angry mask in order to get... Where was that? Where was that? Was this... This is the key. Okay. A mirror. Come on. Just stand there and nod. Mm-hmm. I remember. We're reunited. Now I can see the key. I can pick it up. Put the smiling key in my pocket. And then smiling key, I don't remember. No, that's what I needed. Right? I didn't need angry. No, I got angry. Thank you. Goodbye. Um. That's that's the angry one. Okay, so maybe no, because I need the angry key in order to fight the dude to get the thing to destroy the tears. So I will need to fight him again. I know it's a time loop, <laughs> and I know that there's a lot of stuff in the game. No, living time. There's a lot of stuff in the game that allows you to skip past stuff, but I'm like, it's not enough. <laughs> like, I want to be able to just like get right back to where I was and not have to fight the same mini bosses again, you know? Um, wait, there was a thing in there. Found the angry key. No, I, I, I didn't mean. The picture was different. Sip was smiling instead of being surprised. You're right. That's very good. Because <laughs> Sip was anticipating it this time. That's very... Well done. I didn't spot that. They're so tiny I want to squeeze them. That's the entire cast of this game. Yeah. Okay, let's save and heal up. Everyone was healed. Save again. This game's good. I mean, if you're making a game about a time loop, it pays to think off all the different permutations. I mean, it's a lot of work, but it, it makes it very gratifying when players are like, wait, this should know this, or they shouldn't know that, and then the game acknowledges it. That's good. All right, let's fight again. This fucking guy. Again. I know it's just because it's late and I'm getting hangry. I'm like, come on. I guess I could have just hung around grinding enemies for a long time, and then he resists the scissors. I didn't see what he had. Um, when are we play in a time code, code him. Um, your moves are weak. And slow him down. Ow. So if that was a strong attack and she scissors, then he's rock. I should have looked at his hands when I attacked. So he's probably paper. Um, pick of the face. Yeah, he got little rock hands in there. 
paper. And go back to him. More paper. Please die. Please be dead. Um Sparkle Heal. Good. Damn it. I could probably just attack, but I'm close enough to a a jack box. Jack in the box, whatever the attack was called. Lamp! Get him! Guess I didn't need to do that because I'm gonna run past the. Oh, Isabeau learned break break. And Odile learned paper alpha five? What? Isabeau learned a new skill. I've gotten stronger. You got a memory of break break. You always remember this. When equipped, your fire will be able to use Break Break as a skill even if he isn't level 49. Break Break is a skill that lowers one enemy's defense. Oh, do I learn a new skill? I have finally figured it out. Memory Paper. You always remember this. When equipped, the researcher will be able to use Paper. Ah, v. Paper F is a skill that deals big paper damage to one enemy. Nice. Starcrest. Woohoo. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It smells. Mm hmm. Well, okay. Those are some very nice. Skills to have, even if I must loop again. All right. If this is the wrong way after all of this, <laughs> the game itself said, "Well, guess you can't keep going." So, I mean, there was one more direction I didn't check, which was up here. Jackbox twenty with Cookie Thomas. Don't don't hit. Don't hit. Don't do a hit. Why does it go paper when you have the rock, scissor, paper? I haven't gone this way. I'm gonna check it. I just saved so I can load. What we got? Better be fucking neat up here. Okay, it's pretty neat up here. Oh. Whoa! Where are we? There's a big window over there, see? What? Was there a room like this in the house? Yeah, I remember. Someone was working here, studying. It looked like... Um... Sorry, I can't remember. Good news, there's no key or knife in here, Stardust. Okay, so... Good, that's actually good. Because if they're like, there is the way forward is here, but you need a loop again, I was gonna pull all my hair out. Roll the paper, you unroll it, it's a star chart. There's a book in Cop 1, open on the table. You'll all look at Odal. Hop on, look here in Vanguard, how rare. The title translates to Colors Through Time. It seems to be an essay about color theory. What's a color? We don't have time for this! Yeah, you don't really care. <laughs> Canonically, their world is black and white. A pile of papers. Looks like a child tried to write down the first word. That sure is some awful handwriting. And a determined child. Looks like they tried to write the same word on all those papers. Hmm. You wish you could sit down. Some books. Just looking at them gives you a headache. Hmm. World Globe. We are here. Isabel points to where you are in the lower half of the globe. Valgard, land of change. Kabui's here. Odao points to a big country far from Vogard. Kabui, a country you visited at least once. And Bamboosh is here. A spot almost on the edge of Vogard. You spin the globe and jab your finger on a random spot. Oh, is that, is that where you're from, Sif? You smile mysteriously. What does the smile mean? You laugh. Wouldn't you like to know? A big window. Those are stars, right? I remember just now. But don't they only appear at night? We left early in the morning, it should still be light outside. I've heard it's always nighttime near the king. Maybe this is his influence. It was dark around the house yesterday too, remember? Hmm. You see the stars, but find no meaning. A telescope, it's dusty. What's that? I've seen one of those before. That's a telescope. Then you watch the sky with it? Like clouds? Like stars, I think. During the night, since they're not here during the day. Stars. Boring. Boring. Neat. This is probably a room that will make more sense later in the game. Well, time to... Actually, no. Time to load our save. No, lo load. Yes. Good. The king always kept several knights around him. I... <laughs> Good. Very good. 
No! It's gonna be the guy who's really fast and pokes me. Oh! They're all very fast and they poke me. Thanks. Goodbye. Thank you. See you later. Very cool. No. You can start crest. Use it! And I have the key. Thank the stars you're back here. You try not to audibly sign relief. Key time. Whoa! Isn't that the key you found in the classroom? If you didn't pick it up, Sifrin, wouldn't we... Wouldn't it be super stuck right now? Yes. Phew! We got lucky. We sure did. There was a piece of paper stuck to the door. Can I see? Mirabelle's looking at the note intently. It's the one that said to look inside of that kid's notebook to find the key, wasn't it? Are we going? Let's go, let's go! Uh, yes, let's get going. Hope there's a big knife in here. Hello. Hello. Wait, over there, isn't that a bathroom? Seems so. Which, which one? Which one's a bathroom? Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. So, does anyone need to go? Raise your hand. Just so you know, if you do need to go, when they make books about this moment, I'll be sure to mention how we needed to stop for a bathroom break. A few people raised their hands. You might as well go too. All right, let's meet back here once everyone's done powdering their nose. You close the bathroom stall door. You don't really need to go, but there is something you need to do away from everyone. You fist bump the air and whisper yell, yes, 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 under your breath. Yes! You're all doing it. You're all getting so close to the king. And it's all thanks to you and this blessing. Whoever, whatever blessed you with this, thank you, you think? Whether it's the universe, the change god, that tree, the stars, the moon, anyone, thank you. Ah, stars, can you imagine if you only had one life? You'd have died right at the start. And if not then, you might have been frozen in time forever by touching one of those tears because you all a bunch of curious idiots. But you have this power, this craft. You'll never die for good. You'll always be able to start again. You quietly jump in place with a big grin on your face. One, two, three, four jumps. You fight, you jump a final time out of breath and try to take a deep breath in and out. Phew. All right. You're so close to the king, you can almost taste it. You need to stay focused. Or do you? You can always loop back, start over, make sure nothing bad happens to you or the people you care about. The king will never know what hit him. You fist bump the air one final time for good measure. You exit the bathroom. It's very optimistic. All right, everyone refreshed. Noses powdered up, bodies emptied. Emptied. Ha, <laughs> emptied. Saw she's asking if you pooped. All refreshed, nose powdered, and bodies emptied over here, madame. Sifrin, you nod. Good. Let's get going then, shall we? I'm gonna go back in. Nothing else to do in here. Fair enough. This is a long, ominous hallway. Oh, oh, oh. Uh huh. Well, I thought there'd be something in this room, but it's a crab and dead end. Language? Well, there's an intact statue of the change god over there. Isn't it the first we've seen in the house? It is. Their face obscured, their silhouette shrouded, their expression hidden. An intact statue of the change god stands before you. Everyone's lost in thought, most likely sending their wishes to the change god. Join them? Yeah. Better than nothing, you wish for victory. <laughs> what? You're holding something. The key knife? Hmm? Sifrin? What are you holding there? A knife! Did the change god give it to us? Huh? No, it can't. I think they did. With it, we can... What? The key gen. We're back. What the? That's floor three's entrance? The change god beamed us there. That's. Well, at least we don't have to backtrack. I'm not gonna ask questions. Thank you, change god, for this boon. Thanks, change god. Thank you. You and Oda look at each other and shrug. Thank you, change god, or expressions, or whichever deity gave us this knife. Thank you? Time to save. Everything about this is concerning. Yeah. It's good. Alrighty then. Uh, do I have to equip it like a weapon? Um, oops. 
Oops. Uh, 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 Isabel. Isabel. Uh, Sifrin's knife tries to... No. I guess it's a key item. The pocket's key knife. Yeah. This knife should let you cut through the king's hair, but probably just once. What if I call loop? Make the secret hand sign thinking about talking to loop. You ignore the confused stares of your allies. You close your eyes. Hello, loop speaking. Thank you for calling. How may I help you? Questions. I had a question about... I'm gonna make a bomb. You are. Do it, do it, do it. It's gonna be so useful. So you need a long thingy thing, a short gizmo gadget, and a secret ingredient, huh? The short gizmo gadget's in your housemaid's dorm room. I wonder where the rest is. When you have all three ingredients, just interact with one of them in your pockets to make them. I don't know if we're gonna make the bomb. There's this book fan. The man living in the house full of books? He seems to really like, really be really into that book series your house maiden likes. The Cursing of Chateau Castle. Didn't the last issue come out right as the King's Curse started freezing Vanguard and Vogard in time? It might be hard to find. If you find any issues, you should remember the issue number and tell him. Maybe you might end up finding the very last one. Nah, nothing. Uh, let's talk about something. Uh, you have other things to do, don't you? Come by and chat. Nah, nothing. All right, talk to you later. Good. Great. Mel Gear Codec. Mm-hmm. This is this is Snake. You reach towards the light. Everyone was healed. Let's go. It's time to beat the game for sure, a hundred percent. You know, I was wondering. Like the king clearly closed this way and put the tears in our way, but the the locked doors weren't they? Yes, they, we were wrong. They were most likely locked by residents of the house. When the house was attacked, no one knew what the king's powers were, so they must have thought locking him in would have been enough to stop him. But by that time, he'd already made sure... By the time he'd already made sure Vogard would start, so, start slowly freezing in time. So people in the house were trying to save Vogard at the risk of their own lives. But it was all for nothing. It did get in our way more than anything else, but there's no way they could have known. They tried, and yet the king... This... This once changed king. I'll, I'll. Well, we should get going. I'm predicting there'll be a strong sadness in the next room for you to cut into ribbons, Mirabelle. Okay. You get ready and slice the door. Hiya. So we have another mini boss to fight. Before the top floor, the key knife broke on impact. Maybe it wasn't sharpened enough. That's too bad. You're sure it could have found a use for it elsewhere. At least the gate is open. Hey, Mateo Salta. For 16 months. Late night RPG. Yeah. Another strong sadness. We should. Let's go, everyone. Mira. Yeah, what she said. Let Mirabel blow off some steam. Battle time it is. Is it barbobble time? Oh. Hello. Oh. A little bit of everything. Bord Bordon? Bordon Blue? Um. Yeah. Speed it up. Mirabelle time. Boost allies. Um, break, break. Lowers one enemy's defense. I have to choose which hand? They're, they're all separate things. All of them are different things. Boost all allies' defense. Shit. Yeah, the enemy designs are wild. It's fun. No! Bonnie missed. Um... Gives big paper damage to one enemy, or I can slow. Let's let's examine. Very nice of those hands to not attack us, but none of our attacks are hurting that big one. All those hands around it. Is it making it invulnerable? We should try to defeat one of those hands and see what happens. Yeah, we should. Um. Anytime I slow three turn. Which what do I do? I just him in the middle? Let's see. Is he slower? I don't know. Um, buy one, get one, three. Attack the paper hand. You weaken attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then let's heal him up. Um, uh, um, yeah. Let's. Your turn. 
to you. This is damage to one enemy too. Yeah. Oh yeah. The big one is now vulnerable to scissors attacks. Ooh. Ooh. Um. He's probably gonna regenerate that hand. Would be my guess. So maybe try to deal damage. I examine again. Just like I thought, defeating those hands makes it more vulnerable. But defeating a paper hand, which is vul vulnerable to scissors, made the big one vulnerable to scissors as well. Do you think that defeating two same hands will make him even more vulnerable to our attacks? Maybe so. We could take care of all those hands first so we could just defeat a few and maybe save ourselves some time. I'm just gonna attack him because I want to. Scissors three. Ouch. Uh, um, lower, lower his defense. Bunny missed. And go. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I could try to take out the other hand. Yeah, there it goes. The big one's now more vulnerable to scissor attacks. Let's go. Um, um, buy one, get three. Yes, yes, yes. And, um, your turn. Do it again. Do it more so. Scissors damage to all enemies. Might lower attack. Sure. Holy shit, that was a huge crit. No, 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 I don't care, I don't care. Let's go, damn it. Uh, um, well, Mirabelle's about to go, so I'll guard. Whack the enemy, nice. Good job. Get him. Yes, we won! But come on, everyone, let's keep going. Mira. Let's go. Let's go. Is that? Oh, it's just little particles. That was a shiny spot on the wall. Scoob. Oh. Ah! Someone this far inside the house who. Claude! No, no, no. Oh, is that... That's my roommate, Claude! Oh no, how could this happen? I... I hate my roommate. She's annoying and always bothers me for stupid reasons, but... But... I... Used to think she'd always... She should have become a defender, because she was always helping people, and trying out weird experiments to solve their problems. And she would always, always help the head house maiden with hers. Always trying new ways to organize her desk, try to help her finish tasks. Hey, Katie. Yeah, we're going late, because I am I thought I was further along in the game. <laughs> and it took a while. But now I can't stop when we're this close to the king. Even though I think there's a lot more of the game left. Yeah, there's one trying to make a bomb. Double finish task to make sure she gets some free time. She'd do it with a smug smile, saying it wasn't that big of a deal that she'd do it for anyone. But if she knew the head house maiden was in danger, she would have ran anywhere, everywhere, so she could help her. Not only because the head house maiden would have solved anything, but would have beaten the king if she could. But because... Because... If Claude is this far into the house, she must have tried to stop the king herself. So he wouldn't get to the house, the head house maiden. And so... If she's like this... He must have... Ah! Ah! You were never even close. I'm still probably not close. But at least if after all this, the game goes, you're not close, I can be like, all right, <laughs> I'm done. I can't go on much longer. I, I'm so useless. You don't know what to say. You don't know what you should say. What can you say in a moment like this? A pun, an ill-timed pun. Mirabelle gently wipes dust away from her roommate's brow. Claude, if you can hear me, I'll be back for you soon. I promise. Let's go. 
Her eyes are open. Resigned. She was the one who was getting ready to make a bomb in Mirabelle's dorm room, wasn't she? She's holding something tightly in her fist. You kneel down. A small vial labeled secret ingredient. But how can... I can't... Oh, because if I get them all, I can interact with them, and then that's... Okay. You put the vial, but I only have two of the parts. And then, I don't know where the last one went. Secret. Oh, and then I didn't go get the other one in this loop. There's some kind of sparkly liquid inside. If you had a long thingy thing and a short gizmo gadget, you might be able to make a bomb. So I, I don't know where the thingy thing is. Is the thing. So even if I did go back to get that. Let's keep going. Bell, wait a sec. Mira, wait. No! I can't wait. We can't wait. We have to move on. Everyone's waiting for me. They can wait a little longer. Let's calm down and- I can't calm down! The head house maiden! She's so close! I can feel her. I need to help her. She needs my help. Everyone in Vogard needs my help. I... I... You don't know what to do. She's upset! You need to help! Mira. Do it with me, okay? Just like Sif does. No. Isabel takes a deep breath in and out, and Mirabelle follows a beat later. They breathe in sync together. That's the thing that you do, yes. I... I'm okay. But Isabel, I... You don't understand. The head housemaiden, I have to save her. The head housemaiden, she's such a wonderful person. She helped me out so much. I couldn't do anything before I came to the house. I could barely sew my own clothes. And she helped me. She taught me. I couldn't... I wouldn't be the person I am without her. And when the king attacked... She protected me. Everyone. Everyone was being frozen in time around me. And the head housemaiden made sure I could escape. Made sure I lived. She gave me her blessing. Huh? Her blessing? Do you mean the power to survive the king's curse? But wasn't that... It wasn't the change god. The change god rarely does anything. He gave me a knife. The change god just pushes us to greater heights, but rarely helps us themselves. The key knife we got earlier. It was the first time I felt their help. But the head housemaiden crafted a blessing so I'd survive. So I'd save her. Save everyone. But... Why? Why would she? I don't know why! Why wouldn't she use it herself? Why didn't she save Vogard herself? Why didn't she give her blessing to someone else? I don't know. I don't know. She shouldn't have used it. Not on someone like... Do you think she was wrong? Do you, to make sure you'd survive? I'm glad you're here, Mira. I'm glad you're here with us. Don't leave us behind. We're here. We want to help you. Don't be stupid and run off ahead. Everyone. I... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have run off ahead. It's okay, Mira. Now it's Madame O'Dow's turn to talk. What? But you're all doing so well. I want an emotional speech from you too, Madame O'Dow. Yeah, don't you see her tears? How can you say no to this face? To prove Isabeau's point, you make a grand gesture towards Mirabelle as if presenting a marvelous art piece. Just like, Will Smith pose. Isabel does the same. Bonnie also joins in. Mirabelle laughs, wiping her tears. Okay, fine, please stop. Yeah. Okay. I think it's silly for you to wonder if you were the right choice this late in the game. You're the one that was chosen. You're the one that found the orbs. You're the one that made it this far. So we can spend our very valuable time wondering if so-and-so could have saved Vogard better. But we're here. You're here. And now, the king is the only thing standing in our way. So you can have your little breakdown after we kick him where it hurts and spit on his grave. Madame, that was very good. A little too dry, maybe. I'll give you an 8 out of 10 for effort. That's a passing grade, Dial! Shut up. I... Whose tummy's grumbling this time? Please don't offer me three options that are all pineapple. Dial! You have a tummy? Of course not. Well, your not tummy seems hungry. Bonbon? Bon? Oh, I still have snacks. And they're ready now. Can you eat something, Belle? Yes, I can try. Okay, then all of you sit the crap down. Snack, 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 snack. Okay, I have. I'll start with the worst one. Leftover samosas. From yesterday's dinner? Yeah, they're the ones I burnt. But I thought we I should still keep them in case we get super duper hungry. Don't be mean to the burnt samosas, they were delicious. They really were. They're not the worst of anything. Hehe. <laughs> okay, next one. 
I have palmiers. Palmier. I we all know palmiers. They're yummy. They're crunchy. They get crumbs everywhere. Moving on. And the last snack. I never tried it before, but the smell hits you. Could they be Malango fritters? Whoa, yeah! That what are what is that? So, what do you think? I followed a recipe in a book. Huh. They do get crumbs. What are they? They're fried malanga and giraumon. Malanga is some kind of root and giraumon is some kind of pumpkin. They smells heavenly. Oh stars, oh stars, oh stars. Sif's eyes are sparkling. And they're drooling too. You wipe your mouth. You have to get them. So which one do you guys? Malanga fritters, please! Yay! Bunny hands you the delectable, yummy, wonderful Malanga fritters. They might be your favorite fried food ever. Favorite food, period, maybe. You want to eat them so whole so badly, but you have to pace yourself. You bind to one, slowly, shakingly. They're so good! You can't help but flail your arms around. Whoa. Sifra in your face. That good, huh? Gross. After eating your snacks, everyone's health has been restored. I'm sorry, everyone. Being upset now, I shouldn't have... I should have kept it together. Mira, it's fine. We're all different kinds of upset right now. It's a stressful day. You feel better now that you've eaten? I do. Thank you, Bonnie. And I'm less upset now, more... angry. At the king? Yes. I feel more confident, too. I will definitely kick the king where it hurts. Ooh! And where's that, Mira? His... His... His stupid crabbing butt! Yeah! You all laugh. You got a memory of butt kicking. You'll always remember this. Memory of butt kicking will make your housemate revive one KO'd party member during a fight once. Once. Is Belle okay? Is she okay? I think she's okay because she ate some snacks. It's when you can't eat that you're not doing well at all. Makes sense. Thanks for all those delicious snacks, Bonnie. That's... It's okay. Did you like those Malanga thingies? Yes! Okay! Okay! Yeah! I made them for you, you know. I saw you look at a recipe book for a very long time, and you were looking at that recipe. And I didn't know if you were staring at it because you really liked it or really hated it, so I'm glad you actually really... Liked it. I... I mean... They made them for you? You made them for me? No! I made it for... Bonnie frantically looks around. For Dial. For Dial. I made them for Dial. Because she likes to try out new foods. I do not. Yes, you do! I suppose I do that. See? I made them for Dial. Not for you. Go away now! Don't look at me! Make like a crab and go! A little lightheaded, you go. Sideways? Like a crab? Mira, how you feeling? Good? One word answers are really reassuring. They are. Now, two word answers. They're too refining. We got her! I'll be fine, Sifrin. Thanks for asking. Thank you for being here. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else, Mira. She gives you a gentle smile. Mira, she's strong. This situation must be super stressful for her. We gotta stay at her side, okay, Sif? You nod. What do you said to Mira? What did I say? Do it like Sif does. Oh, the deep breath. Uh, well, it's just something me and Mira notice. Sometimes when you're taken off guard or when we get out of a battle or something, you always take a deep breath in and out. It's to calm yourself down, right? The breathing? You always do it the exact same way, too. You go like this. He puts his hand on his chest and breathes. Deep breath in and out. Mira and I wondered what that was all about, and we talked about it and realized it kind of seemed to calm you down, and we thought it was cool. And that one time a few days ago, Bonnie was upset and you told him to do that, so we remembered. It does calm you down. How weird to be noticed and known. Was telling you weird? I think that was weird. I shouldn't have said that because now you might get self-conscious. I'll try not to. Okay. What's up, Mira? Yeah, Isabel. You should be careful. You might make Sifrin self-conscious about breathing. Hee <laughs> hee. You snort. Ha! A lot of emotions being expressed right now, aren't there? I feel bad that I didn't notice Mirabelle wasn't doing well. I should have paid more attention. I'm glad Issa's here. Yes. 
Neither of us is very good at this feelings thing, and Bonnie Face is a child still learning how to manage theirs. So let's go we have at least one person who knows what they're doing emotions-wise. So, in the spirit of being a person good at this feelings thing, how are you feeling right now? You're all good. I'm fine. That's good. You open your mouth to ask how she is, but I'm good. Feelings check over. Go away now. You leave her alone. Everyone's here. I'm glad everyone's good. Time to go. The king's there. You ready? What do you say? The king must be up ahead. Are you ready? Yeah. Vibe check complete. To loop right now would be very good. But what if I touched some ooze? Ooh. Hello. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh. Young ones. Are you here to kill me? Oh, young lady, you stand for change themselves, do you not? I, I just want the world to stay the way it is now, to be frozen in eternal beauty, a world of everlasting peace and rest. Young housemaiden, in a way, isn't my wish a form of change? Why aren't you on my side? Ah, uh, can't you feel it, young lady? The universe yearns for everyone's hopes to be encased in limitless ice. Won't you allow your fate to be ended? Corrupting and ending people's lives? You call this a form of change? You dare compare your dreams of ice and stillness to change themselves? This is not true change. This is just you acting as a god would for your own satisfaction. One would think keeping a whole country from changing and evolving is the farthest thing away from change. Pretty self-explanatory, stupid! Seems like a pretty pathetic way to appeal to a housemaid's good nature, huh? Is this what you want, then? For us to peacefully let ourselves be frozen in time? I will never be on your side, King. Not in a million years! Oh. Ha. Spoken like a true housemaiden of change. But, wait. You, traveler. Oda looks at you with an expression screaming, Does he mean you or me? You shrug. Bright one. Ah, so he means you. Do you remember? Remember? Remember what? Oh. Oh, 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 it seems you do not. We shall fight, and we shall see which side the universe favors. Oh. Oh. Despite what you may think, I am a merciful king. I will give you some time to come to terms with your end. A most beautiful end. An eternal end. He's really taking us for chumps, isn't he? We've gotten this far. We will not back down. Get ready, everyone. Oh, he's very fast. He waits. He's gonna murder us so hard, isn't he? Um, I'm assuming that those are fists for rock um boost attack um uh, boost defense let's slow him down ooh it is time saviors you see a vision of the future Oh. You don't have the strength to go on. One hit. The king got you all in one hit. You'd laugh if you had the energy to do so. You can't move. You can't see. You can't really... feel anything, either. Well, I'm glad we made it this far. You don't think you'll get out of this one. Uh, Sif, we can't let it end this way. Come on, you useless body. Move! No, no, your ally's there. You can't let him. You can't let the king hurt them. Bonnie, just run. Throw some snacks at him. The sound of footsteps 
They escaped. We need to buy them time. No, please, not your allies. We have to do something. Move. Move! Please, do whatever you want with us. But don't hurt Bonnie. Please. Oh, do not worry. After I take care of you all, the young one will have a wonderful rest. But before that, the king strikes. Ah. Ah. Everything hurts. You can't move. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. You feel a tug on your stomach. And then... The king killed you. What? Huh? What? When the... It says intermission. <laughs> Die against the king. Whoa! Ha ha! Woohoo! That was awful! You try to catch your breath. Your body's fine and unharmed, but your brain still hasn't gotten the message, it seems. Stars, this was awful. Did he really kill you in one strike? This feels a little disrespectful, doesn't it? That attack was so strong. Why was it so strong? How is he so strong? A strike hits so hard, you don't think just buffing your defense with skills or equipment will be enough to survive it. Is there something out there that could protect you against it? A craft skill, maybe? Mirabelle. She's the one who usually heals you all in battle. She knows healing crafts you've never even heard of. Maybe she would know something. But for now... You got a memory of defeat. You'll always remember this. It gives you three memories of skirmish instead of one when you defeat regular enemies. So after, if I'm like, I gotta loop up again, I can equip that and then grind a little better. Okay. That's kind of nice. Only seven more hours to go. Back to the stage, Sifrin. Thanks for the hydrate. You have a king to beat. I had a feeling something like that was gonna happen. Considering how many plot threads are unresolved. Not just because I'm, you know. Still say a couple time offs. That's fine. Sifrin, you're up. The usual, please. Hey, Sifrin, how was your nap? It was aight. Mm-hmm. The usual. Sure. I want to go talk to Loop. You think so? Yes. Oh, that was at the shop, Bonnie is. Well, I'll let you to go do this then. Sounds like you remember. You do. See you at the clock tower later. For luck. Maybe you don't know a way to survive the king's attack. You should talk to her later. You just come back to another stream? Uh, maybe. It depends. I have a couple other games that I want to check out on stream. So it depends on schedule. Uh, Mirabelle's here sitting on a bench. But if we don't come back to it, at least we left it at like a... A clean br We made it to the king. <laughs> so, you can support this game and buy it. And then find out what happens later to actually try to murder him. The king killed you last time. There's nothing you can do against the king's last attack. Maybe Mirabelle would know something. Huh? A skill to save us against the king? Just in case? Uh, feels like we could find something like this in a book. Did you check the library? Library, huh? I should check the one in the village. Nope. See you later. Do you have a book about the king being really strong? This section's kind of lacking. Yep. Anything about us survive a very powerful attack? Um, like crafting a shield? I wouldn't know anything about that. That sounds highly specialized. I don't think we carry that sort of knowledge here. I doubt even the house's library would own something like that. Maybe it would be in the secret library. The what? It's a very good squint. The what? The, uh, secret library. The secret library whose ent entrance is hidden in the library? That library. One of the walls looks normal, but if you check it carefully, it revealed the secret library's entrance. I looked at a fucking wall that, that we were like, that's a weird wall. And then we walked away from it. God damn it. I was right to stick my nose into everything. Technically, only the librarians know about it. But you are trying to save Ogard, so don't snitch on me. And don't lose tomorrow. I'll try. Cool. House library on the second floor is a secret library. Sounds like you should go there and check the walls. Sif doesn't want to investigate. And on top of Sif being like, I'm really bad at investigating stuff today. Like, yeah, you think? I appreciate it, so that's the reason go buy it. I like yelling at people about it. Is it supposed to be a poly, poly, 
possibly, probably pondering what favor to ask. I need to do the tr favor tree thing. Oh, sorry, I'm in your way then, aren't I? I'll get out of your wet hair. See you at the clock tower. Bye. Hey, a Stardust. How can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Um, well, you know. What should you do? Well, shouldn't you go to the house's library? You might find a way to survive the king's first attack. And then we survived that attack and get got by a different attack, and then we gotta find a way to circumvent that. Library's on the second floor. It might be faster to just die and loop back there immediately. Don't forget to press X while dead so you don't have to open any doors. Anything else? Let's talk about something. What do you think of my allies? I don't really think about them. I try not to even see them at all. Your fighter stands here for a while every time before you come talk to me, doesn't he? But I make sure to not look his way so he doesn't exist in my eyes. What would happen if they saw you? He might be able to see me if that's what you're asking, but I'm not going to be seen, so we'll never know. What would happen if you saw them? Something terrible. Huh? Like... Plus, why would I care about them? I only care about you, Stardust. Sounds like Lube doesn't want to talk about them for some reason. Yeah, it's probably fine. Question about the... Do you know how to fix a knife? Anything about fixing up the key knife? Smart, smart. I mean, don't you sharpen your own dagger? How do you do it? Sharpening stone? And where is it? Bonnie used it as a skipping stone a week ago. Ha! But then you don't have yours, huh? So just find someone else. Somewhere else. Well, I, I, there was a blacksmith forge sharpening stone situation, but wasn't that also on the second floor? I don't think that was on the- and we get the sword on the third floor, so how can we take it from the third floor to the second floor? There's this book fan. He's in the books. They gotta ask him about those. I'm gonna make a bomb. You are. Do it, do it, do it, do it. You need a thingy thing. Yeah. Was in the second? I mean, maybe it was on the third. I don't remember. Maybe take it with you. But you can't take it with you. See you later, Stardust. Bye. Stream's still going? Yeah, I'll probably be wrapping up soon. We hit a good stopping point. I'm just seeing about the new things I can poke about in this loop. Um, book fan. Book fan. Are you looking- which chapter are you looking for? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The last one we've seen is the final issue, 68? No, that's when Pierre Jacques Ernest, in an act of self-sacrifice, destroyed his castle to save Lord Joseph Andrew. Oh! I hope you're okay. I found- I saw a number higher than that. I saw, like, 80-something. Damn it. Darn it. Um... Did I load after that? Maybe I loaded. I thought I saw one. Thanks for spoiling the story, gun. Wanna buy something? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Not a croissant, not a croissant. No! I'm gonna get a croissant. I'm gonna eat a fucking croissant for dinner. That's why I never read cat. Correct. I don't usually let her in here too many dangerous things. Wait, huh? What? I was mashing through and the text was different. She says it's her dream to work with me in the boulangerie and she might not be able to. Good luck tomorrow. I don't usually let her in here. Too many dangerous things. Gotcha. Talking about little girl. Good luck. See ya. Love reading cats. And they go meow and you go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I see. Yeah, correct. The boulangerie. Mm hmm. Do 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 do. Oh, hi, traveling one. You met with Mirabel and Lady. Change your name to the kind of amazing Mirabel's been chosen. Super chosen. Um. All right. Well, he's looking at the shaman's offer. Hey, you look rested. Uh, we all got murdered by the king. Nah, nothing. See ya. Well, cool. Neat. I think the structure of this game is pretty good. For considering it's a time loop. I was worried, like, some of it turned, like, a, a smidge more kind of tedious. But now that I've sort of seen the king, I'm like, no, this is this is compelling. Makes me interested to see what happens next. Which is cool. A French time loop. A loop. Loopy the fourth. Uh, quit. Thanks for hanging, everyone. We saved the world. And everyone was happy. Check out In Stars and Time. It's on Steam and maybe other stuff, too. And then you can find out what happened. 
I'm sorry we didn't actually finish the game, but I'm happy we got to the king at least. Because topping it like on a random floor would have been very anticlimactic. Whereas at least now it's like, okay. It's okay. This game is lovely. It's very neat. Let me get caught up on stuff real quick. Uh, Jake Doodle, thanks for five years. Merry Krumbus. Terramence, thanks for nine months. Enjoy Ruby Key. Numenatus, thanks for nine as well. Subbabus. I'm a computer. Thanks for 53. Hope you have a good holiday. I had a great holiday. Naya Dolomite, thanks for 72 months. That's so many. Six years, baby. Hope you have a good holiday and have a good New Year's, Barry. Wait, is that? That is six years, isn't it? I have a new sub badge to make, don't I? I always forget that it that it's it because I started streaming in January of 2018, and I always forget that the sub badge counter starts at one. So the each new year is in December. So I gotta make that. Thank you. For six years of that's so much. Thank you so much. Right, Arcast, thanks for 25 months. Here comes the Jake key. <laughs> I mean. It is tempting. Uh, almost uh, two years, almost a full year. Anyways, hope everyone had a wonderful holiday or an amazing break. Here's the end of 23 and the beginning of 24. MZN, thanks for five months. Hope the holidays are treating everyone well. Thank you. Duke, thanks for 66. You found my sub. Give it back. Enjoy your uh, your Kiwi key. Buster Bubo, thanks for 17 months. Man, Crumbo, that page turn sound effect is the exact same one from my favorite game of all time as your dreams on PS1. Stay safe and lovely, Barry and Chat. Thank you. Sis, thanks for four years. Four years, whoa. Thank you so much. Prana Cube, thanks for 16. Finny Roof, thanks for 31. Rival Link, thanks for soup. Ulrox Workshop, thanks for 41 months. Smash Man, thanks for 100 bits. Boxing Day was the day to donate gifts to those in need. It has evolved to become a part of Christmas festivities. Many people choosing to shop for deals on Boxing Day. Thank you very much. And thank you for 69 bits as well. Uh, reminds me of a clip of a stream of someone playing Undertale first time back when it was new. I saw that clip. Yeah, they didn't realize. But Alphys wanted to kiss Undyne. Oh my god. Find a partner in those four years. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time. Pikachu Girl, thanks for 26 months. Let's go. 26 months. How are you having a good stream? Having a good time. Yuki, thanks for 31. Finally, you catch the tail end of a stream. That was an hour ago. We went a bit late today. Mateo Salta, thanks for 16 months. This looks fun. Late night RPG. I recommend checking it out. It is out. Tile screen is a mood. Uh, thank you. They're lesbians, your honor. Thanks so much for hanging, everybody. Hope you all have a good rest of your day or evening or whatever. I'll be back um, on whatever. Th 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 Thursday. Thursday. That's the day of the week that I'll be back to stream a thing. Uh, thanks so much for hanging. We're going to go raid Saren. They are playing some uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. And Saren is wonderful. Very good vibes. Definitely recommend the follow over there maybe may a sub if you're feeling if you're feeling it if you have if you have amazon prime you have prime gaming you could drop a sub at twitch.tv slash fahrenheit and get some very good emotes saren's got some very good emotes uh thanks so much for hanging everyone again uh in stars of time thumbs up i like what i've seen so far um the art is super charming the writing is fun uh it's good it's good it's good i'm sure that they'll all be just fine the end it's good happy ending uh but yeah one of my favorite. Yeah, it's just so fucking angie. It's like a. It's like it's like cause like the, the, my squint, the little sore squint, is kind of like a. Hmm, I don't know. That's like a. You know, you know, you know better than like I don't. Why are you saying that? That's like it's very good. It's a very judgmental squint. 1:20 a.m. That's late. Yeah, it's like 10:20 here. I gotta go throw together a late night dinner. Thanks so much for hanging. Uh, uh, uh what's our raid message for Saren? It could. It, uh, um. Loop? You could say, I want the loops. Give me the loops. Brother, I want the loops. Something like that. Loop. loop. Go, bam. I don't want to play more of that. It's a good game. Anyway, get out of here. Brother, I require a loop. Oh, goodbye. Music fader now. Goodbye. Thanks for watching, Bob Watchers. Hope you enjoyed In Stars and Time. Uh, we saved the day and everyone's happy at the end. Check it out. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link in the description to this game. You should check it out. Wishlist it. Pick it up. Buy it. Hope you enjoy. Some very good jams. Some very good art. Some neat stuff in there. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. I gotta go. It's late. Get out of here. You're waiting for me to go? Okay. That's fair. Goodbye.